Gary? Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Baby face, la 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 la. I've got a baby face face. So do I. Me too. My baby face pads and so do I. Mine's playful and so am I. I love her magic heart. You can make a baby face face. It's fun to do with baby face and you. What a face! The baby face babies with a magic heart each sold separately from the loop. Nergerotic.com You're too kind. Listen to you out there. You're beautiful, and you've stopped so abruptly. We really appreciate that. Welcome to Friday Night Tights, everybody. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from NerdRotic.com, and wow, it's been a really fun week. It's been a fun week. I wish <laughs> Nothing at all to talk about. Talk about. Not, not for Jonathan Majors. Talk about. No, oh, no. no. Oh, not good week for him. Blank slate. We're just going to have to make not it Not good for go, Ike or Jonathan or Victoria. She is no more. <laughs> yeah. No more. I saw that. No too. more. Uh, it's been such a slow no. week, I almost started making Brie Larson videos again. That's how slow it <laughs> yep. There's been nothing to talk about. There's been Aww. nothing to talk about. So, oh, my God. And we still got a Brie Larson-led movie coming out later this year. It's going to be mm -hmm. fun. It's going to be lots of fun. Hey, we'll Two be, Brie Larson movies, all right? Fast. Let me, let me formally announce. Out. I have accepted that she chose Ryan over me. I've accepted it, okay? It, it's fine. It I'll still like monetize. It. I'll still make the money. But she did like his tweet. And yep. things haven't been the same. Things have not been the same. Between you and, and Ryan? I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be the side piece? Bree, Bree just, I don't know, I saved her YouTube channel. Um, mm. You know, I, 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 I stand up for her against everything except her feet because those are just fucking oh. ugly and I can't I'll, defend those. I'll get um, no. But ever since she, she liked Make Ryan's tweet. Make her keep her sweet. socks on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Butterfeet. Butter There's a couple feet. options. She could wear the socks or she can just, you know, leave her feet you know, behind my head so I can't see my peripheral vision. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, oh, man. But, you know, it is what it is. It is Friday Night Tights, and I'm excited to be here. And I think we're going to talk a lot about Marvel. It's a lot of fun you to think? talk about Marvel falling apart. Uh, it's been... Uh, it's a victory lap, you know. It's that's uh, that and I'm going to enjoy it, and I am not going to apologize for it at all. The MCU uh, brought us this disaster, and it's going to be fun seeing the access media kind of like pie chart their f way out, like do the mental gymnastics of like, no, no. It was it's it's a lot of things, but the foundation was the MCU intersectional feminism, their woke activism, getting involved in politics in the first place, and writing crappy stories. Uh, putting too much stuff out with, and uh, not having enough talented people because they really felt, you know, they they really believed in this uh, diversity, inclusion, and 
equity stuff in a town that was based completely on meritocracy. So, yes, all the above, but the main reason is still it's woke, which you'll never, ever hear from the uh, access media. But you'll hear it here, and that's why we keep growing. So thanks. I hope the access media still continues to suck. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Gary, at least the guy who warned Disney that if you go down this fucking diversity thing road, it's probably not going to happen. He's he's still a Marvel, or he's still at Disney, right? Mike Perlmutter? Uh, No. Oh, no, oh, shit, he got no. he yeah. got fired. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was uh, dude. So so Ike Perlmutter wasn't in charge of shit. He like maybe some toys. But if you look back when Kevin Feige did usurp the throne for Marvel Studios and they ripped it away, he was put in charge of Marvel Comics, too. People were still answering. So that I thought that was really strange in the article. They're going, well, uh, the, the EIC or the president of Marvel Comics is going to answer to Kevin Feige. He's always been answer, answering to Kevin Feige, at least in two, since 2018, since I read it in the trades that he is overseeing Marvel Comics. So maybe the toys, maybe the T-shirts, which is the shit that really makes money. But the guy was 80. And uh, I agree with your assessment, Ryan. I think they needed to just, they needed a head to balance out the giant, ginormous Danny DeVito looking head of uh, uh, Victoria Alonzo. I almost said <laughs> Axel Alonzo. Uh, Victoria some, Alonzo. He has some fat, uh, fat whore out there named Victoria Alonzo. I can hear you. Oh, who's sorry. Claiming, oh. Who's, who's claiming easy, uh, that easy. she's been fired because she's a gay Latina, right? Then you really want to make sure you set the message that, hey, guys, we're not anti-woke here, okay? Look at this fucking guy. He donated to Trump. Fuck him. He's fired. Yep. The guy and, who oh, totally the way, sold us Marvel. And make sure that an enemy of Bob Iger, an enemy of Kevin Feige is no longer there. Too. Yeah, and that's what they both were. It doesn't matter. Like, politics aside, Victoria was going to be a problem for Bob Iger because she was a problem for Bob for uh, for Bob Chapin. Right, right. Yeah. She's a problem because she didn't do her job, too. She, that, that, too. That, <laughs> too. <laughs> Mostly. She's she's a problem because she was bad at a job. That yeah. too. It was well, and when she, but when she was specifically not just bad because when she was specifically directed to blur out the gay pride scenes in Ant Man so they could release it in a Middle East country where they throw gay people off the buildings, she said no. She refused to have her team. But she was completely okay with all the other edits they did under her tenure. Mm -hmm. I was say, a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> There's loads. What you know? What I think this is. This is this is my guess on that because. I think that those other things were just straight up <laughs> edited out, but they want, they were asking for a blur, which would be visual effects shit. So th that's what I think the difference is. So it'd it be pretty easy to fucking make an edit in something and not have like to go to the VFX team and ask her to do this. If you're just going to blur something out like that, you would. I think that's why it came to a head right there. Interesting. How does it do a blur? Why do they need a VFX phone to do? Is well, it like but maybe again, it's like a unit. Uh... <sighs> Like, like a uh, super specific and detailed yeah, like like <laughs> a, they they can't on set. You can't pick up a light without the 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 people going. Hey, you can't you can't. Tell, you're the director. You're the actor. You're the. Grip, it has to be the specific it has, person. It's all union based. Yes, uh, yes. So it's, it's even if, be it, like a, if it's visual, it's got to go to the visual effects people. You yeah, but even if it. like if Ryan's right about that, which it sounds like it will make sense, uh, it's still the fact that she would stay with a company that would be willing to edit out gay people. You know, it just shows that these people, it's all about being a fake victim. It it, they believe it's fake. Yes. So it's just, it is, it's such nonsense. They don't actually care about these things. They just pretend to care about them when they can most benefit. Dude, after Mulan, like they got nothing. No yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And also, who would have thought that a woman hired based on certain tick boxes and not merit would be bad at her job? Shocking. Yeah. Shocking. Utterly shocking. So I am shocked. shocked. I am shocked. I am mostly shocked that she's been fired. Like Kathleen Kennedy is still there, and she's she not must going have been anywhere. like a Dude, big. Kathleen Kennedy was fired sixty-eight <laughs> times over the last. Three yeah, years. She you don't understand. Yeah. She yeah. keeps going. She's Somehow Kathleen life. Kennedy returns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like every time Mahler's on this show, we have this conversation. Uh, <laughs> the dark side like is a, a path to many it. abilities that someone pull unnatural. <laughs> Whenever I'm here, it's like, Mahler's is still dead, everyone. Just check it in. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure, though, this time, though, she's really going to get fired if they don't actually make five billion dollars on the next movie that was the latest story so if it doesn't okay. make five billion dollars kathleen five Kennedy billion yeah it might need to actually make that yeah uh 350 million <laughs> uh budget so holy red. crap um no case, yeah no. victoria alonzo going before kathleen coming. kennedy did not see that one coming i did not but i mean just behind the scenes she must have been just a pain in the ass like a total pain yeah. in the ass that's why you fire people 
It's not one yeah. little thing. Yeah, well, uh, Kathleen Kennedy it has way too much knowledge, uh, far more than anybody like Victoria Alonso would. Yeah. I, mean, I know Victoria Alonso was long around for a long time, but Kathleen Kennedy knows all the dirt. I mean, she yeah, was the highest the paid for coffee long? maker. Yes, a long time. <laughs> rumor rumor has it she has Epstein's flight. Yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> I, I brought this Victoria up. Alonso is causing problems that are far above her station, right? Uh, and like, that's the thing as, as much as we fucking despise Kathleen Kennedy and everything, I like, I don't know what she's like as an executive working for, what's it like on the executive level, working with Kathleen Kennedy through Disney. And if she seems to like play ball and play fine with them, that it might be worth just keeping her there. Cause it's fine for them at that level. So I, I don't for, know for but now, where, where, I've, where you have the president of VFX and post-production one doing a terrible job at that thing so much so that there's mainstream articles talking about the terrible VFX, these strikes that are happening throughout the post-production, like mm -hmm. visual effects community, how bad the CGI is on every one of these shows and movies, you know, that in and of itself is a problem. And then all the while you're sitting there calling out the company for not doing enough for the gays mm -hmm. and, and also <laughs> making red carpet appearances for other movie studios. Mm -hmm. taking so, pot shots she had approval and being do. notoriously difficult to work with remember okay i talked to samala about this tomorrow and as already but remember that scene in game of thrones when uh john becomes lord commander and janice slit mm -hmm. refuses an order and he goes to to go get him to behead him and alistair thorne stands in the way and then just steps aside and lets it happen that's what kevin feige did <laughs> to, uh, Axel, to, to uh, God, I want to say Axel Alonzo, Victoria Alonzo. Just as bad, Gary. I know he's Hopefully. just as bad. He's a former EIC at Marvel Comics. And this is mm -hmm. like, all of this is going to affect Marvel Comics too. Uh, Flash did a video on it today and we'll, we'll talk about it later. But uh, them them absorbing what's left of Marvel outside of Marvel Studios into Disney, huge. Absolutely huge for, for, for the publishing that's been pretty much under the radar. It doesn't make or... It, it probably it loses plenty of money. It's a loss leader, but it's like an IP farm, so it, it's it's still worth having right now, but not for long, not for long. We're getting all these new Spider like every day. We're getting we got Spider Boy today. Spider Boy. Spider Boy. Oh, Thanks, and Dan. and what was it? Spider. Is he gay? Um, uh, pro yeah, sure. I mean, like, let's just him. assume. <laughs> um, I love how I love how Ads asked it like out of genuine like curiosity, like, yeah. is it gay? Uh, like, well, I mean, it's their mo, man. Make I just all these like I just like consistency, Jeremy. You see, <laughs> as so you've got ninety nine percent fucking gay spider wankers <laughs> running around. I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed if they fucking one hundred percent. Well, as up. you know, uh, making uh, assuming makes an ass out of you and me, but he's underage. And uh, it's a Disney oh, character, so yes, gay, then. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't tell if As was asking as like a, a troll <laughs> leftist, or if he was asking for monetization purposes. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> but like, can I monetize? That's part Colin of the May trick. And a little bit from Colin B. <laughs> That's part of the I, trick. As is our ally here, so <laughs> he is. Uh, Jeremy from Geeks they and they Gamers. The gay now the spiders are gay. Oh, the the, the spiders are gay. Yeah. They're gay spider now. Gems. They can gay now. <laughs> Um, hi, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Hello, Ryan said you've already introduced me. That is a lie. You are fake news, Ryan. Uh, I might have. Uh, I've just completely talk, forgot. Get, getting ready for MegaCon tomorrow uh, here in Orlando. So we have a panel, a Geeks and Gamers panel at 2.30 tomorrow. So if you are going to be at MegaCon, please make sure that you come by the panel. Ryan said he went to go pick up the passes, ran into multiple people, and none of them knew we had a panel. So uh, um, we got to do a better job, I guess, of advertising. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. So, is it um, on your website? That, it's not, but it's on their website. It's on so. their website? It well, actually nobody's gonna on our Ooh. website as well, Jeremy. Well, I think more people <laughs> – honestly, I think more people will go to your website. He's streaming. He wouldn't. Bro, I got 10 <laughs> channels. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore around here. <laughs> So <laughs> on five of them a day. Ryan's it's look at his face much. is classic. Like two, remember two years ago, I said like I'm not doing any streaming. I'm just gonna make videos. Now I'm not making videos, and I'm just <laughs> streaming every day on every channel. High five. And uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm fucking doing anymore. Mm. The streaming's fun, man. Well, uh, MegaCon tomorrow, two thirty p.m. Eastern time. Did I get that yes. right? 
Yes, that's right. Yes, Geeks of Gamers panel. Eastern, so. Be there be or awesome. be square. Yeah, the whole crew will be there. S three twenty G. S three twenty G. Be there. I, I stopped by yesterday when I grabbed the passes. Like I said, I, I ran into. I was there for like ten minutes, just walking the floor, and three people stopped me. Um, all of them knew us. were big fans of the show, and they didn't know that we were there. For, we we're going to be doing a panel there. So, but now they know. Now three people know Ooh. because you went there. So Minimum maybe three people. Why don't you there. send one of your army of geeks and gamers people just to run around the con with the sign? Hey, Chris and Kristen. Ivan have been there all day, so all right. they're 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 uh, they're doing their their. Work I, now. Ivan, well, somebody might pick him up to mow the lawn. So well, they've already moved. They've already wanna... made their way. They've already made their way over to Universal now. Right. So, um, so hopefully they put the word out. Or I mean, to be fair, probably. or clean the pool. Okay, or, or clean, clean the pool. pool. Okay. That's my job. I thought. <laughs> right. No, you're the driving instructor. Hey, I have <laughs> pictures of X-ray girl cleaning the pool at Geeks and Gamers. Uh, HQ. Shoes off. Ooh. Be super chat, and I might be able to share that image with you. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that Mark the Cyborg is her pimp simp. So, I was like, you should lower the shirt more. I'm like, Mark, no, <laughs> he just married you for your money, extra girl. <laughs> Dreaming at that point. Well, when he, he knew called. eventually you'd be a, a thought. So like, I'm gonna change her. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Uh, hello, as uh, nice yeah. seven hour stream today. I see. Yeah. Yeah. The short one. Yeah. Did you lose anything today? Nope. So you had a good day. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Are we what just I news? saw. I was there. Asana. Oh, yeah, some bitch died. Oh. <laughs> you sound like Shad. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't care about her. <laughs> well, as, as, as a, he has a better follower now. He's got his dream girl. Cut my teeth. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and he, has, uh, he finally has entrapped a woman. At I like it. Do you know, this is what I love about women in general. <laughs> you you see, all, the, all these women, like X-Ray Girl, QB and I, we extended a, a, a an arm and let her into Sunday Fun Day. You know, it was just him and me, yeah. boys against the world, just two dudes naked Rocking rubbing it. up against each other. Nothing gay about wow. that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Nothing gay about that at all. Oh. And uh, we let her in, right? And then she like you know becomes part of the crew. And then we let Jane in as well. Sunday Fun Day grows. We're diverse. Very diverse <laughs> and organically so. And then uh, they come in, you know, QBG. <laughs> Do you want to do Conan? Let's do Conan. I'm going to go my own way. You know, I'll be in the clan, but I'm going to MGTOW. I'm going to build my own base and stuff. Good lad. Yeah. No, I like that. You know, the girls all run off to Shad's house. <laughs> what can I say? All, you know, when you make all nice traitors, house. all traitors just run <laughs> off to Shad's house, right? And then I, eh, we get to Shad's house. Hey, Mandy Summers, down to earth gal. Go on her indie girl goes. She comes in, she's just like, I, I give her the tour. This is my house, this is my place. Not it's not just, just a tour. Oh, boy. That I was, that was... Chad, I told her the truth. And then I no, took her to Chad. Was lies I, and I, told her, I told her the I truth. Did. And the then the announced I that you place. had to jump through to get your base ready to try Chad, and this is lure. not your time. This is my time. <laughs> <laughs> you will have time Reclaim to myself. respond to this. <laughs> this is my time now. So I show around Shad's, you know, and she's like, no, no I want to stay with you. So I'm like, of course you do. You're only fucking female. You're only human. So she comes <laughs> stays with me. I make her a room. I decorate it all for her as well. I wake up today. I log on on day. She's there naked in my bed next to me. Of course. She's not naked. She's wearing uh, pajamas. As naked as the, as the, as the rules will allow Game us to have her at the minute. And so, <laughs> and, and all, all of X-Ray Girl, traitor, Nina, traitor, <laughs> Tara, traitor, no, never, did, you know, never met until then, but still traitor. Jane, <laughs> traitor, all they've done is, like, be snarky. Women, they fucking hate each other. Oh, they do. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's too much he, time playing this shit out. He's talking about Conan Exiles. It's the video game. Oh, yeah. There's people like, what <laughs> is he talking <laughs> about? What is going on? It's in the video game world, okay. I'm talking about uh, yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. As I, I have... I have all these wonderful helpers that have been collecting resources and gathering all these things, cooking all animals. this food. I uh, like it's just Yeah. Just I, I literally yeah. in my stream I ask for some something. Shad just like automatically makes it, doesn't tell me, and he's okay. like, Okay. How many know? times has Shad cooked you alive? Just once. <laughs> just the just once. once. Okay. Just once. You know. Just once. I, I killed like three of them. My lord, I rest my case. Do you know how many times I've cooked Mandy? None. 
<laughs> Maybe if you cooked her every once in a while, she wouldn't betray you. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I could cook for her, but she got cooked Did by she? Chad. Who's, Maybe who's wants, really in control now, those, as, you, know? you know? Like, Clearly have you laid as. down the law? Like, who who owns that house now, As How uh, many times has Nina been cooked in your house? Well, like I said, you got to lay down the law, and okay. then they know who's in How many cooking times has Carl Lynn been cooked in your house? Exactly. As, you like, where's the law in your house? It sounds like it's Mandy's house. Sounds now. like anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ryan Kennel. Until I see a toothbrush in my bedroom, everything's okay. Yeah, that's going to get serious. Again, hello, Ryan Kennel of RK Outpost. How are you? I'm doing great. Another FNT. We got Mauler back, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, there's been there's been a lot of chaos in Marvel. The Jonathan Majors thing is like so complicated, especially with everything we've seen. With men lying, with women lying very publicly in Hollywood over the past couple of years. So looking forward to getting into that. I can't believe his fucking lawyer released those text messages. I know. Uh, yep. I saw he your finds video. a new representation, buddy. Uh, but yeah. And I'm looking forward to Megacon on Saturday. Just like Jeremy said, it's going to be fun. I think a lot of people assume that because a star is a star, they'll have a very good lawyer. And sometimes they have some shit lawyers because it's like their buddy or a buddy's buddy. That was effing stupid. Uh, I saw again. I saw your video. Very good. Very well done. You guys go update me on this. I'm interested. Oh, we will. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's we complicated. will. It's, it's basically just affair. all right. So just think of the meme of the guy sweating, trying to decide which button to push. <laughs> one of the buttons is believe all women, and the other one is don't assume black men committed violence. Right. <laughs> that, 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 that's what's going on right now. Like for a lot of these media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of press both buttons, speaking know. of oh. men committing violence, Shad M. Brooks, cooker of women, <laughs> lies and slander, lies and slander, and, and at the same time, you do need to lay down the law. I can't help it if I'm so hot that people just die in my presence. Wow, <laughs> wow, you know, it's just just what happens. And you can go great. How are you, Gary, and everyone here? It's wonderful to be. I'm here. good. Fantastic video today. I watched it. Thank <clears throat> While I was drinking my third or fourth cup of coffee before the show, got to get ready. Got to get ready. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. What kind of yeah. coffee? It's Geek Grind coffee. Geek Grind. Oh, Geek Grind. <laughs> we got a new flavor coming out pretty soon. Oh, um, oh look at that. Way to rep, Chrissy. Nice, nice. But no. it's an interesting topic. Maybe we'll be able to discuss it a bit later on because. Uh, like I said, I I can see Thank both you, sides in, in in you know the discussion. Thanks, Az. and uh, and uh, yeah, I like I like talking. No, I think it's no, I think it's a conversation that needs to be had because things are going to change. Not with Disney, no, <laughs> but with other places. Um, and it's going to work sometimes. It's not going to work sometimes. And uh, you know, as change begins, uh, honesty has to become has to come above all. That's that's yeah. it. I mean, like if we if we if we're just <clears throat> pushing another fucking narrative, then we're no different. Uh, and and you know, it's always got to be about fandom, but we also don't want to blame fandom. It's the creatives and the activists who started this shit, uh, yep. not the fans. Uh, I think that's a very important conversation to have. So well done, Shad. Thank Mark you. with the C made a really good video on this too. I wanted to mention that if you're not aware of him, go check him out. <laughs> Who was Mark that? I missed the name. <clears throat> Mark with the C. Oh, Mark, Mark with the C. He's on the. He's on the. The the. Why am I brain farting, Ryan? Dark Council. Dark Council. Yeah. Dark Council. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Dark Council. Yeah, Mark's Mark. awesome. Mark's he awesome. Has some very dude. insightful yeah. videos. Yes, he does. Rocking, he's usually rocking a GI Joe hat too. Yeah, yeah. Very wise Respect. man. Respect. Very wise man. Uh, speaking of not being wise, uh, Carter Black Garrett. Hello. Oh. Hey guys, oh. what's up? <laughs> wow. Uh, I had a good week, you know. I I texted Jeremy and I was like, "Hey man, I'm coming to Orlando. Just letting you know." And then I I just ghosted him and went and hung out with Drunk Brutio, <laughs> Universal Orlando. I was in Pensacola though when you got here. I was back in Pensacola. So. Okay, yeah. I just see this I, fucking I cock sucker. He didn't even fucking care. All he cared about was Jake the Viking was there, and he wanted to go hang out with Jake I was like, I want to get a picture with Jake the Viking. That's all he cared about. No, dude, my kids were so excited about that. It was hilarious. J Jake uh, cannot go to it. Like, when he's at Universal, 
he gets he mobbed. He gets wow. mobbed, swarmed, man. And and what's funny about it is he tries to stay low key, and every time people are staring How? at him, drunk drunk is like. Hey, you guys yeah. want a picture with Jake the yeah. Viking? I fucking Jake. Like, 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 he was like the hype man for for Jake the Viking. It was hilarious. Yeah, how does he go low key? I like, uh, no, does like, he no, walk no, on his no, knees no. or something? Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, wait, he's gonna he's got this big he's got this big fight coming up soon, and G and G might be sponsoring him. We'll see. Hey, oh, we'll that's see. awesome. So that's tight. Hell yeah. So I told him, I was like, you better beat this dude's ass if I sponsor you. <laughs> you look like, don't make me look dude. Don't fuck me out there. Uh, it was a great week, though. I had a, a nice vacation with my kids, uh, hung out with Drunk for a little bit in Orlando, and uh, Disney was just crashing and burning while I was gone. It was pretty great. It was beautiful. Executives being fired, staff being fired, projects being delayed and canceled. Uh, it's just beautiful. So I can't wait to talk about it. And John Wick. I watched John Wick <laughs> last oh, yeah. week, and it's, I'm still thinking about it. I still I want to mm. go watch it again. I'm going to go watch it in like IMAX. Such a good Did movie. very well at the box office, and... Uh, yeah. Drinker put up. And a have tweet. a really good hold too. Yeah. Good, yeah. Wait, a movie did That's good at said. the box office. Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> What's this? That's impossible. The only movies that do good at a box office are alt right movies uh, that toxic fans want to go see. That's the only. That's what yep. I've heard anyway. So. Yeah, Fine. The military, Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons by the way, Dungeons and Dragons is uh, tipped to win this weekend. Is over it? John Wick. Uh, really? uh, uh, the, the, the second reviews? weekend for John yeah. Wick versus opening for D&D. Yeah. Seems like I, fans and I know Shad has seen it. Um man, why it snap? Seems, it seems like it seems like people I, are really liking it. I had so. tickets and I blew it off because I was working on my John Wick video. Like, <laughs> I, I think he just had the worst promotion possible because every single trailer looked like trash. I don't and know. All I, the stuff I, coming out of it looked like trash, so maybe it's good. <clears> I actually what don't are the trailers think that it actually like trash. Yeah, it looked fun from the trailers, but one of the trailers actively mislead what the plot of the uh, film is about. Really? Where it's like, you know, the one where it's like, this is the this is the deal. We are a group of you know thieves, and we stole the wrong thing, and the bad guy. Mm -hmm. That's that's in the film, but it's actually essentially a side plot to the main plot that happens in the film. And the main plot, like this, isn't really a spoiler. Like, uh, the main plot's about fatherhood, surprisingly, oh and being a good huh. dad. And it's wow. like, what, what? Uh, values? Like, what? Yeah. What, what I, I said from I've been saying this for months about that movie is that I think it's gonna have more like wide stream appeal than people probably think. There's probably be some hardcore D and D fans that might be like, "Fuck this," but I think it's actually gonna have a lot of people interested. Well, I'm, wasn't I it tracking it low? What, wait, wait, wasn't yeah, it tracking low at the box office? Didn't I initially hear that, or was that an erroneous rumor? There, I mean, there I, was I don't know. there was projections like opening projections well, that were low. The, they were projecting it to be low, and I'm interested to see how well yeah, it does we'll because um, I think this is the type of movie that will benefit greatly off word of mouth. And the fact is, mm. I saw it and I really liked it. I actually really like the film so much so. The day after, I took all my kids to it. Oh, that's took cool. My mom wow. and my kids right. and watched it because it's it actually has a great positive message. It's the type of fun adventure film kids will love, and I actually also think it will please most D and D fans. There is a, oh. an Easter egg in this film that I found delightful that hardcore D&D fans will really like. Uh, let me just say, oh, I don't want to spoil I don't want to spoil what don't it is. If you're a, don't spoil it. I'm aware fan, of it. Don't spoil it, As a D&D &D fan for a, uh, for a long oh. time, a, lo a majority of my life, I love D&D. &D. Those were the bits in the trailers that I did like. Like all the little bits that I saw, like they were like, let's go to the tavern. Let's go like, to the tavern. Let's go to the talk tavern. Over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like the the mimic <laughs> and all, like the like. It, there's a lot there's, of stuff that's in the trailer that I did yeah. go like, ooh, that's cool. It's all the out, outside stuff that I didn't like the jokes yeah. and stuff. It's I don't know if it works in the movie, well, but it sounds like it may. It, well, they get some law things wrong in the D and D rule set, like like you know the druid. This is in the trailer. The druid turns into an owl bear, and, and the druid shouldn't really be able to do that and stuff. Yeah. And so there's those side things, but then there are actually some really deep cut parts that you would only recognize if you're a D and D player. For instance, if you're aware of the trope of the dungeon master inserting an NPC insert for themselves. It's a character that really feels like that. And it's just like, interesting. It's, it's got stuff like that where it's, oh, wow, okay, you know? <laughs> All right. We'll see. Like, I think that it was projected between 30 and 40 million. Uh, John Wick early second weekend predictions is around 35 million. So 
It's a that's a solid second. Interesting. We How's yeah. Shazam doing? If anybody Honestly, needs me to really remind weak. them that film even existed, you know, feel free. So. Well, John Wick has probably I, already made more than Shazam's entire box office run. Yeah, night. probably. Well, um, Dungeons and Dragons did 5.6 million on the Thursday, which is not bad at all. No, it's it, not. And where? There are a million Here? of that was other previews than just Thursday. But yeah, that, like that shapes up to be probably 45 to 50 million, maybe. Hmm. Could overperform. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Shazam we'll see. Has barely earned a fucking penny this week. No, <laughs> no, it hasn't. I fell asleep in the movie. I went to go watch it with the kids when I was on vacation, and uh, I fell asleep at the at the climax. They were like, "Let's go fight the bad guy," and I was like, "Well, and Sh I woke Shazam!" Up right when they were like, "We fought him," I usually Shazam fall asleep is, is, right after the climax. It's still in over wow. four thousand theaters, <laughs> and its average theater is now one hundred and forty-two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, it's fucking over those theaters oh my because God. because I I imagine that there was some agreement in place with Warner Brothers, a big superhero release that they would have to keep it for a certain amount of time. Yep. They already moved it all out of a premium format in the second weekend for John Wick to come in. Yeah. So like, yeah, I'm sure those theaters aren't happy that they're not allowed to drop Shazam. Uh, well, and like, if D and D is being popular, that's just gonna make Shazam even worse. Well, it's already it's worse. You know, yeah, and it, and it I, overshadowed Ant Man's abysmal failure too. Uh, and I it's love. It's hard to believe how bad those Shazam really has been. Like this is insane, it's legendary. It's, this is a movie it's insane. It's proportional to the to the quality of the movie. I don't think the movie is horrible. Right. It's not a, a horrible movie. It's a but fine dude, movie. It's a bad There's sign for Blue it. Beetle, which still needs to come out. It, yeah, for it's, Flash it and Aquaman. Time. Aquaman is going to be terrible. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Amber Heard. Yeah. yeah. DC <laughs> said, "Hey, don't go watch this movie. It doesn't matter at all." So and like, they're kind of saying no, that to, they they're saying it. that about all of their upcoming movies. Right. Yes. Yes. All of these like ones the, that are coming. The out. only ones that they're trying to it seems like the only ones they're trying to hype up is Flash. Is Flash Shocking and Ben Aff enough. Ben Affleck is just shooting that thing down left and right. He's oh Wonder Woman's cut out now. I'm in it yeah. for five oh, minutes. <laughs> but he didn't he didn't say Wonder Woman's cut out. He was like yeah Wonder Woman's coming back. Like he let it leak that Wonder Woman's coming back, and then they had to be like. Oh, by the way, that was cut out of the movie a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. And then yeah, like Aquaman, like a, a movie that made what did Aquaman make? One point two billion. Bi one point two yeah. billion. Or it'll it'll make one point two million now. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be. This might be one of the biggest drop off we've ever seen for a film from the first to the second because of the because not only the DC stuff that's surrounding the entire universe but the Amber Heard dynamic yeah, Amber you know what over I mean? here fucking it up too oh like, uh, uh, that's gonna be funny uh hello yes, comics is. division oh, hey man how you doing good I'm officially a beekeeper now what? I got my bees. I knew it. I could tell something oh, was different. Uh, hold on. I'm not going <laughs> to you didn't, It was an awkward pause. I'm not letting that yeah. slide. There was, I thought there it was, was dramatic. A, comics. Yeah, I thought it was easy. dramatic. Oh, wait, it was just a dramatic no, comics, pause. No, this is something that comics does. Whenever like, we're on a massive fucking stream, we've been talking for 30 minutes. Like, hey, comics, how's it going? And, and he answers, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, 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 now. Okay. Are you? Wait, wait, wait. Comics division. Are you a beekeeper or are you writing the bees? Have you heard of those questions? Um, according to Toxic Man Flu, they are my toked up bees, and I'll be sending them after people soon. So. Oh, good. Wow. Good. Yeah. Attack bees. Are you going to wow. torture people it's, it's, so they can scream, Not the bees! Yes, not, not the bees! bees. <laughs> no, are you going to be selling money? I was at the ranch. Uh, last couple of days and got my bees yesterday and everything set up and uh yeah it's gonna be pretty it's pretty damn cool also got a can yeah. uh, a channel strike which has been fun yes you did uh yeah. great oh, strike so, strike or claim it? or medical oh, no, misinfo? A strike. Medical oh misinfo. the medical mission <laughs> misinformation youtube come on yeah did no, you say I... that the uh, vaccine is complete and utterly safe <laughs> it's well, totally <laughs> safe. So it is words. super duper duper safe. Super safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comics, are you going to sell honey? Around. Uh, uh, at some point, I would like to. Yes. Um, the first oh. year, it's mainly just getting the colonies established. Uh, so the second year is when they'll actually start producing honey. As nice. a Brit, I fully appreciate getting those colonies established. 
Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Colonizer. <laughs> that you're probably thinking as. But, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I heard wait, you're about comments. to end all the COVID protocols. Oh, we're ready for a comeback. In like really? May, like May or something. They're finally ending all the fucking wow. COVID protocols. Yeah. You know who I bet wish they ended a little bit earlier? That fucking horse that died suddenly in the set of rings of power. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the, the hell is up with that? It died clues. of embarrassment. Said, it read the script. They said, yeah. They said, <laughs> wow. Wow. You were, were scared to give him my It said, nay. Uh -huh. <laughs> nay. Nay, I won't be in this game. Give me a wall for that. Right? <laughs> no, that's correct. Right, sort of like, I'm going to use that one. That wow. Is wow. Awesome. wow. Winner! Winner! Well done. Uh, now we get to the actual comedian, Chrissy Mayer. Oh, God. I thought you were gonna say actual horse. Um, <laughs> hello, guys. Good I would never. Here. I would only say that privately to your face. Thank you. Thank There's you. a lot of ways that could go. I didn't know where you were going with that one. Even like halfway through the word, I'm like, where is this going to fall? It's great to be here, guys. Apparently on the face, Jeremy. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> excited for the show. Excited that it's Friday. Um, I I'm excited to maybe talk a little bit about Mandalorian. There was not as much Baby Yoda in this episode. No, so. but there was a lot of retardation that I'm looking forward to talk about because that was just, it is dumb, Chrissy. It is a dumb I show. I think this episode was less dumb than the other episodes. Oh, we'll, we will my, discuss. My standards for dumb are probably different than yours. Well, I had you a lot of Sal face the pirate. Lot, yeah, a lot of pirates. They were really insistent on drinking in the, in the school. Um, they but finally yeah, just, got to. They finally got to drink in the school, but I'm super excited for Vegas and the meetup and yeah, all that good stuff. Let's Welcome your back show on Thursday. Yes. Yes. And my show on Thursday, which you can still buy tickets oh, to. Please. Yes. At the space. At the space. We'll be there. Yeah. Well, we're, uh, 26 days to Vegas, everybody. Well, yeah. to, Brian, to the meetup. If you want to do, do a spot, I would love that. If you want to always ask me that, in. that's like, that's like it, the opposite of what I would be, be so good. good. At. <laughs> be good. You got to do it. Do some street jokes. What, like about black people? What the fuck did I do? <laughs> 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 Those are urban jokes. You, like, you know, Chris, as soon as you get him on stage, he's going to bomb. <laughs> no, I genuinely think it would be great. He's gonna oh. bomb more than an Ola Gay for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> World War II jokes. <laughs> They're still funny. funny. <laughs> it was actually funny as <laughs> it was. Uh, and then our producer, Exeter. A good. I've been reading French and uh, preparing um for my next audiobook uh, it's a lot of french in there but i'm excited for this show thank you Mahler, for joining us um okay, and next month is uh as you know we had women's history month my birthday month so i'm excited we're only gonna What's celebrate it with you. why all the chicks have birthday months I know. So yeah, birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> celebrate <laughs> me <laughs> You know, and then what do they do, Gary? They fucking lie about their age. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I lie about my age. Uh, <laughs> you. Yeah, you're 25. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Until I'm 51. 51. And then you're instantly 81. Yeah. She's, yeah. She's 51. She's younger than Gary. I just. Want yeah. To Thank you for pointing that out, as I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching as and he's just dying in the background. <laughs> I was like, who did Gary kick? Did he kick X ray go? No, me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> um but what I is it? It? she fucking <laughs> said it and then you immediately went, oh. Well, she said 51. <laughs> I could see that your brain was just like, wait a minute, that's younger than me. <laughs> the you guys need to save me. Camera. I need to leave Canada because that yes. stupid censorship bill is getting closer. Oof. 
Well, speaking of no. bills, there's an interesting one in regards to that uh, banning TikTok one. Oh, no, indeed there is. Mm. It's Man, awful. No, yeah, don't worry about these fucking Chinese people looking at your dicks, right? <laughs> Fuck it, it's not a big deal. Now where are we? They want to fucking control everything. Yeah, that's they'll, right. They need to obfuscate Trojan what they're going to Google and Facebook. Right. Oh, the guys at TikTok. Google and Facebook have been behind this from the get-go, okay? So that's who wants to ban TikTok. It, 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 fuck, you want to talk about fascism. Uh, two well, major just, corporations, two titan corporations want to get rid of it so they can, uh, uh, you know, so it helps Instagram and the stupid fucking shorts on this platform. Yep. Don't worry I just, about I China's never government cared about the... watching your dick. Worry about our government. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I never <laughs> understood it. Like, look, it is TikTok has a lot of weird people on it and a lot of stupid. Stuff. It also has some some really base stuff on there, too. It really does. Like, it's out there. At the end of the day, people are going to be people. Uh, but this whole banned TikTok thing, do you know what precedent that sets? Dude. Like we've already seen. Dude. We've I, already seen what has happened with stuff like Parler and everything. We don't need to encourage banning platforms. Platforms, yeah, exactly. Uh, we just uh, don't it's, need to do that. For one, China's not spying on us any more than our own government is, which I have more of a problem with, quite frankly. I'm with Ryan. I don't care. Like, I don't, I'm not on TikTok, so I don't give a shit. I hate TikTok, but, uh, like, it, it shouldn't be banned by a government. And hearing people in our sphere praising that is uh, like fuck. Come on, think about it. Just a little bit. I, on it. I don't give a fuck. On it. Well, I, I think I think you should. There are certainly. They're not like, going to be looking at your dick, man. Now listen, you for government care. employees in government buildings and shit like that, I have no fucking problem with them. You know that that happens all the time. There's a lot of different security that that aren't allowed for government workers in certain places for obvious security reasons, but. For the average fucking Joe at home. As somebody who fucked off on YouTube at Tesla quite a bit, no, you shouldn't be allowed to look at that shit at work. <laughs> That's how I found Jeremy. <laughs> I was so freaking, the, I'm bored. I'm like, oh, all right. Is, is it's basically the Patriot Act, <laughs> except yes. a yeah. lot worse for the internet. Yes, this out, is yeah. from the Patriot Act, too. Part yeah. of it is from that, and all the, the infiltration Google. into these... Uh, tech companies is from the Patriot Act. Thanks, Patriot Act. You fucking Look, whenever suck. Democrats are unified oh, on something, I'm concerned. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, so I, I'm grateful we have the long man here who is very patient and can understand our very long introduction. What's up, long man Mahler? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hi. Welcome back, Mahler. Good. Okay. So, 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 if fucking half an hour goes, maybe everyone forgot it was fine. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, we, all, we all know you've just been playing Resident Evil 4 the whole time. Yeah. I don't know. How is it? You is it mean beautiful? I mean, Mola, you going I back to it, you bastard. I wish for you to complete it. Do it. I will. I will. Mola, I hear you love Shazam. Uh, yeah. what? Why would you even believe that for a second, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yes, of course. That's exactly what it is. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like him. Oh, yeah. It's been a while destroying it. That's not with the controversial recent take. Anyway, it's the John Wick one, all right? That's the one I'm in trouble for, okay? I didn't you don't like it. it? I thought it was terrible. Oh, oh, no. No. oh I'm, um, I don't know if we can God. talk to Mahler anymore because he didn't yeah. like what we like. <laughs> he hates John Wick. Oh, oh. Who are you? Commie. Like Resident Evil 4, though. That counts for something, right? right. That counts for a lot. And so I, I still have it. So I haven't played the remake yet, but I, I know Beardo has a review up for us, and uh, I've, I've already bought it. I can't wait. Because Resident Evil 4, the OG one, is one of my favorite games ever. So we I've heard nothing it. but phenomenal things about this game. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, I, I may have put a so couple pretty. hundred hours into it already. <laughs> I lose all my friends to video games. I do. Join us, Gary. It's true. It's true. Join you, us. you said last week that you were going to come on Conan on yeah. Saturday. And I then I had to make videos. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> Not he told, sorry. He told, he told me you, you six months ago he was going to come on Tuesday night's main event every other you week. You could have come on. Uh -huh. ago. Every uh, other month is pretty it. good. It's, it's Gary, working my way there. On, you could have come on your meta new meta PC. How's There's that going, time. by the way? It's Just on. Asking. It works. It's freaking <laughs> fantastic. I wish we could have been recording. I turned the switch we... on and electricity went into it. <laughs> it's drawing power <laughs> from my house. <laughs> I, w I wish. I wish we would have. I wish the audience would have heard when Comics joined the call. We were talking about Gary's PC, and Comics like, 
kind of video card you got in there, Gary? And Gary's uh, blah, 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 the good blah, kind. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> the answer, which is he didn't know. <laughs> I I knew it when I read it off the box before we uh, put it in, but uh, before it my came, son put it in, it, it didn't come installed, so I can guarantee it's a four thousand series. Yes, the, the number four was on the box. I remember that. Yes, <laughs> I do. There you go. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm old. Give a shit. I'm going to go touch grass, <laughs> nerds. No. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, pull your dick out. Get it over with. All right, let's do it. <laughs> do you guys always do that? I'll um, make fun of it. 4chan post or something where it was like I went. You know, we're not on those fucking Nazi boards, Mahler. What do you mean? Yeah, I I saw it on Twitter. Okay, it was like I went outside. I touched grass. I talked to people. It was it was awful. I kept it there. Like it was it was harsh and it was cold. Why does everyone keep saying go outside? It's horrible out there. Horrible. Wow. I got dog poo. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I was late on that one, but little delayed yeah, right there. I was trying to Holy find shit. it. Holy I, quarter black must have went to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Even used it's a, it. whole, it's a whole other story now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was gonna go through with it. Damn it! I was gonna follow <laughs> through. I don't care if it was late. I love that clip. <laughs> Wait, so what is it? Bull is an SJW plant. He loves Ad Mad and Mando, but hates John Wick. What the fuck did you hear that? <laughs> hey, hey. I hear you love man. That's you okay. Um, I saved I saved Kersman Trek. Like personally, I did. I saved it. Wow, so for my believe. next trick, I'm gonna save Doctor Who and Disney. All right, here I go. I can't believe that Kurtzman's still under contract through 2026, just like he was before Picard came out. That's weird. Yes. Yep. Weird. And all the shows that were uh, the show that was announced uh, was in the works for a year before card came out but gary that's not how contracts work contracts work when companies look online and go this guy said a nice thing on youtube let's make a contract, <laughs> <laughs> let's make a contract right now i mean never mind all the bad stuff he said before didn't hurt his contract but he says I'm, one I'm nice thing contract. absolute on the, on power the, on the back of this. <laughs> unlimited yes, sorry three more years uh hey Kathleen, can he still, still working <sighs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, we we're going to talk about that, right? Get Shad's video, too. Is that, is oh, that we're definitely going to talk about it, but I think we should kind of talk about Jonathan Majors. Like, where's he at now, Ryan? Uh, uh, not in jail. NYC apartment. Yeah. <laughs> not, so they were hiring a different lawyer. He All bailed right. out. So Jesus. He, got, he got arrested on Saturday. Uh, he was officially charged and obviously, you know, released on his own reconnaissance, whatever. Charged on Sunday. I think his next technical court appearance is in May, uh, but he was charged with assault, strangulation, harassment. Um, he was very adamant that, hey, I did not do this. This did not happen. Uh, we're looking did forward to clearing it. my name. Uh, and not. listen, with everything we've seen, especially in the aftermath of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, let's just be real. Uh, Amber Heard and women like her who have made false allegations, false Me Too allegations, tried to ruin men's career. They have pretty much made it now the standard that when you hear these things, we're very predisposed to, hey, we got to fucking wait to hear all this shit before we actually like can make a assessment mm -hmm. of what happened. So people said, hey, we want to know more details. Well, the lawyers said we have exculpatory evidence. We have video evidence. We have all of these things. So far, they released text messages. And the text messages don't exactly look the best for Mr. Jonathan Majors. It confirms that she did have injuries resulting from a fight that they had. Um, uh -oh. But she says, hey, it was my fault. I shouldn't have tried to grab your phone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You know, oh, no. I beat my oh, wife every time she reaches for my phone. So <laughs> I was like some sort of video yeah. released as well. Now, Your Honor, he There's might no have slapped her and strangled her, but she tried oh, to take God. a phone. Did, did yeah, they give a reason like, why oh, really? okay. they released those texts? To they like the lawyer released that to TMZ because they wanted to show the couple times in there that the that the woman said it's not I, I told them it's not your fault. I don't want you to be charged. That's like that's what's in there. Now listen, I, to be as fair as possible. I got nothing against Jonathan Majors other than I think he was in a bad Ant Man movie. Um, I'm not a not I'm not super cool about Jonathan Majors. I don't care either way. But 
It could be the case that she tried to grab his phone. He moved away and she started fucking hitting him. She got pissed and he tried to stop her or tried to whatever, maybe retaliate, whatever. That could be the case. But these tech, text messages don't clear anything like that up. Uh, having someone who's a potential victim of domestic violence saying it was my fault. I yes. don't want him charged. Mm -hmm. Isn't yes. anything new. So mm -hmm. it is a sloppy situation that I think everybody wants the actual truth about. Um, and I don't know if we're going to get that at least until they release the video that they've claimed that they have that shows, you know, everything was just fine, but they should probably release that. Well, well, these text messages, I think, <laughs> I don't know why they released it. Number two, I feel like those are not authentic text messages. Those are very strategically typed that, that her responses are strategically typed. There's no, if I'm not mistaken, there's no spelling errors. Punctuation is perfect. Mm. Everything is structured perfectly. Everything is carefully said. They got paragraphs and shit. It's just, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> And the fact that they released that thinking that was going to help, that feels like a strategic message from mm. her. And yeah. I don't know why they thought releasing that was going to help him at all. But that's even how before I this, look at it. Even before the, these texts came out, when she redacted her her uh, alleged claims. This it, is her it, redaction. It felt, just, it, just so you know, this is her redaction. Just so everybody is aware. It felt like, like she it. was being pressured into it. Or like even before these came out. She was like, oh, wait, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was going to be as big of a thing. Uh, he didn't do anything. And then they brought these out. And it looks kind of even worse. Kind of. Well, it kind of looks like a victim of domestic abuse begging her abuser. A little bit. Not to leave. It does. It also seems it does. really yeah. unusual. Yeah. Like, don't they keep um, all this shit under the, under the radar before they've, like, you know, sort out a case and know what they're doing? Just throwing this out just seems like a really bad idea. I don't know. Well, uh, the thing is, here's the problem is we, we live in this fucking era that all of a sudden this accusation is out there and this person gets ads pulled. This accusation's out mm -hmm. there and Jonathan Majors had ads for the army that he did for the final four for March Madness wow. immediately got taken off the air. Damn. I'm sure he has other endorsements that are like just walking away from him all because the allegation and the arrest before anything's proven, before anybody really knows any of the details. So, so have to do we, we live in an era where they're trying to do this damage control, but I think she should have dated Shadi would have fucking cooked though. <laughs> she just would have died from the heat. Of, I'm so hot. I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> if you <laughs> climb into the oven, it's no <laughs> fault of Shad's. Okay? Exactly. Molar knows <laughs> what's up. No, no. 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 If you want to fall the asleep oven, and I like, build the oven me. underneath you, that's what but, it's more like. But guess what? I still stayed. I know. What's love, right? Yeah, you're abused. A you're abused. I, I said this earlier. I said this earlier in our stream, but like th this represents the whole problem with entertainment right now, where we as fans don't really give a shit about all this stuff. We nope. just want to talk about fucking comic book movies and argue over shit within the movies. Marvel, Disney, and all of these companies have decided they're going to take social justice stands. We're going to preach to all of you about what's important. Black lives matter. Believe all women. All of this Sorry, bullshit. What, what, what was that last one you just said? Black lives matter. No, no, no. One after Believe that. all women. Oh. Yeah, Except when all. it threatens one of our stars. Oh, exactly. Whoopsie doopsie whoopsie. Yes. yes. Oh. And so now they're at the point in time Except where... when it's Gina Carano. Exactly. And now we're at a point in time where you have to make the determination. Do black lives matter? Or do we believe all women, Marvel? Which is it? Uh, well, and this uh, is the don't forget uh, no more white comfort, too. We, we no more white that. comfort. Yeah. Exactly. Shout out to J.J. Abrams. Uh, so this is the problem when you take these definitive stances uh, on these topics when they fit your narrative. Now you're caught in a situation where you're going to look like hypocrites because Wait you are. Did you just and say <laughs> only a Sith deals in absolutes? That's right. Mm. I'm a little, I'm a little <laughs> divided. Like, as drop back three for the win. Yep. Boom. It's over. <laughs> Kobe, for the assist. <laughs> what do you guys think is better? Back in the day when we, none of this just annoying nonsense that we don't care about was just like they, celebrities. They just kept it to themselves and we didn't need to care. Or yes, I like it when men could just beat women and get away with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or, 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 or cook them. Now, <laughs> they're so vocal because of the internet where everything's exposed and we get to see them for who they really <clears throat> are. And so many of them are just out of touch, deranged lunatics that you don't want to support. 
Which, what do you prefer? It's, it's like turning I on the light when the roaches run around. You don't like seeing the roaches, <laughs> but it's good that you saw the roaches. You know? It's right. very clear, right? It's very clear what the, the prevailing opinion is on that. It's people don't like it. That's why I think that's why you're seeing these flops and failures for the ratings of all these award shows. Because it used to be for the Academy Awards, for the Oscar, like all this stuff, people tuned in because they wanted to see people. They didn't get all the opportunities to see these people out there interacting mm. and talking. But now that they see that all the time and they're tired of these people getting up there on their pulpits and patting themselves on the back for pretending to be someone else and telling you how to live your life while they're sitting there flying around their private jets, people do not like seeing that. And that's why they are tuning out of those awards. Uh, uh, Ryan, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Academy Awards are coming back. It was only the third lowest viewed Academy Awards <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, <laughs> oh, my. They also no saw slap a, this year, though. That's why it all no, fell apart. Yeah, yeah. No violence. Boring. They also saw all of the the celebrities as like better than them. You go, oh, these are like magical creatures that aren't humans, and they're they're over there, and they make they make this art, and look at them on their stage, and they're accepting their awards, and then we see all the social media posts and all the news that comes out about them, and we're like, oh, they're just shitty humans like us. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it takes the it's mystique bitter. out. They're worse than us. Yeah, they're, in fact, they're they're, they're pretty dumb. They just watch they a guy fucking. Slap, they just watch a dude slap Chris Rock and fucking they gave a standing nothing. ovation twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that was amazing. I couldn't believe that. And they, and, oh, just his speech afterwards, where he was so up himself. I'm a river to my people, and I want to love people. <laughs> you just slapped someone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he had a covenant, okay? It's fine. <laughs> oh, well, man. in all fairness, in changer. all fairness to Will Smith, I would like to just defend him for a moment, if you don't mind. He was defending the honor of his whole wife who was fucking a person. <laughs> who was fucking a person who was actually her son's best friend. Okay. It happens so all the when, time, as so when your when your whole wife is is fucking a guy uh, even less than half your age. In, in, a, in a committed relationship, a.k.a. marriage, that you got to go up and you oh, got to slap a And bitch. then makes you have an interview with them. <laughs> Let's not forget yes. that. Where she talks about, <laughs> where session. the whole wife talks about fucking oh. her son's best mate in front of him. How, how does that, that make you feel? How feel, how well. he, how he <laughs> feel about it? Oh, my God. What a disaster. And, and not like... only that, not only that, but also while your mother, or well, her mother... And your daughter are yeah. there on either side of the table. Oh, yeah. So you can oh describe in detail how you felt about somebody else's cock being in your wife's mouth. <laughs> I know. And and celebrities, like, they're on a different thing, man. Yeah, they just don't understand reality. But for how annoying it is to put up with this crap, I actually am glad they're exposed for yep. the just degenerate lunatics that they are. Because Agreed. They're, they're, yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> Well, that was the irony of the whole thing. His desperation was out of like people knowing about any of that, making fun of any of that, and now everyone knows no, very well exactly what's going on. Every effects. detail, yeah. The best thing yeah. social media did was was just show that Mark Hamill truly is one of the worst human beings on the planet. Yeah, like he really is. He's he's a horrible, horrible person. One of the worst. And for so many years, just because he he was Luke Skywalker and he was Joker, th there was this image. Even I was bought into it. Like, oh, Mark, he's just a great guy. He just didn't get the breaks in Hollywood. You know, Harrison Ford's a big star. Harris, uh, you know, Mark Hamill just didn't get the no, Mark Hamill's a terrible human being, an objectively terrible human being. So shout out to social media for exposing that oh, yeah. train wreck of a person. God, he's a bad guy. It killed the movie star. It Dang, killed yeah. the movie star, and Absolutely. oh well. So true. The first fucking piece of advice any PR agent should have is, "Hey, Twitter, you've got it on your phone. Yeah, uninstall. uninstall. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> shut yeah, the really. fuck up. Don't don't, don't, uh, ever don't go off script. It. Ever. We were talking uh, in the Daily oh. Show today. Me and Jeremy were talking about James Gunn and how, like, on one hand, yeah. he's like so active on Twitter and he's like responding to so many people and debunking this theory or claiming this isn't happening or whatever. But on the other hand, like, so you get a lot of information out of that but also it sets you up to be criticized in so many different ways for all the information you're putting out there. We talked about 
How, what if Chris Nolan was out there on Twitter just responding to people? Going, oh, <laughs> I know. Do you know like, Steven Spielberg? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, hey, man. You know, yeah. Uh, I want to see Nolan well. arguing with people over over calling out the terrible sound mixing in Tenet. And go, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and people just keep quote <laughs> tweeting Chris <laughs> Nolan. It's like, I tried to read this tweet, but I couldn't hear it. Like, yeah. shit like that. Just yeah. get proper surround sound in your home theaters, <laughs> plebs. <laughs> I, I see Ryan Jack Kirby, like a, Jack Kirby Ryan, fighting with people lie, on Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan mentioned like wanting to see a Christian Bale versus Christopher Nolan fall out on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> back and forth. Oh, That'd be the best thing ever. Right? Good <laughs> for you. While Christian Bale was preparing for another role, so he was like in character as that person at the time. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a um, like Lincoln Dick quote? Right. The better to remain silent and. Thought, thought, thought a fool than to speak and to remove all doubt. That's it. Hmm. So, uh, I thought it was like, I need to see this play like I need a hole in my head. Basically, like, it was nice when we just thought, oh, they're, they're, just, they're just cool guys doing their thing. And, you know, <laughs> and then they're like, hey, let's talk about it. Because I was about to say, the Zachary Levi has been talking for a oh. whole bunch on Twitter. It's like, oh, stop. The one with James Gunn that I found most interesting was when he like quote tweeted and replied to shut down the rumor that he's like putting his wife and everything. And I was like, dude, why are you <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. And Show everybody knows it, it that's sure. great. That's great. I, I, it's so yeah, it's awkward. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's obviously obvious that he's like, come on, dude. He just been like, hey, to be fair, I cast her in this and then she became my wife. <laughs> well the, the, the interesting thing I think about it because a lot of people are like, oh now. Uh, nobody had a problem with John Favreau putting himself in Iron Man, huh? And it's like, so you admit then that he is doing that? That's you know, just say uh, yes. <laughs> like, I, have, I didn't problem. have a problem with that, but I do have a problem with Favreau and Filoni putting themselves in the Mandalorian. Wait, they did? Yes. Did they do that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've been watching the show, Mahler. They, they, they've done that for for like fucking three seasons now. Oh, yeah. I thought, yeah. he's, I thought you were going the, abstract for a second there, one. saying like putting Favreau's their the writing in there. The did gun. you hear? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If, I saw it on know. Twitter, so it might not be true. It might be a meme. But is there really a Dave Filoni bust as a X-wing fighter for, at Star Wars Celebration this year? I don't know like, about oh, at Star Wars Celebration, yeah, but Trapper Wolf has been a character, and he has had an action figure for like two or three years now. So mm -hmm. Dave Filoni's got the past of like, oh, this is a character who's I, I'm. He's actually self-inserting. As Trapper Wolf, somebody who wants to fuck wolves just as much as Dave <laughs> Filoni does. In the Trapper the Chunky Mando. Yes, he's, yes, he's yes, the blue one. Now, I don't think that's actually him because John Favreau's way fatter than that guy is in real life. <laughs> but he's the voice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all voice actors now. Those are all yeah. stunt people and extras <laughs> in this. I think like with the, that's I even AI. The stunt Mandalorian. AI, I do think with the case of something like a Favreau, like, I mean, he was an actor before he was, yeah. he was known He's, as an actor yeah. before he directed. So it's like, that's how the justification of somebody like Favreau, like having himself in the movies is that he was an actor. At least that's how I, well, I, come I mean, to know him. Let's so. just be honest. When, when the actor's good, nobody cares if it's nepotism. It's, right? It is it's true. Like, yeah. I mean, that is, that is true. I think, I Peter think Jackson it's just a budget the thing. I, I think they're fucking it's running out of money. Roles. So they're just like, hey, let's cut this down. Uh, John yeah. Favreau, hey, you're going to be on set anyway. Just do the fucking voiceover. We'll make this guy super fucking important this season, okay? We'll make it work. But. Well, I mean, like, it, it's it, it just it's all circumstantial. Because, like, I remember when M. Night Shyamalan used to do his self-insert <laughs> bullshit. Always. It came off yeah. so crazy. Oh, himself every episode, well, I, I haven't watched one of his movies in a long time. But, like, I remember, like, and always it's like, why are you putting yourself in these movies? It's so, <laughs> it's just like. Did, such a, so you're just jerking yourself hey, at least they're at bit point. parts and not like a main character well wait did, did, did anyone, Jackson did did the best, the small did anyone see lady in the water like one shot see lady in the water i never saw lady in the see water. the lady yeah he, was, he was like <laughs> no he was the water <laughs> well oh, fuck, someone in chat might have to help me out with this i'm pretty sure he cast himself as like the most important character in the universe in that film he really yeah he did it in the science he was like the guy that killed the lead character's wife Bit of yeah. an ego problem oh, with yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Little bit of an mm. ego problem. He was just problem. a bad driver. <laughs> Little bit of an ego. He's Asian. <laughs> Teeny oh, weeny like, bit. Yeah, but I was making a movie. <laughs> well, I'd put myself in it somewhere. Hey, uh, Chrissy. Well, I mean, like, is, any, is anybody going to get upset if Ben Affleck directs a movie and also is in the movie? Because he's done that. You know what I mean? Not like, no. The Batman movie. So, well, not any of his movies. Because like, he's that good. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you qualify yourself by... Uh, establishing yourself in that world, but it's like when you're just a director and you just want to put yourself in films, and then it's just a distraction well, more than anything. D Dave Filoni is not an actor. Oh. 
like I'm not saying that's a John Favreau. I, mean? I know, Quit but trying we're to talking fight about... for Filoni when I brought up Favreau. Fuck your <laughs> hatred no, for this first motherfucker. Of all, I, <laughs> damn. First of all, I, I brought up both hell. of them. I know, but I said in I brought up both case, of them, and that's said in, the in Favreau's case, it makes sense because he was an established actor before. No one brought Dude, Filoni get a, up. Get a room, you see? <laughs> yeah, right. Filoni. I know, right? <laughs> established actors but that dave filoni like holy shit you, you hate him we uh, he sucks i get it holy fuck nobody was talking about him he was talking about favreau being an established actor that's what we're talking about hey qbg did, uh, Snyder, did the stream the too far anyway, out because that's what he's doing filoni <laughs> that's so not no, no, li so no, hold on. Snyder. It's not fucking irrelevant. It's not fucking irrelevant, Jeremy. I literally Damn. brought this. I literally brought it up by talking about Dave Filoni and John Favreau <laughs> inserting themselves in the Mandalorian. <laughs> then Gary asked about a fucking Dave Filoni bus. But I know he's it's not, not like it's out of nowhere. That's, that's so you started. Can you move off Favreau? And I brought up the fact that ben not an actor. Onto Ben Affleck, who's an established right. actor, who I said, would anyone have a problem if Ben Affleck puts himself in the What are they arguing about? Actor. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff, I, I just don't know. understand. How how much talk about Dave right? Filoni is off topic <laughs> when that is the topic. It's not the topic. <laughs> this is great. I'm loving it. Keep going. <laughs> They have spent too much time together. They Fuck, need to be separated uh, for a little while, these two. A little bit. <laughs> Ryan doesn't live here. Does, how, do, how many times do I have to repeat this shit? He doesn't uh, live here. This is YouTube a, every five minutes. I'm in a different goddamn setup every fucking other video. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers are too much. I'm living with this fuck. Because <laughs> you, cause you no, sound I, like you are. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say you never wash the dishes, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't even know how to quit you. You never wash the dishes and you don't put Listen, there's a lot of tension anymore. there, okay? Lot, Jeremy, Jeremy. Lot. Turn your oven ovens up to the highest temperature, and it'll just move back on it. <laughs> Work for Shad. Uh, what I was going to mention, by the way, on this whole like almost nepotism thing is you see a lot of directors favor certain actors, right? They pop up in a lot of so, uh, James Gunn is a good yeah. example. So you have Michael mm -hmm. Rooker pops up in all kinds mm -hmm. of James Gunn projects. Nobody cares because everyone likes Michael Rooker. He's awesome. And so it's like, what's the difference with what is even her name? Jennifer something? His it girlfriend. Is I, yeah, or am I, I making that? Who, Harcourt is who she plays. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's the fact that we could all just be like, yeah, she's there because she's dating you, and it's as simple as that. And you could just own it and be like, whatever, or just never address it. The idea is gonna be like, nah, she's 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 good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, just... I think a yeah. lot of that criticism doesn't stem from her being in it. I think it's once James Gunn came in and people are like, oh, well, it's gonna be a full reboot. And that's the assumption a lot of people right, have and full then reboot. It. And then it's like, oh, well, full reboot unless my wife's involved in it. Like, that was the narrative that got pushed out there. And I think that's why there's so much criticism surrounding specifically that. And quite frankly, there's a lot of evidence that uh, that, that kind of leans in that direction. Peacemaker's still around, you know. Uh, well, so yeah. I was confused why it got Shazam brought up again. and then be around. Well, it, <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> I, uh, did you see the after, uh, after credits scene? She popped up in it. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's why people are pissed. Because... She even gets to have a seat in Shazam. She's it's just, it's just like, why? Why why is she around? Why is she doing stuff? Why was she in Black Adam? And I think he said, She's like, I had period. no dude. Uh, uh James was like, I, I had no involvement in that decision. Okay, that was that was there. It was just like, uh-huh. All right. It, uh -huh. It, it, and that, and, oh, hold on. And that is actually true. Um, from the from what uh what's his fucking nuts? From what Zachary Levi said about unveiling of the entire fucking drama with Dwayne Johnson, because it wasn't supposed to be them in it initially. It was supposed to be uh, Aldous Hodge, is that his name? Hawkman from Black Adam, and um, the the lesbian chick from Black Adam. Tornado. They were the ones that were supposed to be in it, and uh, Dwayne and then Johnson. Black Adam did not make enough money. No, <laughs> no, no. This is Dwayne Johnson vetoed it. He didn't want anyone associated with Black Adam to be part of the Shazam universe. Like he didn't want any of his characters. So like, he he why, like basically pulled Black a Adam. fucking. DC yeah, is a bigger disaster than Marvel at this point. It really <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. It is because I don't know. Got off the ground. Between them, Jeremy. I'm not sure. <laughs> but like, well, because, well, like, well, because because you still have the Marvel stands that like there's at least a foundation there. DC yeah. Shazam is proof that DC is in a worse place 
Yeah, they Walker don't have right a foundation now. anymore. I mean, what, what foundation they had left was the Snyder fans, and they pissed yeah. all of them off. So, like, this thing is DOA if they bring one single person over from the Snyderverse into this new DCU. It's done. Because that everybody, including me, will be like, okay, you kept this Why? guy, but you got rid of Henry Cavill. That that's so you have to start absolutely clean, or it's done. Yeah. And like, dude, announcing a eight year plan, a ten year plan, I don't care what. what when has that ever worked in Hollywood? It's <laughs> never and I, and I ever don't feel worked. Sorry. And I don't feel sorry for James Gunn constantly being under scrutiny because he spends all of his fucking time on Twitter responding. He to needs to Josh shut up. Yeah. yeah, right, and, Superman, and Grace Randolph. Like it doesn't. How is this going to so help? I like those. I like those. Like when he, when he, when those he, when, funny. but, but when he week. came out, when he came out and responded to Joseph Dinner Nerds about the Henry Cavill stuff, and then a week later, Henry Cavill's out. It's just, it's, it's yeah. bad look. Like, it's why are really you even look. getting involved in these discussions? Make your decisions, do whatever. But when you're constantly fighting with people, or at least when you're constantly engaging with people on Twitter, which is fine. That's your that's your right to do that. But this is why you're going to get blamed for everything now, DC, because you're putting yourself out there. You're responding to all of this stuff, and I have no sympathy for him. I still, I mean, obviously, I hope the Superman movie is good. I want a good Superman movie. I don't have a lot of faith in James Gunn from a Superman perspective, uh, I, even though you I like shouldn't. a lot of what his stuff. Mm. But it's just, it just seems like a Hollywood going to Hollywood, dude. Hollywood yeah, going exactly. to Hollywood. And, and mm -hmm. you got the bigger picture is Marvel is such a disaster and now has been for years, not just a year. I, I know the access media is just waking up to that, but it's been going on for years and it has to for them to acknowledge it. And DC's never had a foundation, as you said, and it Marvel's going to affect Disney, uh, DC just as much. Like the people are going to be so burnt. 2025, long way away. It is a long yes. right? like uh, we. It, it could be a different Fantastic world. Four. Mm. You know, <laughs> no. a way to think about uh, DC, I think, and you guys are like this. You play a little Mario Kart every once in a while, right? You know, you know, <laughs> you know when you trail behind the person in front of you and you can get a boost if you yes. stay in there thing long enough that's like marvel and dc and dc have always tried to ride off that back end energy but the thing is now the one in front is just heading off a cliff and so dc's like <laughs> yeah come on come on come on i've almost got it yeah yeah, yeah. oh no the cliff ah oh. yeah like, everybody in the back is going to get the bullet and go right to the front and pass. yeah yeah well, it, it is i mean like the the problem is is no matter how successful the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's almost like, I know this is a sports analogy, some people are not going to, you know, it's like the Clippers were never going to be the Lakers no matter how many championships they won. Oh, yep. Marvel, we tried, Marvel, uh, San Diego tried Marvel, to tell them that. No matter how many, how many, how many billion dollar films Marvel had, you're not Batman and Superman, and you're never going to be. It doesn't matter. Yes, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man is a once in a lifetime casting. Iron Man as a character is not going to become Batman or Superman over the course of time. DC has followed Marvel, and that was always a mistake. You are DC. You had Batman and Superman. You had the two most iconic characters, and you're following a brand that was ran that was elevated by B tier characters. <laughs> then stop <laughs> making movies by fucking committee. Then yes, yes, yes. And so that's just uh, that's the problem with DC right now is they are following Marvel when they should be, catch they up. should be the Pied Piper they should be oh the yeah ones yeah that Marvel should be following. Um, I thought it was like Special happen. Olympics boxing like they're These... both like stupid they can't do anything right they keep going down mostly hitting river. themselves like... yes <laughs> yeah it's one hundred percent they're just gonna be <laughs> go to your corners okay guys you need to take a break. Well, Marvel had the easiest victory going to for Phase Four. Like, there's so many obvious and easy because you know we talked a lot about what DC should have done as their new launch. Everyone just says Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman movies go, and you know they can't figure that out. Marvel, on the other hand, with Phase Four, it's just like okay, you'd you'd have to do this is fucking clip of EFAP from like four years ago or some shit where we were like the only way the MCU could fall apart is if they, like, destroyed every character individually, annihilated the world building. <laughs> like, it's like, they have a lot to destroy, you know? I, I don't think they do. That's not, probably not going to happen. It's like, no, they did it. And it's they, just like, yeah. fucking hell. What an easy win they had. They could have just made just generic, normal movies of action heroes doing action things, and that could have been I mean, it. At, at this point... From the... Endgame, there was so much hype after yeah. Endgame. They were on the, like, the highest they'd ever been. And... 
then they just what goes say, up must come down. It's it's. Uh, I'd say going into in game. What 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 they in-game, built is like impressive and done. never will be equaled. But now we are at the point where they put as much, if not more, work into its destruction. It's equally impressive. Yeah. Uh, so and it's not. It's what have you done for me lately? And now some real questions are being asked. And I loved in that Ant Man three article I covered. They admitted that uh, Black Widow, Shang Chi, and Eternals all lost money. So Thank these you. massive hits that were successful all lost money, like Why we said they did at the time. Uh, Shang Chi, massive hit, guys, absolute triumph. Oh no, it actually was forgiven because it was COVID. Although uh, uh, Spider Man No Way Home came out a month and two weeks after the Eternals. I keep forgetting Shang Chi exists. Every time, oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. That, that's a movie, isn't it? Me too. It is. Dude, you're a. Uh, you're, I you're don't know if it actually told us Marvel's Katie. Come on. Mm. Yeah, Marvel's Katie saved the day, dude. She did. Don't remind me. Friggin' one half, like half a day training with a bow. <laughs> you're just <laughs> mad that women that kind of learn bows faster than men. Yeah. You, know? just, women you just don't do like women. Now, yeah. Yeah. I am offended as an archer who shoots medieval one bow. Times are changing. They just do and cooks women. <laughs> Maybe that's it. She's all been there. Strength, hey, uh, Chrissy, precision. you had an article... In the private chat about uh, Amelia, uh, uh, um, Amelia Chrissy's Clark. Spam an article. She wants Amelia to talk about all this stuff. Yeah. No, I just didn't know if they were. We know who her character is in the Captain Marvel <laughs> spinoff known as Secret Invasion, and yes, I'm yeah. gonna forever call it the Captain Marvel spinoff because that's what it is. Uh, she's Ben Mendelsohn's daughter, so I bet she will be leading Nick Fury around <laughs> for an mm. entire series. Oh Christ! Uh, Basically, like she was leading Han Solo around, she's gonna be. Yes, yes. So Amelia Clark's Marvel Cinematic Universe character has been revealed, and it's somebody you. Ooh. It's the little daughter from Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel movie, when Ben Mendelsohn was reunited with his Skrull family when they completely screwed up one of the best villains in Marvel Comics, the Skrulls, mm-hmm. and made him an immigration allegory. Remember Captain Marvel, everybody? Remember that movie? It's been a while. Never saw it. (sighs) Never saw it. How long has it been since it came out? God. Four years? It was 2018, right? 2018, yeah. No, 2019. Early 2019. Oh, beginning of 2019, yeah. I don't think it blends together after a while. Four years. It does. It does. I never saw it either, but I saw Mahler's review. You never saw it. That's right. The only thing I watched. I never this, saw Captain and Marvel. I can't even recall the plot. Imagine, if, <laughs> do you think there's anyone on planet Earth that could tell you what the plot? Was? I could tell you the plot. She was great from the get go, and everybody else had to learn by the end. Hey! <laughs> but to be fair, you missed the part where she became greater. Uh, greater uh, 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 because she was being no held down do by how great she was. An unjust system, and they made I, the original then, Captain Marvel Annette fucking Benning. And then Jude Law was like, let's show, have a... Which is just a little change. Just a little. It, it's just, a, oh, just God. A okay, hang on. I've got that clip. I've got, got that clip. clip. <laughs> I've got that clip somewhere. I've got just too many fucking clips. Here we go. Here we go. The funny thing about the Nega bands on the TV show is that they're actually meant to be a big callback to the OG version of Captain Marvel, the very first version, who was a man called Marvel, who did appear during the Captain Marvel movie in the MCU, but he was played by Annette Benning, so they changed the character just a little bit. But he was played by Annette Bening, so they changed the character just a little bit. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Just a little. What would be a lot for that guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> if, if they also made him black. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Charlie joins little drawing for? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> I guess Amelia Clark is uh, kind of like, I guess it's time to do some mainstream shit again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it keeps trying. How much work has she had since Game of Thrones apart Not from much. Fuck I haven't what's seen her in anything. Game? A Christmas, she did a Christmas she movie. Terminator film? Yeah, well, like, oh, Terminator God. Completely oh. <laughs> oh. forgot I, about I have that. no idea what you're speaking of, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ginesis. 
<laughs> she, there's only been two Terminator movies. <laughs> but she appeared in a love film with a guy in a wheelchair, I think. A love <laughs> film. A love, <laughs> a love <laughs> film. <laughs> One of those. We've got a love oh, film. Love, film. Love, yeah. love it. Yeah. Love film what what kind of wheelchair. yeah? What kind of love <laughs> films do you watch, Shad? I take it there weren't any sex scenes in that one. Yeah. <laughs> I want that to be the title: love film with guy in a wheelchair. There's a lot of there's a lot of independent love films out there. <laughs> so. Oh, you Look gotta be up. specific. I, I, I'm gonna Google it. Amelia Clark love film wheelchair. Let's IMDb. <laughs> no, no, she. Wheelchair. No, no. Oh, yeah. What's the title? Sometimes love needs a little ramp. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> oh Sometimes oh, love needs enough. a little push. <laughs> Sometimes love gets you better parking spots. <laughs> there we go. Me I before you. Official trailer. I think. It's, I, well, didn't she do a Christmas well, well, movie yeah, with an Asian guy? The wheelchair. You. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be an electric one. You don't know. <laughs> Someone's got to push it. So, yeah, yeah, that, there it is. I've only oh. ever seen like a trailer that was auto played on one of the streaming services. Like, oh, mm. that's the Game of Thrones. And okay. Movie Coming on. in 2020, a new love film. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Game of Thrones, Guy Terminator, Solo, and Me Before You. That's it. Rough. That is rough. Oh, made a lot of fucking money. But don't forget her comic book, guys. Everybody yeah. forgot. Oh, her God. What about menstruation? Her no. The bears and can smell the menstruation. Your underarm hair. It's, it's called manstration now. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Trans invisibility. Vastration. Yes. Themstration? I, I, I noticed Gary didn't mention trans day of visibility. Is it no, because, is it, I didn't see it. Vengeance? Is it because we can fucking see him? Is, is that why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seeing too many. Of them. A mile away. Even, I can see him national, from a mile away, dude. Even, even the National <laughs> Weather Center went woke. Oh, even no. weather has gone that. woke. woke. <laughs> weather even is like woke weather. now. What? Even the weather is woke now. I mean, it's just too nonsense. many rainbows. <laughs> no, like here, I'll yeah. show you right here. It's like because I, I saw it earlier. It hit my feed, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? H How forecast are we in is uh yeah forecast is like hrt with a side of rainbow <laughs> <laughs> here we go right here i'm like forecast is self world? deletion by 40. here we go so oh. so the, chance. so national weather service oh. decided oh. to tweet this Boy. out <laughs> are you <laughs> fucking kidding me Holler. The weather's local now the National <laughs> Weather Service. He's so I just I said, you know fucking rain! Oh, no. <laughs> What's my the response. temperature? The <laughs> Go outside! Like, even the uh, weather is I, I know you guys probably don't fucking understand this, but natural disasters target trans people at a disproportionate rate. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. People. Like, could you guys imagine the day after 9-11? Uh, oh, we need to have, like, a freaking Islam day of visibility. Uh, yeah. Uh, insane, uh, time. Maybe take a break on that. I'm not, Put that tweet uh, in, listen, the, in the drafts area. I'm not going to. to. I'm not going <laughs> to click on the, the, the hidden reply. But if you choose to want to do that, it's pretty funny. Uh, uh, well, hold on. It's a good if you time. click, hold. If you click on the hidden reply, Jeremy, are you gonna see a lot of live action pictures of what looks like uh, Woody <laughs> pretending no. to fucking fall? Just in go, the middle just of go, floor? just go look at it, Ryan. Oh. Just go look at it. Just go look. Uh, at Andy's it. coming. <laughs> Andy's coming. Yeah. Just go, just go look at it. Just go to my replies. And you scroll down, you'll be able to find it. But you can go look at it yourself. It's pretty fucking. Funny. Oh, <laughs> said it was I gonna get worse it. before it gets better. I everyone bought my joke. Uh, just so you it's know, worse. I would have never seen that reply if you fucks wouldn't have hit it. But you hit it, so it basically gives me the option to look and see. It what says, you don't "Look want here, to <laughs> 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 please don't, don't look at this reply." <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> Hidden it's, messages. Why don't you just put strize on defect? And I know, right? <laughs> put Streisand's face on it. it. Yeah. You might it's, crazy that that's, it's crazy. That's the only thing that they fucking did. Know, yeah. <laughs> There's a pretty funny feature. It's like, do not look at this. Yeah. You're like, Under oh. any circumstances, <laughs> <laughs> don't look at it. <laughs> but if you insist, <laughs> <laughs> that's the most normal human reaction. You just go, why? <laughs> oh my god! Inspection. <laughs> Why did you warn me? Oh, this this meme was so good we couldn't let it exist. <laughs> 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 right? I was in a 
person just been found guilty of uh, memeing yes. Hillary Clinton? Yes, a, really? a Trump, a Trump yeah. meme, a Trump supporter Where? has just bound, gotten ten years for Hillary Clinton memes. That is not bullshit at all. Where? It's because really? they weren't Whoa. good enough. Though. The actual fuck. It's yeah. because they weren't funny. Yeah. They weren't Not funny. Like, so it's yeah. Pretty, yeah. Well, it's wild. That man. makes it okay. <laughs> yeah, his, name, his name is Douglas. His name is Douglas Mackey. Um, so he was. It's. Who I don't know all the. I, I don't know all the details. I know it was like here. I've got it on. Um, I got Vinny right here. It's from back Shout in out. 2016. Uh, right there. Oh, OG so, meme wars. Right here. First casualties. Sharing, uh, NYC jury finds Douglas Mackey guilty in first ever meme trial after making memes that disparaged Hillary Clinton in the 2016 the election. Oh he got 10 God. years. What? Okay, is this meme? Now I really want to see these memes because, like, what mm -hmm. they got in jail? Like, what, what were and they? There has to be so, uh, like, there's got to be more. I, I don't to know it, what the actual story, story is. This. So, yeah, it, it was encouraging voters to vote by text. I guess that was probably. Yeah. 10 years though. That 10 years is a is that's New York City jury. Come on. Go Do you think the here. sentence goes mm -hmm. down to uh, law from the if judge? If you live in New York City, <laughs> you should leave now. Yeah. Like now. Well, the good thing is though, yeah. If you're I mean, on Earth, New York. you should leave. Well, now. I got out of San Francisco yeah, well, the... and I got out of paying like a your gazillion dollars in reparations. <laughs> Uh, uh, I love what Sargon told. He's like, 500 million and a giant Gundam robot or no deal <laughs> with the reparations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the good thing is, is like, at least, like, you know, if you have any power or influence uh, it, at all, there's no way New York's going to, you know, indict you for anything. That's never going to happen. No. So, but no. if you meme, 10 years, bitch. Shows. It's only a, it's Holy a joke. crap. Gary, old man, it's because Trump got indicted. That's the joke. I know. Well, <laughs> He's I like, know. But a meme? They got him. I'm like, no, I was saying it there. I was New talking York about the guy we were just. No matter what, if you don't line up, it doesn't matter if you're a regular guy, that Douglas Mackey guy, I, it's got like a couple thousand followers on Twitter. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't even know who he is. And yet, also, the 45th president of the United States has also been indicted. New York and California, by the way another one like what they're trying to do again now i'm black from the waist down so i'm planning on moving to california so i can get seven and a half million dollars in a Brother. farm right my reparations. and a tractor Where my reparations at? jeremy and it's not just if that we he got indicted get, jeremy if he we got get married indicted there, on something do we get extra money fuck we're gonna find out <laughs> what was that comics out. let's go let's, let's go try. Did you know my father? Yes, I fought with him in the meme wars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he got 10 years for uh, Hillary Clinton memes. <laughs> Jason Platten for $50. As I'm playing Resident Evil 8 for the first time and in VR. What a great <laughs> game. The knockers on Lady... How do you say her last name? Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu <laughs> in VR are a sight to behold. <laughs> it's too bad you you won't be able to, to appropriate them, seeing as they are not attached to a man. Get help, brother. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll help your woman. I'll help your fucking wife come for a change, mate. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, no, shots fired. Uh, so uh, I actually she played... Uh, so Rolo, shout out to Rolo from Locked and Loaded Latinos, brought over VR to HQ yesterday, and I played Bioshock in VR. Oh wow! Dude, holy shit! Yeah, I got the, the new PlayStation uh, V2 VR, mm -hmm. and uh, I've set up, I, I set up the Resident Evil Eight. First time I've ever done VR. Yeah, well, I want to puke my ring piece up, bro. It, uh, I had to, I had to, I had to set it down. Incredible. Yeah. I was getting dizzy. I, I told oh, him I was, I was like, I, I can't was, keep, I can't do it. My stomach was yeah. like ready to hurl. Mm -hmm. First time they said, you got to keep, you got to keep. Like, really selling it to me, guys. If you don't have you motion play. sickness problems, like if you don't usually get that whenever you ride like a roller coaster. I don't roller normally. Coaster, I, don't. I don't. But you, you, it won't be that bad. But if you do, yeah. it'll kind of fuck you up. I cried yeah. and vomited. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. There the 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 shooting range. And, you know, because you got to grab your weapons. Yeah. You yeah. To... So I'm sort of there like. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> nah, man, and gaming has come so far. <laughs> yeah. I was like, when I took it off, I was just like, why is a sheet even wider? Yeah. 
And I was just, just like, <laughs> how does that? that yeah. Was great. <laughs> Why does a sheet? Can you get wider? Like right there for a minute. You'll fade so. into your wall, dude. <laughs> um, Sorry, why, is it, why is the sheet? So, so <laughs> briefly, because I've sat through, is it six episodes now? It feels like a million. Wait, of what? The Mandalorian, dude. Oh God. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I know so you guys aren't much. watching it, but I, I can, I can tell you with great confidence that we are six episodes into the third season, and I don't know what this show is about. I have yeah. no They're still idea. figuring it out. They, but they Zeb from Rebels up. made a cameo. Yeah, yeah, they did. Ooh. They set it's up about a Moff season-long Gideon. arc and resolved it in episode two. Moff Gideon escaped or something. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Trying to figure out. Nobody and then they're cares. Kind of maybe, what a poopy They're trying pants. to blame the Mandalorians oh. on his escape. Yeah, they, they're setting up. Right. Uh, yeah. But that took six them, episodes to explain while... The Mandalorian went and took a bath, and and as Mahler said, slipped in the bath, and <laughs> and then it happens. They, it happens they, to all of us sometimes, you know. Then they keep hanging out on a beach oh, where various dinosaurs attack people, <laughs> and then they wait for an entire day to save a child. Uh, it's uh, some of the really good thing Bo Katan's there. All these people would be fucked. I know. Wait, yeah. So well, the guy, the, the Mandalorian that captured uh, Moff Gideon. Is is now under suspicion of freeing Moff Gideon. Yes. Yes. What? Oh, and Bo Katan can take her helmet off now. Yeah, yeah, they yeah let because her she's gonna lead the match. She, was good, she walks Night. between worlds, the guys. Yeah, yeah, Gary, you know for a fact that all the other bad lords when they saw that and she said, Yeah, it's fine, she could do that. She's allowed to do that. They were like, You fucking what? Dude, that <laughs> whole what? like the whole like girl whole boss thing. scene at the end was so cringe. I couldn't get through it, dude. I had to so keep long. taking breaths. It's freaking going. I know. It's like dude, my favorite part was where they did the, the dialogue. Like she says, This forge is a forge I used to use. It's it, not it's like my forever. big forge at home. This is a smaller forge. However, both of these <laughs> forges function as forges. I was like, Are You fucking kidding me? They the <laughs> singing of the hammers. The yeah, like how much forge could a woodchuck forge if a woodchuck <laughs> wood forge metal? I'm so you fucking tired of her voice. Her voice, oh dude, her cadence is terrible. It's just it doesn't change at all. Hey, hey Gary. Yeah. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way of retar retardation. They yeah, that so many fucking times. Because she saw the animal in the water, she gets to take off her helmet and go unite. The, the rest of the Mandalorians, basically. Kind the like, out of nowhere. Uh, it, must be, it must be nice to just be able to fucking make dinosaur. shit up. Whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like, whenever yeah. the fuck you want, and it, it doesn't matter if it's George Lucas's lore, it doesn't matter if it's the shit you yourself fucking wrote. Like, to just do whatever the fuck you want and, you know, realize that the, uh, the only audience you have left will just fucking nod. <laughs> Wait, so that, who... That list that was just put on the screen, I just have to laugh because the first thing I saw was Star Wars. I went down the list, and then one of the priorities, not pro-war. Not pro-war. Not, not pro-war. Pro war. <laughs> Do you remember this? Do you not remember this? Uh, I remember this, this yeah. yeah usually oh, this is from? Against war this is the, when they're fighting. The High war. Republic announcement. Yeah. They, it's like, what does Star Wars mean to us? And this is what they came up with. Diversity is on there twice. A bunch diversity, of retarded shit. Diversity. Uh, no single main character. We, you know, don't have one of those. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't want that. Okay, achievements. Get... Yeah, right there. The There's force, of... by the way. Feelings. He's got the force. <laughs> Droids. Uh, feelings. <laughs> feelings. Yeah. This is the Lucasfilm <laughs> story group, ladies feelings. and gentlemen. Uh, they're very diverse. Uh, Not talented, houses. but diverse. What does that mean? Yeah. Do you know that 95% of that room was fucking white? I don't Just see like, brunch on this list anywhere. I know. That would at least make sense. Not <laughs> pro-war is, I mean, like, diversity and diversity twice, but uh, you're right, Chad. That's pretty fucking stupid right below Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Not pro-war. Less Star, I, I too. Like, well, yeah, it's not pro-war kind of, because war is bad, and, and the rebels are fighting the war to end the war. I mean, to be honest with you, dude, war is kind of neutral. It depends on what we're talking about, right? Because, like, the we the rebels will start a war to take down the Empire. And if you said, but war is bad, the rebels would be like, uh-huh. And how many innocent lives yeah, did Empire that cost? A lot. Oh, 
It's just, when, it seems so childish, doesn't it? Not pro war. I know. When you're defeating an evil empire, the war is actually pretty important. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's you a good want move. The war to defeat the bad guys. I think what Star it's, Wars I heart. Think, to give them like super like favorability. I, I think what they mean is, hey, you're willing to fight if you have to, but you you're it's not like a good thing. It, that that's kind of like I think what they're trying to say by that. You're yeah, giving them too much credit. War, but it's, Ryan, it sounds retarded. Ryan, what is the first thing under Star Wars? Hey, do you remember they, when they the, had to write down the, relatable characters? They, they had, had to, to write put that, that on down, their Ryan, fucking list. <laughs> do you remember when Cassian Andor turned up in the first scene of uh, Andor? Uh, to look for his sister who was in a fucking whorehouse. Hell yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars. La la la. Star That's mythic. Whores. It's, uh, it's so beyond dead. I can't even. Oh, it. No, it's so fucking. They are fucking a corpse. It right is now. deader yeah. than a horse on the rings of power. Well, I was just going to do it. So, so, who he has seen the latest episode? Uh, nope. Gary I has, seen I guess. Any, I have I seen any of it. None of this season. So of it. I'm only, I guess, addressing Gary when I say, did you love and the crispy. part where the girl with a hammer killed like seven pirates? Uh, and nobody turned around. Cool. Nobody heard no, anybody heard die. It. <laughs> nobody heard hear any... any death happening. Yeah. So, it is funny because you might be like, oh, is that the funniest element of it? It's like, no, the other hand, she had tongs. She had tongs. Like, she beat a guy with tongs, tongs with a gun. He had a fucking <laughs> gun. She beat somebody with tongs. <laughs> She's a why barbecue do too. Why, why, why? Uh, <laughs> you just you just hate women. Uh, obviously. <laughs> are they uh are they setting up a kind of like an intro for maybe a first order? Do you think yes. that's absolutely okay. the all, the, all the stuff they said about cloning, I assume they're actually gonna try and justify Palpatine eventually. Yes. They'll be like, see, it made sense. You know, we said somehow Palpatine returns. No, no this is why Palpatine returns. This is that somehow. <laughs> this is it. Oh somehow Palpatine returns. Somehow there will probably be ten fucking seasons of Mando. Well, the worst, the worst thing Mandalorian does, aside from being intersectional, like it's MCU. Like Lucasfilm is straight up MCU. They probably out MCU the MCU sometimes, but um, the worst thing they've done is with the New Republic. They've made him incompetent idiots like uh, chris gore had the best description like this episode was the the new the new republic is the fucking dmv they're a bunch of retards and and oh God, how they should right. be per portrayed is they just took over i mean it's been five years but it'd still be chaotic it's a giant ga galaxy oh, definitely, and maybe yeah. they're overwhelmed but they're trying like hell to help no we got some you asshole in a fucking you want them to look overwhelmed over like exactly trying and they... to restart a fucking government uh galactic wide you know like and that that you can see those things are reasonable but to be honest if they're going to stay within the 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 universe yeah clearly the new republic's fucking retarded they're retarded like mm -hmm. to let what happen happen so it well, is it is worth mentioning they are tied into the narrative they have to crush that republic is going to be destroyed soon so i say soon you know i guess relatively but it's like they're gonna and they have to like raise up the first order somehow um I imagine they mostly just been told by like the Lucasfilm overall umbrella, just keep it going, keep it going. And they're like, yeah, but where are we going? It's like, just keep it going, just keep it's going. Just drag just it out. We'll bring in Ahsoka, and she'll be the most important thing in the oh, entire God. galaxy, even though she completely set out <laughs> the original trilogy. Uh, yeah, Lonely's it's girlfriend. Just like Bo Katan is now the most important man. Oh God! Oh my God! Bo Katan. Characters Bo -Katan you see bringing in from Rebels. Bo Katan should be like sixty. All the gay ones. Very gay All of them. Ones. All of the gay ones. Every single Rebels character is going to be in the Ahsoka show. They brought in the freaking um, whales. Even even Ezra. They brought in the whales, <laughs> especially did. Ezra. Yeah, Ezra's going to be a Sith. Like that's the point. Like that. So the point. Of the Ahsoka show is going to be them finally going on the that carry mission, over. Ezra from Thrawn. Like yeah. that that's what it's gonna be. And it's which means you're gonna get Hera, you're gonna get uh Sabine. Those castings I think have already been confirmed. Oh, Freddie Prince Seth. gonna be there, bro. <clears throat> Freddie Prince, bro. Uh, you're gonna be there God, back to bro. God I, know, is dead. I know, I know. Uh, I know. And it wouldn't, but it, <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise me if that doesn't mean anything. We'll bring if they did so Nobody's ever really force ghost. Yeah. yeah. Sabine will be played by Eliza Blue. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, so there's going to be a lot of. That'd be good casting. Is, is, it, <laughs> is this not like evidence to the fact that they'd like? Who else character. can we ruin? Who else do we even have? We've run out of yeah. characters. We killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, yeah. Yeah. no, this it's, is like this is Dave Filoni's wet dream. He loves he, this shit. It, and you've ran off it. Like I, I would. I'm obviously I liked Rebel. I didn't hate Rebels. It's nothing like the Clone Wars, but I, I, it was fine. It was enjoyable. Um, yeah. so I, I enjoyed it, and I definitely enjoyed the uh, the end. I, I like the ending, but. I'm not interested. I'm not going to watch Ahsoka. I don't care about anything they're doing because they've ruined everything. And all they're going to do is ruin all of this, too. I'm just so checked out, man. Like, it's the not first... even fun to roast it. It's not even fun to roast it. That's how bad it uh, is. Yeah. The first yeah. female led piece of media in history, and you're not going to watch it. <laughs> I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer I Lawrence died Jennifer for our sins. <laughs> I considered <laughs> watching Rebels, but the lightsabers looked weird. They made Darth Vader look really yep. weird as well. And then they had helicopter lightsabers, and I was well, the, oh, they have helicopters. I didn't like the I didn't I like the Clone done. Wars art style, and I, I definitely did. didn't like the Rebels. It got even worse. So, so I, I never really got the it. advancements Tom, they've made in the Clone Wars stuff for like the last season of Clone Wars, and even though Bad Batch, whatever, I, I don't think there's many people watching it, but. When you look at the actual like advancement they made in that animation, it's re it looks really fucking good now. But I think that to like say I saw people talking about the Zeb appearance, the Zeb cameo. Yeah, yeah. And it's like <clears throat> these shows were. It's got a fan base. Like Rebels has a fan base. But these were shows that were on Disney XD. Yeah, there's no mass that were yet. watched by like three hundred thousand people when they aired. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like. It's just so weird that that's what we're going for for these cameos, and I, they got I nothing. Know. Like we already Brian, said, they've killed all of the characters it's, from it's the a, original trilogy. It's a streaming franchise yeah, now. It, yeah, they killed all the prequel ones as well. Yeah, <laughs> so they're moving down the line through Clone Wars and now Rebels. They can't like, yeah, make. I, I, I mean, think about this: care. they bought Star Wars oh. and they can't make Star Wars movies I, anymore. No, nope. I'm kind of. I will be. I will say I'm kind of excited for their announcement at Star Wars Celebration, just so we could see how. No what is it going to be? Care. Yeah. What is it? Gonna yeah. Be? Like I guess we're gonna get three new movies, and I'm assuming like one of them is going to be tied to the sequel trilogy. I mean, I'm assuming. Probably. Because you really can't Ray, find a job. Oh, so the, uh, dude. Uh, the, uh, you know, Jeremy, they'll like, announce some movies. Will they make them? That's the yeah, question. Yeah. <laughs> that is the real question. That is, that is so the question. Deep. Yes. bad but to, to the uh point of the animation animation i didn't like the animation in clone wars at first either i thought it looked really bad and then i watched it and of course it does get progressively better as the series continues same with rebels i like man the animation sucks but then i watched it and it kind of grows on me so um that was why i didn't watch clone wars at first and i was like this looks like shit but then i watched it and i liked it a lot but uh man what a what a clusterfuck Star Wars is. It's, you know those helicopter it's lightsabers, uh, oh. Chad, you were mentioned in the helicopter lightsabers? I actually <sighs> thought it was pretty cowardly of them to not put those in Kenobi. I was like, yeah. come on. <laughs> once you yeah. show it, the thing is, once you show it, the stupidest thing ever. Once you show <laughs> funny, something though. like that, blades. you have to ask the question, why are they fucking running around? You know what I mean? Like, yep. you can yeah. justify it if you're in a ship, if you're in, you know, a, a little <clears throat> passageway, a hallway, like why they wouldn't be traveling around using fucking their flying lightsabers. <laughs> so but if you're, say you're on Tatooine, trying to chase somebody down, of course, fucking use your helicopter. <laughs> it looks so fucking yeah. stupid, but it's true. It's effective. Yeah, like if once you introduce something like that, which is completely and totally insane and yeah. makes no sense physically, um, then the you dude, sorry, imagine you're, like you're, you're, there's a the question. lightsabers don't make sense. That is horseshit because that lightsaber was attached to a woman whose plan was to murder a bunch of Jedi <laughs> mm -hmm. so that she could find the people. Who murdered her Jedi friends? <laughs> I give you the Lucasfilm story sense. group. It made sense. It It made sense. Yeah, it makes total sense. <laughs> I really like Reva. Reva? Oh, Which one was it? Oh. Yeah. Reva. Hey. This was Don't. Yep. The greatest character ever created in the history of Star Wars. It was so That's great. Reva. It was so great. Lucasfilm Reva. got out ahead and helped create a campaign <laughs> that she was being attacked based on three freaking Instagram comments. Yeah. They had, they had really Disney Star Wars fake. interns. They even used the hard R. 
<laughs> Would it be funny if they like prepared those articles Retarded? so early on that they accidentally release one before we even like that see a casting? Crazy. They're like, everyone hates yeah. this. Oh shit! <laughs> like, you, you will, you will hate it. You will. Just a text the... insert name here. Like somebody just get us a screenshot of the drafted article in WordPress, please. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so true. That um, that flying helicopter show as well. It would be like if you had to T pose, and that's how fast you could go in the in Star Wars universe. Like the fastest way to travel, and they just had to do that. It would be so fucking funny. I just wish they would commit sometimes, it's like because they they like to think that Kenobi was some kind of like really good show, you know. Well, I was just mostly laughing at it, like when he hides Leia under his coat. You know, that shit was just great. Oh, I guess it's... Uh, have you heard the defense for the light, the the explanation for the helicopter lightsaber? No, it's, I haven't. You really about to do this? <laughs> it, it's not actually there, there the spinning one. lightsaber. It, they they make Show them that, levitate Garrett. themselves with the force. Garrett, um, then why just, uh, do it? Well, so what's the spinning for? I don't know. <laughs> to make it look. Why cool. are you doing it? To make it look uh, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I just like, want to yeah, plug this really so quick. Cool. Uh, you guys got to hurry up because I don't know how long these are going to last. But this is the Reva lightsaber. Just went on sale on Hasbro. If you back this lightsaber... Oh, sorry. Hang on. Wait. Oh, Not funded. Oh, oh shit. My no. bad, guys. Oh, no. No. This project oh, got me. It's powered off. It did like not that, go no. in production. Does that... Does that legitimately say limit of five? Because they thought yes. people wanted five yes. each. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Sir, we uh, may have so overestimated good. the interest in this lightsaber. It doesn't actually fly. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, I will never ever get. I will never get old to just laugh at this. Dude, bullshit it is right so here. pathetic that that's what Star Wars has <laughs> turned into. One thousand four hundred and thirteen people ordered this a Star At least Wars item. Percent of that are scalpers just trying to get ahead of buying these and, and reselling them on eBay. Uh, oh. I would say at and, uh, least thirty percent, twenty percent. So no, bad. no, it's not. The not fun is not even going to go into production. Nope. Oh my god. Same. <laughs> Remember how they had Reva fucking lightsaber duel Vader? It's just like, what? What are you? <laughs> how many Stop. times is he gonna stab her in the fucking? Well, she had no heart. <laughs> Hey, so, remember, he's, <laughs> she stabbed that, that Grand Inquisitor dude, <laughs> and he was I like, ah, I'm still alive! I have oh, two oh, stomachs. Have you guys seen, have you guys remember seen... when Obi-Wan was trying to get away because they didn't have hyperdrive, and then he gets in a smaller ship that has hyperdrive to t take him to a planet? It's just... You remember when he, he couldn't go around the laser fence, and he had to shoot? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh uh, well, dude. In the Mandalorian, show is classic. In the Mandalorian, Darth Vader landed uh, after he was chasing Obi Wan, and then said, "So have you come to destroy me, Obi Wan?" <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. You came here. Him, you fucking numpty. Sir? No. So in the Mandalorian, makes the Obi Wan show worth it. Is the Aeronauts take on it? Uh, they they did a series called Larry, and it's fucking hilarious. We'll check it out. I haven't I, seen I, it. I, I we were talking about this. Uh, I think it was on Tuesday next main event. But w what is the worst thing that Disney has produced? Uh, Star Wars. Oh man. Well, I'm saying within Star Wars, <laughs> what is it? Star Wars. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, are you talking about like worst scene right? or worst Rise individual? Or worst movie or bad. show? Worst movie or show? Star and, Wars. Um, <laughs> I think um, it's gonna be I, tough. That's tough. Rise, Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Or Obi Wan Skywalker. Kenobi. Obi Wan Kenobi's pretty bad. Oh, it's really, really bad. Is. Hello, Book of Boba Fett too. Yeah, like, Book of Boba Fett's bad. really bad. It's I think awful. there's built-in excuses for Rise of Skywalker because it's like, okay, so J.J. Abrams set up nothing, right? But there was like this kind of fucking house of cards that wasn't really. It was such a shallow fucking world. Last Jedi. <laughs> Fucking completely ignores a lot of that shit. Sets up nothing for the future. So Rise of Skywalker, they kind of had to do the. They, it was almost like they tried to fit the entire trilogy into yeah. that. So like, like I think a lot of people look at that and they make some excuses for why it was so fucking bad. Whereas the Obi Wan series, it had no reason to be made at all. Yep, shouldn't have mm -hmm. been made. Is a canonical aberration. It should. It doesn't make any sense. This never happened. So and then when you do, not only do you do that when you don't have to. Then you destroy Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader in the process. And uh, I think that Obi Wan is worse for and a lot Luke. of people. And poor Hayden thought he was going to redeem things. Remember, you're ten years old, Leia. 
But Hay- Hayden Christian. <laughs> Hayden. Oh, oh yeah, uh, dude, that was so uh, weird and creepy, dude. Oh, for we God, throw an honorable mention gonna... for TFA, by the way. Yes. The yeah. Thing. I mean, like that's, that's what as says Star all. Wars. Really They've had it for over too. ten years. They've had it for over ten years, and now they cannot produce movies anymore. This is <laughs> such I... a disaster. The uh, Force Awakens is when Star Wars died. My review of Force Awakens is literally titled, you know, sorry, not Force Awakens, The Last Jedi I'm talking about. My goodness. Last Jedi. Uh, Trust me, Star I've been there a few times, the Chad. Jedi, they I know, you get them all mixed up. I get them all mixed up. All They're the always, garbage. I, mean, you know, I still need to I stand by all three of the sequel trilogy. An argument can be made that all three of them are the worst thing. Like, yep. it's, there's, they all do different kinds of horribly awful things to Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so we're now. I, yes. I, I, I will not apologize for I I had no problem with the Force Awakens at the time, but now that we're where we are, it's like it's it's part it's part of all of it, and it is if you retroactively now looking at it, it's just as bad as anything else. Yeah. But I think that I just think Rise of Skywalker, though, like as a movie, just as just, an actual movie, is a fucking it's one of the worst movies I've well, ever like, seen. Yeah, it's it a fucking disaster. So bad. Listen like, to the t- Rise so of bad. Skywalker you know, is a stupid title <laughs> it, it means nothing it's just somebody appropriating she, she a name at the end skywalker at yeah. the end yeah like, yeah which is retarded absolutely and the even the beginning back. of the film just oh, like the so beginning much. of the film is oh by the way emperor is alive <laughs> well, to yeah, be yeah, fair just, Chad, to be fair out. the beginning of the film is actually in fortnite yeah, uh, no, they made me say like Chad trying to imply they just dropped it on you. It's like he set yeah. up in Fortnite as if. It's like, yeah, what are you not playing Fortnite? This, yeah. So we're ten years. Fortnite we're ten years. Or? Even Thor plays Fortnite. We're ten oh. years in, and now we got a Mandalorian episode where he gets trapped by a fucking robot, and and his big solution is to send Baby Yoda back into it, uh, up the cavern, back into a ship to fly back to another planet. To get Bo Katan to fly back, walk, <laughs> fly down us. a cavern oh. to save him. It's Gendry again. At, at the How robot, that, yeah, the robot that captured him was just sitting on its ass the whole time. It was yep. knitting a sweater, and it wanted its bl- his blood or something. And, and yeah, I don't know. What, yeah, what the hell? it's it's not like he had to go to hyperspace. Although even if he did, they wouldn't. You know, it wouldn't have mattered. They wouldn't have cared. About you know what time. I love? I, I the love the fact that that episode establishes that he can seal his helmet as a yeah. breathing device, and that he almost drowned to death multiple times. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no, Shad is even better than that. Matter. When he when he goes into the walls, she brings him out. He's like unconscious, and she doesn't think to maybe give him CPR. It's like, well, I can't take the helmet off, so fuck him. Dude. It was like the ninth there. circle of hell. I had to watch it because I'm reviewing it right for a video, and I had to watch them back to back, dude. And they're short episodes, except for one. And yeah, it, they are so long and boring, and nothing happens. And the dialogue, and I've said it before, but like Saturday morning cartoon dialogue from Scooby Doo is more complex than in this show. It's awful, man. I had to stop. I had to keep taking breaks, and I and now like, that they're like now. That they're so into like all the Mandalorian stuff, instead of just one or two people in the show sounding like cult members that have no emotion, everybody sounds like yeah. that, and so it's just well, super boring. I don't know. Are you guys at all bored of the action scenes too? I just feel like they're all the same every time. Mandalorians just walk in. And oh go, yes, they are. They're awful. We had a pirate uh, ship uh, in this last I one. I guess yeah. I, and somebody then the- told me that that. All right. Somebody told me. I don't know if this is true because it sounds fucking ridiculous. Somebody told me that in the latest episode that the pirates are back and on on their spaceship there is actually like a pi- an old fashioned like pirate. <laughs> yes, it's it's, 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 it's a yeah. disc like thing. Yes. yes, they have. They, yeah. Yes, they have a steering. Couldn't wheel. you only go left or right with that? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, 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 <laughs> Who's retarded now? Yeah. How is that real? <laughs> okay, right, I can help explain this. If you watch the Rise of Skywalker, they set this up. Many people in the ships don't even know which way is up. Yes. So, like, oh, yeah, I yeah. think they don't Wait, know what up and down are. They only know what left and right are. The ships in the Rise of Skywalker that went up to get out of where they were suddenly stopped and went which way's up no yes. as well, what they did is mm-hmm. wait which way did we just go and one of them went i think left so where's up and it's like oh shit and it's like no that's down uh, fuck 
We're gonna lose. We don't know which way. Wait, does right anyone have a bull? They can Mahler, just drop Mahler, the bull. Somehow they found their way around. That's that's the explanation. <laughs> Somehow. Is there an example of such astounding stupidity to that level in The Last Jedi? I know The Last Jedi is bad, but The Rise of Skywalker for me takes the cake. Like, there is such unbelievable so, levels of retardation in that film. When, um, I think it was it Jeremy was asking, like, what's the what's the shittiest thing they put out? Or well, Gary, I can't remember. But the point Jeremy. Is, I was going to say, what about, like, what is the stupidest individual, tiny, like, maybe line or moment? And, like, they can't figure out which way is up might be my pick it is absolutely <laughs> un incredible that they wrote that like they got away with it for a lot of people <laughs> it wasn't the space horses <laughs> i don't think I anything think, beats I, they honestly look up. i mean like, looking back the first line in the force awakens this will begin to make things right but, yeah. <laughs> dude oh, it's man. that shit that um that tim miller did with like the terminator series it's like when these new creators come in they're like don't worry we're gonna fix that old shit uh -huh. you hate and then they're like that old shit is like <laughs> way better than what you came up here's with. some new shit oh, like i'll take terminator 3 again and again and again before dark fate i'm just saying yeah mm. But yeah, what if, the, they they fly now? Somebody in the chat. They, they fly yeah, now? they fly yeah. now. Yeah. That was that's good. Are you talking about the rebels' they, lightsabers they always, again? <laughs> <Yeah>. hey. <laughs> the kill the pass line is pretty bad too. It is bad. There's so many. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Disney purchased F and T. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jared made a comeback. Oh, why by Jared? What the fuck? <laughs> they made, I'll take, I'll take fuck MJ off! Again. Listen, what did they make me Brie Larson? I you might agree. be Jared, but I'm probably the gayest one up there. <laughs> so <laughs> I got I got a nice rack. I got the freaking pedo. <laughs> Screw that. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Comics division is Danny DeVito. That the one that comics is, that, that yeah. episode of Always Sunny is their dressing hilarious. room is over there and I'm going. Well, this way. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Well, Mahler's the most bangable up there, so no Always. doubt about that. So, <laughs> oh, I have, I have no reference to understand it uh, myself, Mike Wadden. I'm confused. I think it's Gwen Stefani? Maybe. Uh, but just as Vegemite. So <laughs> but not Vegemite, so. That'll do. Yeah. You understand yeah. that? That's close. That's close. I, I get that. Right. That's well, disturbing. Well, at least Odin's stunning and brave. <laughs> oh my god. Disturbing. <laughs> oh, that was good. Disturbing. Beautiful. Uh Mikey Gussler has donated fifty dollars. Mikey. Yeah. Oh my god, he's not talking about the Snyder Cut. I'm what? Mikey, I'm a little oh, disturbed. Are you okay? For that. Buddy? <laughs> do we do we you all right? Just checking. Well, okay. Check. A little wall on this check on Mikey Gussler. It's not James Gunn that sent his uh <laughs> well, I mean, James Gunn's kind of shitting on himself right now. Uh, for those who played Resident Evil 4 Remake, what are your thoughts? I love it! What are some things that you think re the remake does better than the original and vice versa? I'm hyped for Resident Evil 5 Remake. Hope they add the merchant like they were originally supposed to. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a Mahler and Az question, probably. I can take a piss Is that it? Is that the only two people here who have played this game? Gosh. I've played it. Never played Resident Evil. Lines. Whoa, 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 whoa. Think, you yeah. never played, played a Resident Evil? Never played Resident Evil. Never, never played it either. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Come on. I'm not much of a gamer, though. Aren't those the Mila Jovovich films? Oh, go back to your feet. Oh, Honestly, listen, those, those movies really Man do a PC's great job of bringing... You sponsored. Yeah. That's, your, that's who you sponsored. <laughs> Right there. Right there. <laughs> right. Strongly worded. Hey, she's hot. Right you you got to live with that now. <laughs> she's hot. You got to live with it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I think Ada Wong is unbelievable the games, the tight question. ass in Resident Evil 4 is uh, quite possibly the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. There you go. <laughs> you say Leon's? Um, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, how are those guys' asses looking like? <laughs> <laughs> They got rid of uh, they got rid of the QTs in the OG game for the most part in the new one. That's something I love. 
I yeah. hate QTEs. So it's like, I yeah. hate QTEs too. Obviously, visually, it's gorgeous. It's one of the best looking games I've played in a while. It's just like super immersive, super atmospheric. Quite loving the soundtrack. And it's funny, as I was mentioning, the incredible model of Ada. But unfortunately, she has a new voice actress. And she's oh, fucking awful. Terrible. She delivers everything just dead. I the the lines I... have like no emotions in them. Mola, hear me out on this. Okay. I'm not convinced it's actually a real actor. Apparently think, it is. She I has think a name. It, I think it's AI. <laughs> is it? I thought it was... I thought, uh, Why did AI. they change the voice actor? She, um... Because apparently, uh, Frame was mentioned, apparently she did the voice of Ada in, like, another game way earlier on. One of the different ones, and that's why she was in this one. I don't know, but almost every time she speaks, everybody in any stream ever just goes, wait, what the fuck? What? Yeah, what? She, if she's supposed to say, like, come on, let's go, she'll be like, come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, like, Leon. No. Make sure you get the key, Leon. <laughs> Okay. It sounds a little bit like the. Uh, have you ever seen like the fifty worst voice acting lines in history video? Yeah. <laughs> like it sounds like one of those lines. Uh, but it's, it's devoid so, of emotion. Uh, I have to so jump that credit. So pronounced though. Like Mola said, I think everybody when she did a when she ah oh, his Ada and then she did it as the first line. And he's like what? Yeah, because <laughs> there are other changes to the voices where you're like, hmm, I don't know if I'd prefer that, or even the merchant, he's a bit different. But Ada's, yeah. you're just like, what the fuck? Like, what was that? He's like, no one. That's no, not oof. Ada. No, it's a creepy robot. But it's a yeah. sexy robot, though. But very I mean, that it fucking... bring up a, an interesting question. Actors can license out their voice for an AI to read something. So <clears> when they do that in a game or a production, would they list that actor's name as the character? Or the AI well, service as the character. Could we not answer that by saying, look what they did in Kenobi, right? We had Reese Beecher being credited mm. for Obi Wan. Sure. Sorry, not Obi Wan. Luke and Vader. Vader. Yeah, yeah. So it's even though it's sampling, now. yeah, it's quite literally, it's it, it's it's sampling uh, Mark Hamill and James Earl Jones, but those guys don't get the credit, I guess. Mm. Which feels a bit weird, doesn't it? Well, they've sold yeah. that. They've sold their. But like, still, you think stole it? Yeah. You'd think they'd still, it would be like re-speecher and then maybe in brackets or, you know, whatever. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. That's all. Yeah. Robot version, thanks to James Earl Jones. Which is, I hate it, but that's yep. another thing. It's fine. He's old, man. He's I know, I don't care. Years. I way prefer his voice in Rogue One, where you can you can hear he's old and you're like, oh no. Way prefer that to the fucking robo voice. Yep. <clears throat> I'll uh, take old beta. Yeah. Rolling the Wretched. Three part super chat. Sorry, Streamlabs circumventing YouTube for $150. Oh! Yeah. Props to Friday Night Tides. You made a real impression on Benny Johnson a few weeks ago. Hail Benny, by the way. Benny's Benny my spirit best. animal. Yeah, he's Good great. Yeah. Yep. Killing it of late uh, a few weeks ago because he referenced the two towers in his rant about Trump being indicted on a live stream today. He said the orcs are inside Helm's Deep. Hail Betty Johnson! Well, because he, he understands. He gets it. I'm finalizing plans for Vegas and have two questions. First, is Comics Division going to be in Las Vegas? Yes. There you go. Ticket is bought. Hotel is booked. I'll be there. Because he's the only panelist I'm not clear on. Second, how many <laughs> drinks <laughs> does it take to get happy ryan to show up a few happy a few. Ryan. Uh, ryan how many drinks it's does that gay, take? it's called happy. gay ryan but it's, uh, it's happy. Uh, gay we're in happy. vegas i'll probably be pre-gaming so i'll be good pre-gaming yeah pre-gay man what pre-gay man he'll be uh what, what uh, used to be known as pickled pickled Oh. Which means you're the drunk all the time. The yeah. Fuck? Uh, and uh, to show, should I take out a second mortgage? Well, are you going to gamble? Hmm. Are you going to gamble? Yeah. Vegas, Please don't. Vegas I hear can it's be... a good time to refinance. Economies <laughs> <laughs> are doing great. Uh, shout out to Mahler for bringing <laughs> some proper Brit representation. Finally, yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Definitely. We needed some British representation. Oh, We've been working hard to get that British Representation. Yeah. I love how Always nice to ignoring everything. I know he's just mm. trying to ignore yeah, I'm it. So nice fucking bored of this shit. No, you have no idea. 
No fucking idea. Every uh, week. Oh, I would like your, 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 sounds your like show. sounds like something a oh, New Zealander would I say. Like two tits again. Yeah, I haven't Kiwi. Heard that I don't know a day. You uh, see, you know. he's not angry at the fact that you're making fun of it. It's it's just the badness of the jokes. You got to yeah. make better jokes. A as is right. a Kiwi, he's you bitter because he better. lost he lost his female Hitler, uh, you know, leader there down in uh, New Zealand. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had no idea where that was going. Uh, <laughs> the New, the yeah, New Zealand one, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, yeah. girl Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gary by the way, the first half. There's, Gary there's had us in the men first half. Tits or know. New Zealand. Those are the two jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would like his opinion on uh, this is Mahler, by the way. I would like oh, his oh. opinion on pineapple pizza and junk waxing, like waxing your balls, by the <laughs> way. Uh, um, finally, Hail Friday Night Tights, the Fellowship, the chat, Baby Thor, and PT Hawaiian Pizza. What the fuck is up with Boomer Gary Gaming? It's coming. So, uh, Mahler, I know your opinion is on pineapple pizza, but you... Oh, so I just move on to the bull waxing? No, no, you, you can tell us what your opinion <laughs> is. It's fine. Voice the truth, Mola. Well, it's not that you're like a lesser people. It's just that you won't have many rights. That's all. Okay. <laughs> if you like it. <laughs> that's, that's all. Like, you guys look shocked, but like, that's just, na that's nature. That's, that's the high rights. If you like it, if you you're like it. You're not making the rules up. Yeah, it's not even about like eating it. it. It's just whether you like it. It's whether yeah. you like it. Yeah. Get, yeah. You're just get not as human. Cool. What, what, what about, uh, well, well, I guess your kid isn't either, Odin. Because um, <laughs> he likes pineapple pizza. And doesn't know any better. No, Gary. he knows, oh, he he knows, knows more better. than his dad already. Uh, Mahler, <laughs> opinion on waxing your balls. I mean, hey, you know, if that's the that's what you're into slash your, your partner's into, you, you just go right ahead. I don't know. That's just... Uh... Yeah, what what are you? I heard you guys talking about it at some point, and was it X Ray Girl that was explaining you have to, you have to you spread have to, it you out? Have to put two hands, you got to spread out the bat and wing. The so bat wing, that's what I <laughs> asked. And then get the third Speaking hand up. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, there's not that much blood, and then. I feel yeah. like, well, I feel like it might be worth it just to get everything lasered. You know what I mean? Like if, if you're gonna yeah if you're gonna do it you might as well do it right the first time yeah just fucking laser that shit dude things that <laughs> aren't getting near my balls lasers there. and like wax. laser beams to <laughs> laser <wax> beams <laughs> yeah uh as X Ray Girl says in the back needs to make sure it's all stretched out that hurts a lot more probably the laser hurts a lot more the laser yeah but it's one and done though like yeah she like what hurts you what, what hurts more talk? like what hurts more totality wise right is it Getting your fucking balls waxed <laughs> 25 point. times or getting one laser. Oh. Six to ten sessions? Oh, well, God. No. <laughs> no. Man, no. Back no. The same sounds thing, a lot less painful. Not oh, one session. No. 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 Six to Buford ten. Buford T. Justice for forty nine ninety. dollars Oh, really? Are, they're making a Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kids series, and they made Butch Cassidy a black man. Mind you, Butch and Sundance were real people. And to correct Mahler from Open Bar, The Last of Us TV show did not do Game of Thrones numbers for HBO. Not Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. It House, beat of the it. House of the Dragon. It beat it. Yeah, it's yeah. still. By the way, it's still beating. Uh, it beat uh, The Mandalorian, like a drum. That's easy though. Yeah. <laughs> well, you would, well, you would think it's easy, but Disney Plus has a lot. Of, I think it has more subscribers than HBO Max, and it also airs on HBO at the same time. And those numbers aren't yeah. factored into that. Yep, 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 yep. How is and the that Mandalorian happen? has Damn. fucking sixteen other episodes to watch as Number well. Number of episodes, minutes per minute. So, but this is this is while the Mandalorian's releasing, right? So the engagement should be higher than usual. Okay, the problem with it, Ryan just mentioned, the problem with the Nielsen's and re the reason it favors Netflix is it it's all the minutes. It's not from an episode. It's from whatever you have out. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, that, that's the only way they have though, uh, this. the only way they have to be able to do it, right? Um, so yeah, the Murdoch murder, and it's also five weeks delayed or so, four to yeah, five yeah. weeks yeah, yeah. delayed, right? So. Well, we got to look up, but we do. We Jesus. can tell that the Mandalorian is about twenty percent off of season two yep. numbers for the premiere, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we saw with the Samba TV numbers. Yep, and now that's what we see with the official Nielsen minutes numbers as well. Aww. And that's with more Disney Plus subscribers than two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, that's with the release of Obi Wan and Book of Boba Fett and Andor in between. And also, the, just look how small the difference. Like honestly, is percentage wise at least between Mandalorian and Bluey. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. 
and, and South Bluey's, Park. They just released its like third season on there. My kids alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, shout out to South Park. That fucking guy is just yeah. going and going, yep. never stops. South stopped. Park and, and NCIS, baby. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. That's this is the originals. Tra- oh no, this is the overall chart. It's not the originals chart. Mandalorian Correct. was three on the originals chart. So that's because Last of Us doesn't count as an original. It counts as uh, acquired because it airs technically on HBO, on HBO, and then HBO Max acquires it. Uh, that, that's that's huh. why it's yeah. counted okay. there, even though it's original programming. Same thing same, for House of Dragons. Same thing what for is House of Dragons. Banks? Which got reduced. Uh, it's a from Netflix show. Yeah. Yeah. TV good? show. Yeah. Uh, I saw the first season. It wasn't the worst. I that one out for Jeremy. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like it's like a teeny bopper show. It's like a it's like something from the CW, but it's like higher production. Uh, really? I saw the first season. It was fine. It's, it's, it's like it sounds... the it's like OC but real. That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> That's weird yeah. because it sounds like a sci-fi show, like The Outer Banks. So like a, no, it's yeah. about a bunch like of fucking. X-Files it's about a show. bunch of rich fucking kids, yeah. like that just live these lives of luxury uh, yeah. on like coast towns. I'm not gonna joke, not joke a joke around. I did watch. I think the I never OC. watched, but I did watch that show when it came out. I saw some of that. Oh, I, yeah. I saw the OC. Yeah. Marissa, Ryan, yeah. those are the two main ones, yeah. right? There was there was a comic book club in it. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I had a wife, so I had an excuse. Uh, but I yeah, watched it. Jason. I was straight, so I had an excuse. Stupid uh, teenager. <laughs> Jason Sandberg for one hundred dollars. Oh, Jason. Gary, check out Jupiter sometime. The art sings, the plot twists, the jokes land, and the dude ain't stopping. Hail to the chat. Have a great weekend. Spring is here. Jupiter. The comic? This is comic book. I had him on last night. Oh. I was going to say, like, yeah, he launched his Indiegogo Mark Millar? Oh, so it's, it's a different one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Great dude. Uh, he does some really great Kirby-esque art. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll check yeah. it out. I'll check it out. Thank you. Thank you for the $100. I'll check it out. I was just a little confused on that one. Uh, just on that one. Just uh, yeah, I'm not confused just, on anything Don't else. let me just forget just in thing. a little bit, X-Ray Girl, uh, about Grant. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's riding the bees. He's riding the bees. <laughs> what Susan, man? Susan B. Anthony. Uh, Graham- <laughs> what man and the ant? Chuck yeah. Dixon and Graham Nolan's book ends at in a couple of hours. So we need to blast oh, yeah, that out a couple it. of times. Um, and uh, his Conan book, which I didn't get. I ordered it from Amazon and they did cancel it. So I had to, I had to go oh, to his website. Ends in nine hours. There it is. Graham Nolan. It's nine hours? I thought it was nine a couple hours. hours. There it is, Gary. Uh, right fuck there, you. Gary. Fuck the you. Scene right from the black did you read it? it? Citadel. Just Why do you have to make it about race? Hmm? I can't is it read. a graphic novel or is it just a book? That's a book with the oh, words. Just... No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No. You mean you got to read? Well, it's there's a... that picture. Got ourselves a reader yeah, that's, here. That's pretty awesome. Chuck Dixon rules. Uh, Ar- Archer Ronin on the Streamlab side for $50. You say our Friday Night Tights. Bean keep. Bean. Bean. Why did I read that as Bean. What the fuck happened? Yeah. Say, I had a stroke. Broke. I had a Bean. little stroke. Right, reboot. Reboot. I, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Been <laughs> keeping up with Disbrew and As Is Gotham Knights reviews. I laughed so hard with the dead naming joke in the interrogation. <laughs> then Tennessee happened, and the freaks were telling us to respect the shooter's pronouns. So I will now. Uh, I, so uh, was here. Uh, like from Razor Fist video was here. That's a that that is a pronoun. Like, is it a pronoun? I don't know. If that, yeah. Only on the CW can the the crime of uh, dead naming be worse than the crime of murder. Murder. <laughs> murder. Well, they like, are the heart the heart and soul of this country. All right. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Right that now. that dead naming joke was fucking funny. Like <laughs> like that, like. It was supposed to be very crude and how dare he, but it was funny. So they got to be like, I got a dead name for you, Bruce, <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yep. <laughs> That's actually legitimately uh, funny. It is legitimately funny, especially in the entire context of the CW and DC right now. <laughs> so <laughs> dead so much meaning mm-hmm. right there. Uh, Grendel Vivat for, uh, has gifted 20 neurotic memberships for $100. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
God, I gotta get used to these. I gotta get better headphones. I'm I'm, I'm on like cheap ass headphones because I'm a high rolling YouTuber. So I think I got these on a plane ride, um, and it sounds like AM radio. It's so weird in my ears. <laughs> plane <laughs> ride. A plane oh, ride plane on a plane yeah. ride. Wait, wait, I don't wait, like wait, riding. We watched a love movie. I watched a love movie. I flew on a plane. Okay, plane? bitch. <clears throat> on a plane. You on bought plane. these on the plane from the plane. Got them from the plane. I think. Oh, I mean, they're they're particularly bad. Like I think. He doesn't even know <laughs> where it came from. <laughs> it's like, well, know. my memory is not as good as it used to be. Okay. They were hanging. Do I think these are bad? Yeah. Well, I have headphones, so I would buy those. Hey, at least no, I can hear you guys still. Those are the ones still. you like, Gary. There's going okay. to be day, a day not too oh, far really? away where I can't hear you. I can't see you. It's, uh... <laughs> Did I take my... I, Gary, I was, remember is it, you. You is it tomorrow, here. Gary? Is it tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I took out my glasses uh, looking at my big screen, the, the, the home theater, and I couldn't read the subtitles without, <laughs> without my glasses on on a 125-inch <laughs> screen. Like I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I'm going blind. Okay? The letters are huge. <laughs> like a billboard. I love how they the laugh. Like, yeah. Ah, he's Gary. going blind. <laughs> the day is already here where you can't see. We've seen your phone it's bad it's like, bad it's really it's bad. bad and that's with glasses all right you've yeah. got other senses <laughs> i do <laughs> i do it's like my daredevil is my favorite he'll he'll become in a daredevil. few years and he'll be Perfect. rocking back and forth blind deaf and dumb just saying m she you <laughs> <laughs> I was a YouTuber, don't you know? <laughs> I used to say things to the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just better take your pills. Back in my day. Oh, we that, oh, yeah, yeah. Take, take the meds. Take the meds. <laughs> there was women. There were just women everywhere. Every you know the women. The Can't women wait till my kid. Everything. Can't wait till my kid changes my diaper. <laughs> women. When my kid changes my diaper, I'm just gonna like my last words will be karma, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you drift off. <laughs> Duke Devil ninety five has gifted ten neurotic memberships for fifty dollars. <laughs> uh Vakiria. Haha, see Jeremy? Vakiria <laughs> Winter. Not how you say it. That's not how you, oh, it's Valkyria. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> see? <laughs> I did drugs and you're from Alabama. <laughs> Valkyria Winter has gifted 10 neurotic memberships. We both fucked up her name. I don't think that's how you say it either. I don't care. That's how I say it. I say it however I fucking want. Val okay, it's V A L K I R I A. What's it supposed to be? Valkyria? Oh my Val Valkyria? No, Valkyria. That's what I said. Valkyria. I know, I was Valkyria. just fucking with you at that point, Gary, because you fucked it up the first time. Because I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Not another dime is gifted to 10 neurotic membership for $50. And WG. WG is gifted to 20 neurotic memberships for $100. You're going to be in Vegas, WG? You better be in Vegas, pussy. Yeah, he says you do that. Okay. Be. I will call him a pussy if he doesn't go. If he doesn't go... 26 days till the meetup, actually sooner till when I get there. Ryan's going to get there on Tuesday. Jeremy, whenever the fuck. You're dry. Okay, you're all driving together? No, Ryan's flying. So Ryan's I'm flying, gonna... but you're you're I'm you're taking a we're, Geeks we're and grouping. Gamers bus, which is going to yeah. be hilarious, I think. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Ryan, so, you are I'm... smart for, for Is it like the like Venga 15... bus, but even more gay? <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So... We're gonna be cruising, and uh, who's we'll driving? Be it. We'll be, I am. Nobody okay. fucking drives me. I drive myself. I don't. I don't let anybody drive. Well, Not gonna let Krista sure drive. Know. Does Krista know how to drive? Oh, uh, she does, but she no ain't way. driving no vehicle I'm in. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe she knows how to drive. I, let I Steph, don't believe that. Canadian let, driving doesn't count. I let it's Steph drive one time, and that's the last time. It will never happen again. Oh. So it was terrifying. What about Jay? Would you let him drive? No, I don't let women drive. Oh! <laughs> Damn! That's rough. That's the only right answer. Brutal. Now he's going to show up in the chat. Man, anytime they talk about me. Wow! <laughs> I love you, Jay. Hey, check out Jay's Indiegogo. 
He's at 72, 73,000 now. He's been nice. crushing it. Shout out to Drunk 3 nice. p Good on him. Killing Good it. for him. Yeah, man, I'm proud of him. So, But he'll be at the panel tomorrow with us at Megacon. So, 2.30 p.m. more update. 2.30 tomorrow, Megacon Orlando Geeks and Gamers panel. Me, Ryan, Jay, the whole crew will be there. Um, so you can meet all of us, hang out with us. Uh, 2.30, Megacon. Make it happen. We have no idea how many people are going to show up. I think maybe five people will show up. We'll see. Maybe six. At least. At least maybe ten. Six. Maybe six. Nah, you'll get a lot of people there. I uh, canceled mine. Will... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you would. No, I, I didn't. <laughs> Long Gone Dave has donated $50. <laughs> Greetings and salutations from Lubbock. Hey, I was in your fine town with Garrett just a couple of months ago watching some Ancient Aliens live. Did you, you say Long Gone Dave? Is that what it was? It says Long Gone Dave, yeah. I, I thought long you said gone. Long Dong. <laughs> <laughs> long you mean like Long, long Dave. Duck Dong? Oh, Ryan, you really could have missed hearing about dudes tonight. A lot, lot of cock on the brain, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, the Leon woman. A lot of dick on the mind. Yep. Uh, <laughs> greetings and salutations from Lubbock, Texas. Eating some good pizza, no pineapple. Well, that ain't good. Uh, after a good day at work and enjoying some good old FNT, the things I do for a pizza right now, to be honest with you. Uh, you all are the best. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail 80s Marvel. Hail pre Mouse House Star Wars. Hail Texas. Yo, uh, Joe, and all hail Megatron. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Shad. What's up? You put out an interesting video today. <gasps> oh. Let's discuss. I thought it was. I thought it was too. I listened to the whole wow, thing. Wow, the ego on this guy. I know, yeah, right? <laughs> I don't yeah. think anything I put out. How, how dare you talk about things you find interesting? Shocking, I know. I, I put out a video today as a piece of shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Perry. That was really all my good. fault. No, Shad, yeah, you, well, you, I liked your video today a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I, I wanted to talk about in the video, and we can discuss it here a bit, about, um, because I, I respect people who take the stance that they don't want to support people who hate them. And I totally get that. I, I you know, you don't want to give money to people who hate you. I think there is another side that <clears throat> is worth acknowledging. And also it's kind of more the side that I fall into, which is basically, I guess, trying to support the good stuff that is getting made because, a lot mm. of these companies are, uh, they're, they're obviously a lot of cogs in the wheels. There's lots of people behind it. And there's actually some good people still there trying to make good good things. And when some good stuff does come out, I think, yeah, I, I do want to support the good stuff to try and encourage good stuff being made. And if it's bad, well, then, of course, you know, you roast it. You don't want to support that either. But... Because we do see little signs here and there of some good stuff coming out. And uh, I don't know how, I guess, much it will continue on. Of these, you know, like, for, and the one people reference a lot is uh, Picard season three. That seems to have been someone who actively listened to feedback and wanted to make something that was genuine for the fans, mm -hmm. wanted to make something good that they love the franchise. And I think that's a great thing. And Picard kind of also surprised me because I have been on the, the rant about where, all right, everything's done. It's all dead. I'm going to laugh at the burning grave, you know, and uh, we'll build something new. And I think we absolutely can still push forward for building something new. Yet watching Picard season three also remind me how much I love Star Trek and the next generation and seeing those characters given something genuinely good to watch again to appreciate i love that and i think a lot of fans would also appreciate it and there's a lot of fans that love these properties still that when something does come along that's actually good and made for them that's good that's good and and if people still don't want to support them for all the crap the companies do i get that completely absolutely i i think i respect that decision as well but then also there's been kind of some fewer people saying you should never support anything that these companies are making, even when it's good. And if you do, you're a shill and you're betraying the move. And I was like, well, well hang on, hang on then. Because Until it's a franchise that they want to talk about. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> because 
I think we should absolutely be honest. We don't want to become so partisan that even the things that are being made by, you know, the companies that are dog crap companies, if it's good, we need to be honest and acknowledge that it's good and never just trash something just for the sake that it's made by the other side. Um, because that's when you become a bit too dishonest, I think. But it's perfectly fine to acknowledge when it's good. That and if you still don't want to support it because... anti show. Yeah, exactly. And if you still don't want to support it because you hate the company still, that's fine. I, I get that completely. Because these these this discussion kind of came out of my review of the Dungeons and Dragons film. Because Wizards of the Coast is a dog crap company. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they, they are. 100%. They, massive dog crap company. They ruined D&D. They really have. I love D&D. Oh, I have a nostalgic love for d and I don't like modern D&D. I think modern D&D has gone off the rails, but I still love the nostalgic You just parts hate of D &D. wheelchair access in dungeons. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think it's... No, he mentioned he liked the love movie with the wheelchair. He's it's so uh, good. <laughs> but, uh, like, for instance, I love the Forgotten Realms. Like, so many of the games I love, Boulder's Gate is in the Forgotten Realms, and there's mm. Icewind Dale. I've I played all the Neverwinter Nights games. And, and so that world has a lot of nostalgic appreciation for me. Dungeons & Dragons, the film, is based in Forgotten Realms. And, yes. and it's a film that is actually made, for the most part, I'm not saying it's perfect, but there's a lot of things that genuine, you know, Dungeons & Dragons fans will love. And the fact that they had, like, a special Easter egg uh, that I felt that was actually a genuine kind of nod. I love seeing that. And for the most part, again, it's not perfect, but for the most part, the film was actually really good. Uh, and I, I, so I totally understand and respect the people who still won't see it because they don't want to support Wizards of the Coast. Yet at the same time, if we don't, if we, we want the, these companies to get the message to actually make good things, to respect the fans again and stuff like that. And one of the ways that you can, send that message is by supporting the good things that do come out from these companies seem to be few few and far between but when they do you know um there's two sides and i respect both kind of approaches now one Shout thing out. i heard shad is that they actually build it as hasbro's dungeons and dragons and not wizards of the coast dungeons and dragons which makes me kind of wonder about things well that's yeah a lot of toys have just come out from hasbro for the thing as well uh, okay because hasbro from the uh, information that I've seen, doesn't seem to respect the D&D brand very much at all. Uh, no, it I, seems like they don't respect Wizards of the Coast at all. And Wizards of the Coast. But then there's also Wizards of the Coast with the OGL crap and the way that they've been wanting to just yeah. suck everything that they can out of that, you know, property. That, and especially, you know, that they're wanting basically cheap people are making <clears throat> and all that stuff. That they were crap as well. Yet, it was someone in Wizards of the Coast that leaked the OGL. And and they were there were a lot of people in the company that were actively fighting back to try and protect the Dungeons and Dragons brand that genuinely love D and D and they're there to try and support the fans stuff like that. And so there are good people still that are working on these things. That if you if you're saying that you don't want to support Wizards of the Coast, I get that. But at the same time, there are good people trying to do good things that you would be supporting as well if you did want to support the good things that are happening that they mm. try. Yeah, okay. I can see okay. it in two different ways. Go ahead. As, as... Well, there's, there's two things. I absolutely hear what you say. I absolutely 100% hear what you say. Because uh, I think Terry Metalis is coming from a, a, a good place. I think he's hindered by a couple of things, and it's not perfect. But I think Picard Season 3 is immensely watchable, and I am rather enjoying it. You know, borrow a few wibbly-wobblies. So I see Terry Metalis, and I'm like, that is a guy who's really trying his best. Yep. You know, he's not being antagonistic online. He's not saying anything dumb. He's trying to let the work, the show speak for itself, and the show is speaking for itself. So what happens then when you get something like this Dungeons & Dragons movie, and then you get, you're saying it's a good film, but you get the, 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 the writers, whatever, producers, whatever, coming out and saying, oh, we love emasculating our men, which is one of the dumbest things that you can possibly fucking say to a, a Dungeons & Dragons audience. So, so what do you do then? Because they're clearly demonstrating that they're fucking retarded. <laughs> well, well, you know, this you you'll go to the film and say, well, actually, the film's not that bad, because Terry Metalis isn't saying anything dumb and stupid to stop people from watching Picard season three, whereas mm -hmm. the 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 producers or writers, whichever is the one who said this, uh, is proactively saying dumb shit that could mm -hmm. make. Because uh, uh, I was when he said that, I was just like, I fucking care. 
Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. they, they need to stop this. the anti-marketing, which is what that is. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we saw the same with House of the Dragons. The, the the amount of commentary around that where they tried to say all this woke messaging when we actually watch it, it was the reverse. It was actually Even had... in their post episode like talk through and the behind the scenes stuff. We had to stop there was watching woke it. shit in there that wasn't really <clears throat> in. <clears throat> hey, Renice Renice would never kill a mother, okay? And that's why she didn't end the war right there. Mm. Except those mothers she stood on while making that decision. <laughs> in the ninth episode, yeah, all the mothers yeah, she uh, literally uh, crushed to that, death. <laughs> sometimes the people who make this shit, like you want them to never talk about this shit. You're just yeah. like, look, I enjoy your thing. Just stop trying to tell me what it's about cuz you don't even know. Yeah. But exactly. That, that, it sounds to me from just what everyone's saying, it's like there's a couple of standards that are running all at the same time and they have crossover and clash every once in a while. Like how good the thing is for what it is, irrelevant of everything surrounding it. But then how good are the people who are promoting it slash making it slash writing it and what do they say, what do they think? And then what company are they a part of and how much do we want that company to succeed or fail? These are like, that's just three, right? There's going to be more standards mm -hmm. that if you run them all at the same time could be a horrible company with great people on a bad show could be a great company with really horrible people on a really good show could be bad company bad people and a great show what are you supposed to do with all of those different and it's just like yeah it depends i think everybody has different um sort mm -hmm. of tolerance in different situations mm -hmm. yeah um mm -hmm. i'm inclined I'm... to, to want to try and call a, a spade a spade but at the same time i recognize that let's say the worst person on planet earth was the one that created some great show you almost hesitate to be like mm -hmm. maybe i shouldn't promote that because then they they get a shit ton of you know you you there's a, yeah. there's a conflict that can happen but, yeah i mean I, i've my whole stance has always been i'm an individualist and i'm not going to judge anyone for what they do with their time and money as long as it's not illegal and 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 i'm going to do what i want with my time and money and i don't i don't I don't like there might be movies out there that succeed that I don't like. There might be movies that fail that I love. Um, ultimately, I'm not going to judge genuine fans on whatever they enjoy because it's such a deep rabbit hole to go down. Um, ultimately, you have to judge it as like, are the people involved in the creative process ruining my experience as a fan directly lucasfilm has done that for me lucasfilm 100%. has actively ruined my experience as a fan mm -hmm. there might be people behind the scenes if you dig at a studio you find people that are terrible people or, or whatever and they're in the background but when you actively are doing it to the point where i can't even be a fan and they have done that with star wars and right now the same thing is happening with marvel you can't even be a casual fan of these properties without the activist ruining your experience that's that's where it goes so far over the line into things and i feel like you know again i'm speaking from a distance on this with dnd because i mean we have a dnd channel <clears throat> that, but i don't know any a lot about it rude i runs that channel does a great job but i've heard that like dnd has just been absolutely ruined by leftist propaganda over uh, the years there, there's so and, much dumb yeah, things yeah, like absolutely. you can't have any evil monster races anymore because that's it's problematic it's so right just gotten and, rid of and, monster the races reality... because they're monkey people and that may be yeah. construed as racism in some way but they're not really it's hold yeah. up wait a minute <laughs> yep I mean, right. Right. <laughs> for, for me it's like and like you guys have already been saying and i was going to say it like it has to do with the individual and how you weigh what matters to you when you go into media. So do you want to go in with a completely objective, I want to rate this piece of media honestly on its own merit, don't think about anything outside of that? I think you should be able to say <coughs> that and also at the same time have the belief of these people also hate me. So you can, you can say, hey, look, uh, the people that created Star Trek and the people that are running it right now, they hate you mm -hmm. straight up. Mm -hmm. This one piece of media is good. And if you and don't, a... if you watch something and you believe that it's good and you, and you see that and then you say it's bad just because you want to continue that narrative of I hate these people, then you're a liar. Yeah, you're being dishonest. And I can't mm -hmm. believe you with any of your other yeah. opinions. Well, that's, that's where, where th with th the Kurtzman Trek in particular, <clears throat> it, that, that's not wrong. And it, it, Kurtzman Trek was never going to be saved. Star Trek is dead. It will remain dead. It was dead yesterday. It will be dead today. It is dead tomorrow. What mm -hmm. Picard was, I've been saying this repeatedly, uh, is an anomaly. That's all yeah. it is. It is a guy who snuck in 
when nobody was watching, when everybody fucked off because they didn't care, it was in the final season. It could barely got a fucking budget. They were off to do bigger, better things that ended up failing because they fucking suck. And somebody snuck in who used to work on Star Trek, who used to work on Star Trek and made, tried very genuinely to make something for everyone. It's not going to please everyone. It is constrained by this garbage that is Kurtzman Trek, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Last episode, I didn't like very much, but it, it, it gets better towards the end. And as Garrett just said, I was going to watch this anyway. And like, this is the difference. Like, you know, there's there's people like me who review things and I'm going to continue to review things. I'm going to continue to watch things. I'm not going to fucking go. I'm going to, well, you know, fuck the channel. I'm not going to stop watching shit, even though I've been doing this all my life and, and I love what I do. Whether I'm watching something good or bad, because even if it's trash, I can get a good laugh out of it. I can mock it the, the hell. And, and like, that's something I've been doing forever. I used to do that with my friends. We'd go see shitty movies and just roast the shit out of them. Just hanging out. That, that's, that's what dudes do. So yeah, I have fun. no problem with that. But, what, but when, when I know for a fact that somebody tried and listened to all the criticism and tried to make something good, that's, you know, I, I, and, I, and I watch it and I like it, which I didn't expect to do. I thought it was going to suck. And the same goes for House of the Dragon. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, you just have to be honest. And I'll say it again: if we're not being honest, it's just another fucking narrative. That's all it is. Yeah. And and think, and, go on, Ryan. I just I think that like the reality for this answer is that it's it's different for every individual person. Like yeah. when you look at Star Wars, I was so off this Disney Star Wars train before a lot of other people for a lot of people it was last jedi that did it for them because that's what like really hit home for them for me with everything that happened because i am one of these people the vast minority of people who are super into the expanded universe what i saw happen between 2012 up to force awakens was like enough for me to just be so turned off by that company and feel like they don't fucking respect what i was there for and all that stuff so i was in a different place than a lot of other people for different reasons and I, that's kind of how it is with all this stuff for some people it's how far do I think this place has gone? Mm -hmm. Do I think that they've just done something that's so disrespectful I can never consider giving them another dime of my money? For every person that's fucking different. And I think to, to throw everybody into one lane or another, especially if you're willing to go see a DC movie when Warner Brothers <laughs> has done this, or you're willing to go give The Mandalorian a chance when you know Star Wars and Disney has done this. It's like it's You like Taylor Sheridan? He runs Paramount right now. But the, but the whole point of that, and you're right, Ryan, is uh, like, it's not like I'm on the fucking Kurtzman train. I watched a show that I like. You think I give a fuck about Star Trek Academy? They're Hogwarts. That's how I was fucking pitched, and it makes oh, me cringe. Jesus. Their Hogwarts Star Trek is going to be shit in the Discovery <laughs> timeline. We're just going to get more shit. I said it in my first review. That fucker will come in, take all the credit in the world. Probably, you know, we're not going to get. Uh, did you hear any? Uh, did, did Picard get re upped? Did the spinoff get greenlit? Because if no. Picard saved everything, then the fucking sp the 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 spinoff would be greenlit right now. It would, but Barry. it's not. Barry. Yes. Barry. <laughs> when an exec from Paramount goes onto YouTube, they see a man say, "I like that." They're like that nerd rollet guy. Get the contract. Yep, out that's now! it. <laughs> that's how contracts work, people. That's Plus how one. contracts work. Just There's a man on YouTube. Never mind. Good. Never Renew. mind. Renew. Renew. Go, go, go. <laughs> that's right. I have that kind of power. That's how, that's how contracts work. I mean, I just, I, it, you know, like, did you, did you by the way, nobody's Kennedy's mentioning Critical Drinker or Red Letter Media or Dave Cullen or, <laughs> or even Midnight's Edge, the guys it's who weird. liked sometimes, it. Sometimes, <laughs> Gary, you have all the power and influence, and sometimes you have no power I know. And influence. It's weird. Like, it's it's almost like, oh, never mind, I was going to make a bad joke. Uh, I was going to make a bad joke that would get me in trouble with my wife. As is, to as, to your point about, you know, when you hear, like, writers or execs go online and say something so astronomically dumb like we love emasculating the leading mm -hmm. men yeah. um yep there's going to be different responses and i honestly feel like a response saying well screw you i'm not going to watch your film even if it is good perfectly valid everyone is entitled yeah. to that uh my own response is to call them out on it saying all right right you're an absolute moron for saying that you're tanking the interest in your film <clears throat> i watched the film and found that 
there were actual elements where they did go out of their way to emasculate some characters and that you know did annoy me but nowhere near to the level that they're implying in actual fact the leading men are quite instrumental and have some great heroic moments in the film to the point where this guy is full of crap what are they even talking about they're idiots and it's the same thing reaction how we did with house of the jag yeah like you, you you guys commenting on the show don't know what you're talking about because the show is saying something completely different. There's actually a positive message about fatherhood and never giving up and masculinity in the <clears> film <throat> to the point where the guy's just full of crap and you're, you're working against an actual, you know, positive film that a lot of fans would like because you're a moron. How many now. times did we say, and I'm going to say it again, plug your ears if you don't want a spoiler for because a Game of Thrones show, people die, that if this is supposed to be a female empowerment story, well, it might be the worst one ever written. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just considering how it the ends. Most, the <laughs> most true example. to reality one. That's yeah. Ever yeah. Ever it is not. <laughs> wow. It, no, it's a woman's very, power. Woman it's a, gets in power. Things go very bad. The message at the wrong. end is maybe the dude should be king. <laughs> oh, sorry. Are we talking about New Zealand? Yes. Uh, oh, that was good, though. I, I like that one. And. And if people are worried that, you know, if this film gets too much support and then, then Wizard of the Coast gets all the more money and they'll make, you know, more films and everything, I'm not against them making more good films. But if the next Dungeons and Dragons film, if they end up making it and then they think, now we have a popular property to put our message and do all that. Which happens. Well, if that happens, I'll review it, let you know. And mm. uh, you how know, many course, times have we seen shit, that happen? But like, it, it's, we're going to see this a lot more. As because uh, aside from Disney, because it's really cut and dry with Disney. Disney sucks. Uh, they fucked everything up. So it's very it's very cut and dry. But you're going to see other co uh, companies doing ch making changes. So Paramount runs Star Trek right now. Paramount Plus. They're shitty at it. Bo Bob Backish is a fucking idiot when it comes to Star Trek. Has no my, my dog knows more about Star Trek than Bob Backish, a man running a giant billion dollar company right now. By the way, that's losing billions on streaming. They've lost half a billion this year so far. But you know what gained them subscribers? Aww. Top Gun Maverick. Wasn't Star Trek. It wasn't even fucking the Sheridanverse. It was Top Gun Maverick gained them <clears throat> gained them the most subscribers. So they're up to seventy seven million now, but they're still losing money hand over fist. They have Alex Kurtzman under contract for two till 2026 because they're retarded and they're going to continue making shitty Star Trek and losing money on it till, till it's done. And, and then you won't see there, there's no reboots planned. There's not, none of that shit's planned. They're, they're going to, they're going to ride this out and it's just going to fade away because the apathy had already said it set in. I don't even think Star Trek's like a real big until recently uh, uh, has never, has not been a big conversation in the pop cultural war zeitgeist anyway, because Pretty much, it was fucking dead, and it still is. And that's where Star Wars is at right now. So Andor mm -hmm. comes out. People like it. You know, I didn't, but, like, you know, I have to acknowledge that a lot of people liked it, uh, and nobody watched it. So With all this said, though, can I just say, don't probably buy another CD Projekt Red game <laughs> because they've <laughs> just initiated menstruation leave for anyone who is well, menstruating. Did you watch no the did you watch way. their ESG video, dude? I did. Oh yeah, yeah. we yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched oh, yeah. some real big seeds together. Hey, you know what that would make me do? Not hire women. <laughs> yeah. What if you got it. like boner leave? It's not even a joke though. Like you're like you're if talking a company about... wants to make money and yeah, they weigh up the option. Yeah. Yeah, or we could say something like really win. quote unquote Every sexist month. and say, I want to, I want to, I'm okay with that. Week, you know? <laughs> and if it's so bad that you have to take off work, something's really wrong with you. Yeah, you should go to the doctor. Well, I don't know. Very Let's just, uh, actually, Chrissy, that's not fair. I think what we should do is maybe we it's should for all just the men in the office. maybe have a look uh, over the course of history to see whether this is, oh, uh, it's never happened because it's unfucking necessary. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. for one, be funny. it's Project actually Red. do what you want to do, run it as you want to. Uh, Run it into just the try ground. And focus as you want on it. making good games and releasing them on time, uh, and not. Why is there only a, a need for representation in high-level executive jobs and gaming and acting? I mean, where's the where is the representation in deep sea oil drilling? Will they That's will fine. they get leave for that? You know, maybe I was thinking about this the wrong way because maybe 
giving women time off when they're on their period is actually better for every man in the office. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> better productivity. <laughs> That's what I was Just thinking. Good point. Just go Good home, point. Cheryl. Well, okay, home. for one, as, 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 kind of bitch, as, as Chrissy home. may home. know, home. all the women would leave at the same time because they tend to sink. They all sink yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. But in reality, like that's what would happen, right? If, if you told me that if I hire this lot. person, I'm going to have to immediately give them I don't know, 50% more time off or whatever, more paid time off than I would a man. <clears throat> Why would I, like, Definitely that incentivizes me to hire a man. Like, you already see those types of decisions sometimes, and it's one of the things that you, you always hear, the, oh, the, the gender pay gap, blah, blah, blah. One of the reasons is because women tend to get pregnant more than men. Shocker, I know, right? What? Uh, crazy. Crazy. Hey, hey, canceled. Men can get pregnant, too. Yes, yeah, so they're like, yeah. Yeah. apparently. Yep. Just not so, trying hard enough. That's something that could potentially delay their career or have significant time off when they do that thing. So sometimes they might be less hesitant to give them a, a high paying salary or whatever, because they know that that person might be out at any time, um, especially if they want to so, have a family. So, so like, it actually all those things go into making these decisions. It's, it's also a, di a difference in like just personality traits is too. you know, men are much more likely to push harder in negotiations to get those right. kind of contracts, yeah. whereas women are they not as likely. One. I mean, uh, seriously, statistically, men take less time off for sickness and uh, and uh, wellness leave, and, and and they work more overtime. And funny story, right? My mum, before she got married, she uh, applied for a job, and one of the conditions, well, it wasn't even conditions, condition, but the, the guy, and this was a while ago, but the boss was just like, all right, all right, I'm willing to give you the job, but can you guarantee that you're not going to either get pregnant or married and leave? We, we need someone in the position, because... All the other women we've been hiring is either be getting married, pregnant, and then they leave their job, and that's why the position is open. Mom was like, "Oh, that'll be fine," you know, she... and then she got married. And left the job. <laughs> 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 Just like a thing. woman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, CD uh, Project nice Red. Did they really? Women, eh? As is that? Was that a real announcement? Like that for real? Like they? Yeah. Gosh. Wow. Uh, for how long? But, what? What? How long is the leave? CD a week, Project a week? Red tweeted yesterday, we are proud to offer menstrual leave to employees. Employees. Team me nah. To employees. Team members can now focus on their comfort and health by taking time off when suffering from period pains. It's all about inclusivity and fostering a supportive workplace. Hashtad inside red. Kudos to God. <laughs> what? Inside Red. Inside Red is probably the name of their newsletter, newsletter or something. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. What red leaf? I know. Yeah. Generally, employees, not 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 female employees. It's red Dead Redemption. It's pretty uh, impressive. An inclusive space where we give only half of the employees. Redemption. It's pretty impressive how. Month. Okay. It's pretty far how it's pretty impressive how far CD Project Red has fallen in just like yeah. the last couple of years, man. They used to be so highly respected in the gaming world, and they have fallen far after Cyberpunk. It's because they oh, didn't yeah. do much. Like they didn't have an opportunity. They, they, you know, Witcher Three. A lot of people just fucking loved Witcher Three, but they didn't put anything out. Like other than you had DLC and stuff, but it's not like they had a bunch of different franchises they were doing or putting out to like fuck something up for themselves. Mm -hmm. That may be why they had so much goodwill. Wait for till so Witcher long. Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Ooh. But half the staff are going to be on leave. What about crunch time when you're trying to get the the game out? You already have a reputation for releasing oh. games that are going to call that condition. cramps time now. <laughs> <laughs> Great band. <laughs> Great band. So it's, so it's up to men to pick up the workload. Yeah. yeah. It always has been. Always. Has oh, been. meaning to get more hours and then to get more pay and then the so-called pay gap. And then the pay gap. Oh, okay. It comes in. You, uh, well, even the CEO. Like, I, like, like, I'm fine. Look, hey, CD Projekt Red, if you want to fuck yourself and your business practices, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, just release a good game, and I'll play that game, and I'll tell people, "Hey, I like the game. It was good," or yeah, I'll say it was shit. You know, the same thing, the thing with we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the same with Disney or uh, all of these different products that come out, and they're shit or they're good. And I'm gonna say that poor pieces of media. I'm not gonna go, "Okay, Disney, you're trash. 
at all times, uh, even if I kind of like the thing that came out. I'm going to tell you it's trash anyways. No, I'm going to say, hey, look, Disney's trash in every single aspect, and their people say this about your political leanings. They hate you because of this. But this piece of media that they, they came out with, it, I kind of liked. Because Cordoba, this it's piece also of media not the first I'm, time I'm right now. we've had this conversation. It's just with Picard season three. We were having this conversation sudden, two different. years ago, three years ago with The Mandalorian. Very same yeah, conversation. Exactly, the exact People same were saying conversation, yeah. there needs to be a path redemption if somebody's in there with, uh, with the goodwill mm -hmm. and is really right. trying to make something for the fans. And I agree with it. I agreed with it then. I agree with it now. Uh, but, you know, it, but we have to go base. Our, our, our whatever our ultimate judgment on reality on like what we're actually seeing giving mm -hmm. an honest opinion now as learn. I said before if you watch Picard season three you think it sucks fair enough you watched it fair enough yeah. you know I, 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 I can't get into your heart I can't judge the reasons if that's what you say that's what you say you're a fan uh, but you know to reference you know Mark, your video Shad and Mark with the C's video uh, last time I checked uh, a lot of us here got in here for a lot of reasons, but I think the thing that the, the, the thing that ties us together is we really weren't, except for Mahler, no, I'm just kidding, uh, like <laughs> into blame, blaming fans for stuff. I mean, we could certainly question your judgment, you know, like a uh, Star Trek Discovery fan, not going to trust your directions to the bathroom at all. But, uh, you know, Wait, you, I mean, you it, can this like is it. the woman's. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've talked oh. about it. I've talked, like, if you're a genuine fan, first of all, you understand fans are going to argue with fans. They're yep. going to fight. Mm -hmm. They're going to talk shit. We're going to call each other names. But you understand when you're talking to a fan. And as I talked about, I, I, I could you, when you are when I argued with prequel haters, I was arguing with Star Wars fans all of those years. I was defending the prequels. I was arguing with people. And guess what? I was arguing with Star Wars fans. When you argue with sequel trilogy fans, you're arguing with activists. Because the first the first time someone tells you that the reason you don't like a movie is because it has women and black people in it, you're not arguing with a fan. No, nope. and that's the difference. You can tell the difference in it, and so uh, nobody nobody roasts nerds more than nerds, because that's what we do. We argue, we fight, we talk shit, we call each other names, and then we just fucking forget about it and go do yeah. something else. Oh, oh, good. Have then a good we agree on something later. later or something, yes, and we both love it, and that's just the way it is, you know. Yes, and so um, something. Go, go ahead, finish it. Then. No, you're good. Go ahead. I was going to say, no, you, you're, you're quarter black. Go ahead, motherfucker. I, I, I take precedent. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's something about being a creator, too, and putting forth reviews <clears throat> and being an audience member of these products. You know, when you're an audience member, you can go, look, hey, I don't like this company because they said these certain things. I'm not going to spend my money. Like Shadow said, that makes 100% sense. Mm -hmm. Don't spend your money on shit that you don't think deserves your money. But as a reviewer, the point of watching a, a Gary a Neurotic video or a Ryan video or a Shad video is to get their per perspective me and on as, that piece. Me and Az and Ogden don't and Comics fucking don't fuck into Mahler does I'm not going to do this entire thing, thing just say point everybody's out names, but you watch all these people's videos, yeah, right? <laughs> to get their perspective, <laughs> and then you make your assessment on that. You weigh that in mm. your own head. You say, well, does what they say, does that make me want to go see it based upon... All of the shit that I've heard the studio say, the director say, the actors say, no, I don't think so. I'm not going to go watch it. Even though they said it was good. That's mm -hmm. up for the audience to decide. Yep. The reviews are specifically for that reason. So we could say, hey, look, it's good. Here's some things that they said before. You make the decision. I think that's why it's important to be honest. Yeah. And there's there are many. You want, watch what you want. Enjoy what you want. Yeah. And and at the end of the day, it, it, guess what? Ghostbusters Twix 2016 didn't get a sequel because no fucking body liked it. You know, <laughs> and um, nobody saw it. Rise of Skywalker. Yep. Pretty I much saw destroyed. it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I unfortunately did destroyed too. Star Wars uh, in terms of their movies for uh, their foreseeable future, and it's not going to get any better. And I was told by so many people, like, because. Uh, there was so much criticism. Look at these guys. They went and paid for the Rise of Skywalker opening night after bitching. They are helping, and right. it's going to continue. And guess what? We haven't seen a fucking Star Wars movie since. Mm, so who nope. helped anything? <laughs> and also, like, there are so many movies I've reviewed that I would never have paid my own money if I wasn't going to review it. And I, I've said multiple times, I can guarantee, you know, <clears throat> the few tickets we bought to review, say, a crappy movie uh, like i don't know black adam or something like that um that like 
that does not help them versus the amount of people we warned not to watch it because it's very dog true. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, the, the bad word of mouth is the thing that does affect these people. And so the whole kind of, you know, don't hate watch it, don't support it for reviewers is like that. You want the reviewers to let people know if it's good or bad to exactly. either support it or not support it. Yep. Um, Do you think as supports Gotham Knights? Yes. <laughs> or, ba <Batwoman. laughs> or, 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 or Batwoman. Or Batwoman. Or <laughs> Batwoman. Uh, as single uh, handedly say Batwoman. The oh, greatest no. as... comment. The greatest comment that I got over and over and over and over again with Batman was, "I've never watched an episode of the show, nor will I. I just tune in for these reviews." Uh -huh. <laughs> I got that a lot with the Rings of Power. Is that you know, um, we're not watching the show, but loving what your reviews. So you know, mm -hmm. and they say thank you for watching it, so I don't have to. Yep. Thank you for watching, so I don't have to. Yeah. You have you have to be a fucking retard. <laughs> if you think that 150,000 people are watching Disparu's video on something <laughs> and thinking that 150,000 people are then going to go watch the show <laughs> that Disparu just absolutely annihilated, yep. you have to be fucking retarded. What, with that what, show yep. barely gets 150,000 <laughs> viewers. <laughs> what Disparu is doing, what Mahler's doing with Shad, what, uh, like, oh, well, deterring people from it, or at least people that are on the fence are seeing it, and they'll, okay, this is terrible. I'm not going to see this. If you think anybody's going to see any of this stuff that's getting roasted based off the content we're making, you are retarded. They're Absolutely tuning retarded. in for the fucking roast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or yes. they're like, hey, let me find out if this is any good. And then they're seeing the videos and saying, oh, I didn't know this. Oh, now I know right. a lot more than I did previously. I'm not going to waste it's... my time on it. Exactly. <laughs> yep. But I, guys, unfortunately, I need to interrupt because I need to bounce but this is i can't believe we're it's already freaking seven o'clock eastern but uh this has been a great stream thanks to mauler for yeah. coming on thanks buddy no problem it's always Mahler's nice to see you guys i was gonna say i'm gonna have to head off soon too because i was gonna be able to do three hours there you go it's fucking it's that went quick is. man i, yeah, I wouldn't did. fucking yeah. like that when you talk about yeah. mandalorian i mean <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> but uh thank you guys i, I will see everybody shit i love see you see everybody tomorrow at megacon saturday 2 30 eastern geeks gamers panel let's go guys later Later, later, Ryan. Thanks, later. buddy. Bye. Mahler, do you need to go? I'll, I'll try and stay for like another half an hour. Okay. You know? We're going to make it look soups. like I'm only a fan of Ryan. Uh, <laughs> we know you are. I'm off then. See ya. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Chad? Uh, there's an interesting thing I want to mention about the Dungeons and Dragons film because it's a film that does have like a woman who is crazy strong and beating the crap out of everyone. And it has lots of like the stereotypical diversity black elves black halflings stuff like that and it's with like for me i've always said it's going to be about context okay because it's about the world setting what's appropriate for the setting stuff like that and dungeons and dragons is like the perfect world setting to have all of that where it makes perfect sense to have a female barbarian kick-ass yeah. warrior woman right and and Black elves. I haven't seen anyone raise a single complaint that there's black elves in the Dungeons and Dragons film, uh, where that well, makes that's sense. Ryan's, it's that's because Ryan's just gone. Oh, because he just <laughs> <left>. <laughs> yeah. It's the Forgotten Realms. The Forgotten Realms is such a crazy setting with so many elements in it. But for say, Lord of the Rings, guess what? It's a different setting, different context, and mm. and so it's it's not crazy, you know. A, woke when it actually fits the world where it's based in and right. guess what like, like that female barbarian right she actually has a great relationship with chris pine's character where they build up each other and is not constantly getting teared down where he even t has a few digs at her expense and she likewise and then they will support each other and there's a positive kind of companionship in the party and so it's just an interesting example of where the the diversity people, you know, especially the left, are say we must have everything when actually is fine and it doesn't ruin it, it doesn't affect the film because it's perfectly appropriate for it when it is. And so 
it's just an interesting thing to observe with it. So I wanted to pull this up just because we spend enough time roasting things that get destroyed by the fans on Rotten Tomatoes. And as it stands right now, it seems like most people are really <clears throat> enjoying this. Uh, right. And so that's mm -hmm. to you know kind of back up a lot of what Shad's been talking about. And again, we all know this is a massively flawed system and there's only so much stock you can put into yep. this. And so just as much as when it's roasted and we laugh at it, we understand that that is in certain contexts. Same with this. There's only so much stock you can put into this. But we got Shad here saying that it's a really good movie. And so uh, so because of Shad's recommendation, I'm, I'm pretty interested to see it, even though I don't know much about this world. Um, would a normie, would someone that knows nothing about it, Shad, appreciate yeah, it? I'd enjoy it. I took my mom. Oh, my mom is very much a normie, and she loved it. She loved it. Okay. Um, and look, it's not a perfect film. There is some you know significant plot holes. But what I find interesting is that the things it does well, it does particularly well. Like like the film does set up and payoffs really well. Where where oh, there's only one time something came out of nowhere that was just complete arbitrary. It's like come on guys, but for most of the other elements, set up and paying off works really well. To have the payoffs there, satisfying, and I actually laughed quite a lot. I found the humor worked really well. It wasn't Marvel cringy out of place. You have this bard, charismatic bard who is going to have interesting observations and comments. And Chris Pine can just nail that humor really well. And then there is character-based humor in interactions between people, which also work really well. They make observations about some of the quirky things in the world on top of that. And as a result, I found it a very humorous, enjoyable film. The adventure elements were, were great. And... Uh, yeah, I gave it a, a seven out of ten for my rating on it. I enjoyed it. There you go. How was yeah, the CGI? I'm going tomorrow. Not great, but crazy. It had a lot of practical effects where they have great looking puppets really? and real mm. world locations. They they use a lot more real world locations that and it actually helped the film a lot. Where you're used oh, to good. seeing the volume sludge. Mm. Um, they they actually use the <clears throat> castle that was used in the first Harry Potter film for Hogwarts for the mm. um for the, some, a lot of their w actual location sets for Castle Neverwinter. And as a result, it looks, a lot of air, times, it looks stunning as a result. And then you have some really great puppets um, that appear, like there's the Dragonborn puppet and, and uh, um, like, as you know, there's a, a snake, you know, creature. And then you see, um, a, you know, a tiger kind of person as well. And it, it just, it gave it a, a charm that you don't see very regularly because everything's mm -hmm. CGI. Right. Hmm. Um, that's good. I got some, yeah, uh, I've got some news from, uh, I think it's C2E2 because uh, E3's gone, by the way. So bye. bye. Um, uh, oh, really? C2E2 wow. had, uh, genderless bathrooms. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> they took them away. Oh, I wonder why. But they had some complaints. Did they yeah. now? Yeah. No. Yeah. Little birdie, Shocking. little birdie told no. me. No. Uh, Non-binary could who, become but... a legal gender in the United Kingdom after a first of a kind high court challenge. Wow, your your country confuses me. Or something? Yeah, so. I don't know. I am uh, I'm fucking emigrating to uh, Japan. Some wizards and lords or some shit. <laughs> I don't know the British. Some stuff. guys with wigs on. Uh, <laughs> did you did you find that like, quarter black? I just want to bring it up for a second. Yeah, I mean it's it's an obscure thing, but uh, it's more desecration of Kirby, of Jack Kirby. Hmm. Uh, is there anything particular you'd like me to show? Well, um, it's forty-four minutes long. A cartoon. Yeah, show. no. So they put an entire full episode up. Uh, this was set to actually Chris Gore just uh, just shot me this. This is no, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Now I believe they gender swapped her in the comics already. They did. A while yeah. Back. So a while back. So this is just an adaptation of uh, Jack Kirby's Moon Boy. And Devil Dinosaur. Oh, boy. And it's just a fact that, like, I mean, she doesn't have this shaved side head, but it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's just a kid's show, whatever. But this is just, this is Disney. This is Disney Marvel. This is where we're at. It's going the but same there's some place. BLM stuff in here, too. I, I probably. Uh, this is, they are, there you go. There's one. There, there uh, yeah, see, does that count? No, oh. that's a fade. What? Oh. Yes, it counts. Who's the miserable looking bitch at the back? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, she looks rough. 
Brie Larson. Brie <laughs> <laughs> Larson. A hot dog cart. See, when, when story wise, if it's a kids' show, whatever, but it's when you spam so much content and then, like, you have this guy, Jack Kirby, and this is kind of what I'm hung up on, and they don't emulate him at all. Like, ever, <clears throat> in anything. The closest was Ragnarok in the costuming. And there was a little bit of Kirby crackle around Hella, But you have this artistic and creative genius, one-of-a-kind in a generation, Mozart of fucking comic books. And you don't emulate anything from this, this man. And, uh, you know, he is equal to Stan Lee, some would argue more. Uh, like, creatively more. He was a machine behind Marvel. Um, it, it's it's just fucking sad, and it shows you how much they miss the mark. We get this Cal Arts whatever kid show bullshit. It's just more of it. It'll be gone. This will be a fart in the wind. But it's just such so sad that you had this opportunity to like do something fun with Kirby. It's an animated series, and you just do this. It, meanwhile, you got Tartakovsky out there doing Primal, and there's like really yeah. good shit out there. Oh, he's coming out with a new show too. We have some good news. Mm. The Venture Brothers movie is done. Yes. Ooh, nice. I'm looking forward to that. So ready to see that. <laughs> so we'll get it this year, as I predicted, and uh, I cannot wait. I will review the yeah. shit out of it. I will do a Venture oh, Brothers yeah. retrospective. Uh, we'll <laughs> yes. do streams, yes. everything. I've been dying for this. So uh, go Team Venture. Go Team Venture. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, Mahler. Uh, yeah. You need you to see it. You need to. You need to. It is one and of the speaking greatest. Speaking of comics and comic book kind of thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where's X ray? X ray girl, you back there? You back there? X ray. <laughs> oh, we both got it at the same time. There you go. <laughs> uh, Graham Nolan, Joe Frankenstein, part one. His campaign ends tonight. This isn't going to go in demand. This is uh, this is the final hours. Love to see it get to a hundred thousand. You know that's asking Boy. a lot. You guys have really supported Graham and Chuck Dixon in their ventures. Uh, I really appreciate you. Graham is a good dude. He's been on uh, the Real BBC. We're gonna get him uh, on this show. Uh, it looks like he I might be. Get, I'm gonna try yeah. to get him on Tuesday night's main event soon. So yes, and I'll be joining that show. I will yep, be joining. Whenever we get it, I, I need to reach out to him. And we already talked about getting him on about a month ago, and, and we've had a few guests. But if I can get him on this Tuesday and I'll reach out to him, uh, then we're going to have Gary on as well. So that'll be a banger. This is some true Iron Age stuff. So this is a property they got back from IDW because IDW fucked it, fucked it up. And it's a love letter to the Universal Monsters. If you're into uh, early 70s uh, Marvel or DC horror, like this is – this is what you want to get. It's some of my favorite stuff. Graham is an absolute legend, one of the most consistent, great artists in comic books. Chuck Dixon is probably the the most consistent, great writer in comics. Mm-hmm. Like for a uh, like his, how much stuff this guy has written is incredible. It's incredible. So uh, yeah, back it today, please support the Iron Age. We love the Iron Age. Shad is part of the Iron Age. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Making your own stuff. Our good buddy Will, the critical drinker. Razor Fist, who's going to be on uh, in a little over a month. Three weeks? No, a little weeks, under a month. Yeah. Three weeks. Three weeks time. Nice. Three yeah. weeks time. So please support. Uh, links will be in the description. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll try and to mods show. are dropping links, too. Uh, so. Thanks, mods. And thanks, awesome. everybody who's already supported it. And if you can't financially support it, if you could share it, that, that I'm sure Graham would greatly mm-hmm. appreciate it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. And thanks, awesome. Graham. Can't, yeah, freaking he is awesome. Can't wait to have him. Uh, having him and Chuck Dixon on, thanks for the as for for making that happen, dude. That was <laughs> that was legendary, dude. That was so much fun. I had a blast. Good show. Yeah, yeah, it was a good show. I enjoyed watching that one. Well, yeah, they're really good on streams, right? Yeah, like they they, they, are, yeah. they are culturally aware, pop culturally aware. They can comment on anything. Like these are the kind of guys you want on streams. Like and 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 they have an they have an they have an alternative too. 
What a, did yeah, I say something fun, wrong? They've lived lives. They have plenty of experience. And you know what? They're normal. They're very cool. <laughs> yes. I like them a lot. Yeah. <laughs> from a normie perspective. Why is Az mad what, now? Why is Az mad? <laughs> he, got, he lost his position to Shaft. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, I did provide a very nice home. For yes, as, even yes. if a tea we, 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 as, as, we call Shad uh, as, Shaddy Daddy. As I, I, it appears that diversity is not our strength here at Nerdrotic, so I, I'm trying. <laughs> Bingo! I'm, try I'm trying. Oh, oh man. Boy. That was oh good. My God. Yeah, the Dude. white boy's got to be on top, all right? <laughs> Let's get okay, I don't want to no be on top. Intended. Pack of Woods represents. That's how it is every day of my life, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Scott Ski 2 for $50. Hell! Disney Integrity. There is none. It doesn't have any. It's a bullshit corporation that pretends to get on their fucking soapboxes, talk about LGBTQ plus rights, and they thank fucking concentration camps in China. Yep. Uh, the only thing the, in the world smaller than Gavid's micro P. <laughs> <laughs> or micro D. <laughs> micro D. Well, we're never going to... That's never gonna go away, is it? No. <laughs> Just uh, he's gonna stick around. I'm gonna, that's gonna, so, I'm gonna hear about that till our last show. <laughs> we beyond. should have a best moments. <laughs> is that really well, a best? A, of? A, 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 a memorable moment. Unforgettable moment. Best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not uh, sure. It's so good. Unforgettable. <laughs> Gavin's uh, dick is on very oh. forgettable and oh. <laughs> I couldn't see it with my you know microscope glasses. <laughs> so. He needed to zoom. I, I'll never understand why if there if your dick's that little, why you would stand up in front of twenty thousand people and it pull was it out like alive in the hangover like, when a dude comes out of the trunk, it was like yeah. smaller than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's bad. Like, holy shit. Maybe um, he just got out of a pool. Oh, oh. It was cold. Before I forget. <laughs> so hangover, I, I think we, since we're preparing for Vegas, we should like do a, Ve like not this week, but maybe do a Vegas movie list, a little prep. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched Dodgeball. That's a Vegas movie. That's uh, a Vegas and, uh, movie. Dodgeball is amazing. Watched it last night. God, I was laughing my ass off. It's like 10th time I've seen it. It's, uh, you guys look like a bunch of what retards humping a doorknob. <laughs> dodge a wrench. Really good. You can dodge, dodge the ball. ball. Yeah. Great one. Uh, I need to watch Dodgeball again. It's been a while. Dude, so. watch the unrated Email version. Because it's sterile and I like the taste. It's so... Was that the, the goat pee thing that they had to drink? Look. No, well, you haven't seen. No, okay, well, I'm gonna give you the Vegas list. Dodgeball. You might have to bump up the Vegas oh, list. No, you're thinking of drink. Beer Fest. Oh, Beer Fest. That's beer Fest. Beer Fest. <laughs> <laughs> Love Beer Fest. That is a great, great movie. They have another <laughs> movie coming out. Like, um, what? Yeah, it's like a yeah, medieval. 20. It's like a fantasy movie. Yeah, yeah. They, it's like quasi. I think is what's called. I miss those guys. They're great. Yeah. Broken. And it was Holy written around grill. the same time as Super Troopers, and they've been sitting on the skirt for a while. So oh, nice. it should be that level of humor. Nice. Oh, but Super right. Troopers 2 is not good. No, it's not. No, no it's not. Aww. That's sad. Beer Fest, though. I like Beer yeah. Fest more than I like Super Troopers. Das Boot! Yeah. I think. <laughs> it... <laughs> no, no. The, the, the guy dressed up as like the, 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 the I don't know, the, the the dude dressed up like a woman, the German guy who's just dancing around. And that is so <laughs> fucking funny. The cabaret guy <laughs> is just so random and weird. I love it. It's so fucking funny. Um, I haven't watched He's it in a long time. He's got the eye of the you. Yeah. Oh, I want to watch that. Oh, I want to watch that. Funny, I think, but that scene in John Wick in the nightclub, I thought that was so fucking cool. I thought that was artistic. I love, yeah. yeah. I With thought it was surreal and bizarre, yeah. and it was supposed yes. to be, and that's, uh, you know. I was so I love, inspired by it. that film. I ended up buying this. This is a special edition set from Best Buy of the trilogy oh, for oh, wow. John Wick. Thank you. Oh, and it, it's Wait, it's what? as you can tell, it's like remember how he has to get that awesome. book. Is that a Best Buy only? Oh. It's a Best Buy only, what? so it actually features to, like a fake book. Do I have to go to Best Buy to get hell. it? And then when you 
get past the pages, you get the three skill oh! books. Oh, oh nice. nice. Sexy. Shit. And I was like, yeah. Yes, I'm going yeah. to Best Buy after was, the what show. What the hell you were holding up earlier? Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. Like, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Is it 4K? Uh, 4K? It's 4K. Oh, uh, yeah. 4K. But, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, three well, beer. Hey, Mola. The to come out. On the note of praising John Wick, I guess Mola. I can go. Oh. <laughs> what did you think of that stage? <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey, Mahler, you like John Wick 1, though. Oh, I love John Wick 1. Yeah. The okay, there you go. There you go. That's fine. Uh, three beer thunder for $99.99. Hey! When I was 13, my dad introduced me to Alex Jones. Oh, that's a good dad. Uh, which led to Rogan, then Crowder, then Quarter Black Garrett. Because I hated TLJ, The Last Jedi. I found the long man and EFAP. From EFAP, I saw Drinker and Gary. And one sweet day, I saw Quarter Black Garrett on Friday Night Tight. So, uh, so I said, let's check it out a couple of years later. Still here. Cheers, man. Thank you. It's what the kids like to call the alt right rabbit hole. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. You network. start with the Star Wars, you yeah. end with, well, let's not mention it. <laughs> talk about stuff. It'll never end. Uh, some things are never gone, except if it's Star Wars. Patrick <laughs> Ells. Star Wars was gone. Yeah. Star Wars, it's dead. It's a dead it brand. Is. It's dead, Time. dead, dead. Mahler, didn't you say you had to bounce? Oh. Yeah. Um, pretty, pretty much, yeah. But hey, oh, okay, uh, my bad. I didn't know if you. said I would have stayed know. for longer if I could. It's always a blast hanging out with you guys. And thank you very much for uh, having me on. Something I'm noticing. I don't know if it's it's Streamlabs or someone else, but whenever I talk, it just starts gradually lowering my volume, and I have to turn it back up. You um, have it set to automatically adjust your volume in Streamyards. So there's a there's a if you go told into me about this. So if you go to settings and you go <laughs> oh to uh, audio and then there's uh, a couple of options. You got echo cancellation. You got automatically adjust volume. I would click I've, both of those. There you go. It's only been years. <laughs> <laughs> we're great we're educational time. too. Yeah. Yeah. Still okay. so All right, boomer. folks. Hey, thanks for you coming guys. on, man. No problemo. See you on Real BBC. All the different parts of the internet as time goes on. And uh, subscribe hey. to Mahler, everybody. Yes. Subscribe to yes. Mahler and Heck have fun yeah. playing Resident Evil Four. I'm yes. still the biggest. That's <laughs> the, uh, somebody asked me the other day, Mahler. They said, "What's the it's the biggest live stream I've ever been on?" And I still think it's the one me and you did on EFAP for Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I think. I think so. I think because because what... the whole world came to the yeah. internet like I can't <laughs> was... be alone, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> It was wild, man. Oh, so, yeah, good stuff. So, have a good one, man. Have a good night, everybody. Two to the Two to the Bye. 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 Mahler, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nothing unifies, nothing unifies us like Game of Thrones season eight, man. That That's what, <laughs> that's that's what we need again. That's how I found all you guys. Yeah. It's, it was that's, that's how I met Mahler. The long yeah. night. He he wanted a, a medieval uh, uh, enthusiast thoughts on the siege of Winterfell. <laughs> on that subject, <laughs> real quick before we get back to super chats, I think um, House of the Dragon getting reduced two episodes, which really isn't that big of a deal, but guaranteed a season three should be concerning. Not necessarily for that show, for the rest of genre, because it's a fucking hit show. A lot of people watch that show. Mm -hmm. And to 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 cut back on something that's a massive hit, what is that going to say for the, all the shit, all the genre shit? Genre is going to be the first thing that goes. I mean, I, I think everybody here can agree on that. It's pretty obvious. Yep. The special effects, uh, yep. giant sets. Uh, and I think that is the biggest precursor for things to come was that them chopping two episodes off and saying some bullshit. It is about changing, changing a battle. Uh, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Like again, because obviously I don't watch the show. I, I wasn't into it just from Game of Thrones season eight and all that. But obviously it was a big success, and most people that watched it really enjoyed it. And, and we heard a lot of positive feedback. So why do you think that's happening? Just your opinion money, on it? Because money, I it's it's massively expensive, and like uh, also next season you're gonna get like ten times more dragons. So the budget's gonna be is blown skyrocketing. Out of yeah. Now. Yep. So and they that have... was the thing about Game of Thrones. Is Game of Thrones. Get, I mean, again, I didn't, I wasn't watching Game of Thrones in the first few seasons. I kind of was late to that. You know, I got, I got involved in like five, season five or six, and it was the biggest thing on TV by by then. I mean, obviously, but that was the thing. It was like Game of Thrones 
was so massive and so huge that they could pay for all of this massive budget because it was essentially like a movie every week is what you were getting. Yeah. And you've got to be putting mega numbers up to justify that budget. Yeah. And <clears throat> especially how good it looked too. like props to the effects department at House of the Dragon because I watched it on my home theater in yeah. 4K and wow, it looks the dragon's so good. great. It, it, they look yeah. freaking great. So they're not fucking around. Um, and honestly, I, I, I think four seasons would be pushing it with this with the source material, like seriously pushing it because the ending, uh, those of you who've read it out there know it just meanders on and on and on and on and on. There is a clean ending you could you could stop at, but it would be just like, oof. Um, so I don't know, but uh, like pushing it past four seasons would be a bit much. I think it's going to be an anthology show if it continues. But uh, all this talk of other spinoffs that like fired back up during House of Dragon, it's all over. Which is no, be, really, yeah, that's uh, they're, they're going to stick with like this focused. show, and this show yeah, will I'm... be the, the other spinoffs. Like in this show, you can do Aegon's Conquest, Robert's Rebellion. You can jump around time and just call it House of the Dragon and have it be an anthology series. Okay, interesting. Because the only one I cared about was the Duncan Egg one. I you could Duncan do that Egg. within this show. I look at the corner right there. There's the Hedge Knight. Right Dude, hell there, yeah! Duncan well, Egg. I mean, Hedge that could be the Blackfire Rebellions. But the thing is, you can't, oh. like uh, others have pointed this out, but you can't do the Blackfire Rebellions right after this because it's. I mean, it's 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 about succession. It's about it's the same fucking thing. So you would have to jump. I would say Aegon's Conquest. I would that would be awesome to see. Henry Cavill is Aegon the Conqueror. Come on. Yes. All we're doing is disappointing ourselves when we cast Henry Cavill. <laughs> I know. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Never going to happen. Yeah. Never gonna happen. Never gonna it's all happen. downhill from there. It, it mm. is. It's just, it's not going to happen. So yep. it is what it is. Hey, I got to I gotta bounce. Uh, I got my stream a little bit later tonight. So Cobra Cast will happen on D-Day Cobra. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about with politics, and I'll be discussing that over there. But uh, Megacon tomorrow, 2.30. I hope you guys are able to make it out. And I'm looking forward to it. Hail Friday Night Tights. I appreciate all of you. Thank you, Jeremy. And as stop sending me nudes. <laughs> I'm tired Watch. of that shit. He just wants the dick Quarter pics. Black. Quarter he wants Black's the... been sending Why? better ones. Quarter Black's been sending he better ones. He just wants the dick pics. They're a lot bigger. I mean, come on. You got, wow. you got 25% on me. That's can't compete with the Quarter Black. <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys, shout out to Gavin. Let me show you what a real one looks like. I love it when he steals my shit. Excuse me while I whip this out. It's the greatest form of. Were you? Did you hit the same clip I did? Did you hit the clip? Hold up! Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. Oh, oh, imitation, greatest form of flattery. Compton. Yeah, yeah. Plagiarism. Uh, as you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, his feelings have been hurt all night long. It's yeah. okay, well, least, as uh, your face in Korean What are you? Looks lovely. Awesome. What are you fucking awesome. around lovely. with? You're always looking like. Are you open reading comics? Are you back and boarding comics? Are you painting? I'm Conan right uh, now. I've been building Lego. Oh, night. okay, okay, it. that's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lego. That <laughs> wow. Classic. Wow. What is it of? Is it it's Rivendell? A, a house. Oh. Uh, I've, oh. done the down, I've done the downstairs. Oh, that's uh, awesome. That that well so done. Nice. Um, and oh, wow. it, that? And so it opens nice. up like this. This oh, is the three in one God. house. Oh, nice. I'm currently, oh, currently right working here. on the, the upstairs bit at the minute, you know. Mm. So, can I go That's the so X ray nice. girl, you ready to do Rivendell when you visit Texas? Yeah, I'm so excited. Six, I'm so excited. Organized comic. Thousand pieces. Are, are, as, when are you going to start Rivendell? Uh, my brother's coming up a week on Tuesday, and he's staying until Saturday. So we got some stuff to do. Going to change Dude. some lights in the house and shit. Uh, uh, but uh, then we got to bring some modular cases in, get them up. But that's probably going to leave us like maybe two two days to start doing some, just some Lego. 
We're going to do some Lago. That is a big yeah. box, dude. I could not yeah, believe. I thought that was because I got the Hogwarts it. Castle, too. So I thought it was yeah. both of them put together. I'm like, oh, no, it's one. Oh, my God. It's, it's the, so it, many bags. It How is, many pieces is Rivendell? Uh, 6,000. 6, yeah, 6,100. Oh, 15 minifigs. Oh, yeah. So the entire fellowship plus, like, Elrond. Pretty dope. I have no room for it. I'm going to have to invent some room for it somewhere. In my uh, my well, I have a I have a great hall, a so I can put it in the great hall. Have it I'll, hanging like to, like yeah. try to find a way to get it like hanging from the. Ceiling. I can, I have a book, big bookcase. I what I did and just lived with fucking boxes on my bed while I slept. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> do you know how long I lived like that? Like, uh, I told you I had a mattress on my long comic long boxes. That was my mattress, my box spring or whatever. That's why I put my you mattress. Get a on. bunk bed. You no, know, display everything underneath the bunk bed and sleep up above. He should move to America, but he can't though. He's, he's got family. He's got family. He's got to stay in his family. Uh, Patrick L's for fifty dollars. I have never been so happy to be wrong as I was with the new D and D movie. Shad's review made me uh, give it a chance, and I loved it. I still wish they wow. would uh, adapt Ed Greenwood's or R.A. Salvatore. R.A. Salvatore's, uh, he came to my store one time. Uh, work. I really? But this was a good introduction to yeah, Faerun. Yeah, I'm going to take my kid to see it this weekend. So, Man, I'm that, glad I'm not going to watch a terrible movie. Yeah, my that'd friends, be nice. All my D&D group, my, my best friends, they were like, hey, let's go watch it together. And I was like, okay. <laughs> But hey, you said it sounds good, so I, I I trust you. Really pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be crap. Like, like all the warning signs are there. I was just like, oh, yeah. I don't know. But even going in with that expectation, acknowledge it, and I had a good time. And I, it's awesome to hear from the super chat that he also enjoyed it. Good. I'd love to hear that. Warwick of Legion cast on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars. The Hail Fellowship. There is a big thank you to all the awesome people that have inspired new creators. Legion Cast, a Horus Heresy podcast, has over 2,000 downloads, and it's all thanks to you guys and our awesome listeners. Check us out on Apple and Spotify. That is Legion Cast, a Horus Heresy podcast. That sounds fun. That is 40K, right? See? Yeah, I got it. Enough. It's no, not 40k. It's 30k. It's 30k. Okay, it's one of the Ks. Pre- it's a prequel. You wouldn't. It's like a prequel. It. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Well, okay, it's a prequel to 170 books and fucking what? Some like what is it? Grizz, Grizzly's like, yeah, there's 170 40k books. I'm like, bro, can we break it down to six? Can we get it down to six? <laughs> Where's the cliff no. notes of this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, no speaking no about notes like in the grim dark. <laughs> Speaking about D&D adaptations, oh boy, I like if they can make good D&D adaptations, that just makes, you know, a Dragonlance adaptation suddenly I would be excited for now. But that'd probably ruin it, but Dragonlance would be... Uh, Shad. Love that. Brandon Sanderson was fucking roasted and wired. What did you think of that? It was absolute uh-huh. bullcrap. I, like, I would have re- did a big response, but there was responses everywhere happening. Brandon himself said doesn't phase me don't worry about it guys but it was genuine top tier absolute crap it was from a basically it was this guy he was so jealous that he basically is a low tier writer on the you know who cares you know i'm fucking wired which will be out of business in two years and he can't understand why brandon is so successful and it's just it just reeked of and then he went after man. like it really it was, felt it was, like he was going after his religion it like in religion a very based, yeah it was like yeah. religious bigotry it the was writer like just hated mormons what a and it was piece like of the shit of that article was fucking oh gross. but he got he got like he's getting that guy's getting killed that guy's getting destroyed well, uh, everyone has been responding to it and like i said i was i was ready to you know jump on it but brandon he is such a genuinely nice person yeah. and he like his response to it was just Masterful doesn't How do you hate him? Brandon Sanderson. You yeah, I know. A serious piece of crap. Like to I, hate Brandon Sanderson. He's like I, the nicest he, dude. He was. This guy was even making like ragging on him for the restaurants that Brandon liked, and it was just this so Silly. upper class. Like, uh, I'm from. I don't know where he is from. L. A. or something. Where and it's just like. Uh, it, I, I'd it, rather it, as Brandon in Idaho or Utah. 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 Sure. I'd rather be in Utah than any fucking American city right now. 
yeah. It was it was a, just next level the amount yeah, of disdain yeah. he had for not just but also fantasy fans as well and like yeah it was because uh, he would make fun of the he went to the con uh, Dra- Brandon has uh, Dragon Con and he would make fun of like you know the fans there and calling them sweaty and all this crap and he, he, and he just, writes for Wired before yeah War- writes for weird. Wired I've been ri- uh, they uh, I got interviewed in Wired whew, fifteen years ago when I had the comic shop. Not Did not you? the same wired. Yeah, it was a magazine, the the comic shop that I used to have. Yeah, I know I never talk about it, but uh <laughs> Wait, you Yeah. You were a comic shop. I was no. a comic shop. I identified as a comic shop. Well, as my wow. dude, I was in there so much so I did, <laughs> to be honest what with you. What were your pronouns? I am the comic <laughs> shop. Uh, open at twelve. <laughs> I I worked at those, bagging and boarding. I woke up at <laughs> bagging and boarding. Uh bang, bang. Uh, BMC CB for forty nine ninety nine. Thank you. So Shad's made it to the top, and you're back as you're back. Just yeah. say yes, as and oh. get back to your Legos. Yes. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, <laughs> hey, pr- proving that we I have mean, a do- this podcast is a bit inconvenient for me, but okay. Proving we, ha- <laughs> proving we have a very inclusive and diverse and uh, uh, audience and LGBTQ plus representation. Dan Vask, <laughs> one hundred ten Brazilian dollars. Uh, I love everyone in this panel. There's only one exception who I won't name, but it rhymes with. Share me. <laughs> I'm with you on that, Dan. Oh, he heard. Sanity clause. Heart, he knows. For one hundred dollars. Yeah, Jeremy's still listening. Uh Mahler, uh, this might help you like John Wick series. It is actually an unauthorized, poorly ported adaptation of Saints Row games. To the big screen. The first one is serious, with the rest getting progressively more ridiculous fun. And the fifth one should be should not exist. Yeah, I don't think there should be a fifth one. I know there will be. Uh, I absolutely love the transition from hardcore action movie to like the Odyssey. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's freaking yeah. rad. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the uh, symbolism. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, because even just like the the set that I like picked up, like when my my wife like saw it on the on the banister and she was like, Did you get another like religious text? And I was like, No, this is actually like, yes. a Blu-ray collection. <laughs> because literally it's like you actually have Mary on the front. Like this is an image of Lust Virgin Mary and she's stomping snakes. And that's very common uh, iconography. Wow. Uh, of her I, and you know, like you see that throughout all of the films too like there's so many different cultures there's so many different re- like world religious subtexts too right so and I, it's just, uh, I, it's I am a big fan of the boondock saints okay yeah. and you Ooh. definitely get a boondock saints vibe what does that mean uh, is that latin for fingering this is latin for fingering <laughs> <laughs> there's uh, truth and justice this is justice wow uh, wow, I have a joke, but I'm not sending it. Go ahead. So, yeah, I know. Man, I, I've, man. Been, I've been... I've been. Go when ahead. you flirt with your wife, is this... <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> yeah. The... I think we know. Yeah. Wow. I have other stuff tattooed on my fingers, too. So you want to know about that? Sorry, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't, don't. She she has a very good sense of humor. She's married to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grimnack for fifty dollars. <laughs> Mahler, tell them about the MCU, the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, Link, Star Fox, Samus, and Pokemon, all leading to a Super Smasher Avengers movie. Hope Odin is ready to eat some pineapple pizza like a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Chris it's Pratt. Not gonna happen. He, Chris Next Pratt week. even kind of teased it when he was talking about uh, somebody they were uh, interviewing him and they asked him about his like all the criticism he's gotten for his voice of Mario and he kind of he did a, he had a, like a really nice response to it and he was respectful to the fans that had problems with it because he, he was like yeah I get it that's what you hear uh, but just watch the movie and if you like it and you support the movie then maybe we'll have a whole 10 years of different 
cinematic universe kind of he, he teased it in a really well you know you know what that's way. called quarterback Garrett I know you know that but I'm saying it oh, for the so, respect <clears throat> for it it's called it's called good customer service you yeah. know the thing that comic 100%. book ar- comic book artists actors uh all think they they they're not in the business of I'm I, how many times did we see as in 2017 and 18 in response to your boy Zach's videos uh, from fucking contracted uh, writers and artists in the comic industry. I even industry. know what you're going to say. I even know what you're going to say. say. You can say it. Go for it. You're going to say uh, the customer is not our is not our customer. The comic shop's our customer. The comic shop, the publisher, the person who hires me. That's who I'm responsible to. I am not responsible to the customer. Uh, yeah. Yes, you fucking yeah. are. You fucking retard. When you're on Twitter and all those followers are all based on you working for Marvel or DC and not on you, you fucking idiot. Chris Pratt gets it. Keanu Reeves yeah. gets it. Mm-hmm. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise gets, gets it. it. It's cut. You're always in customer service. Your uniform is always on, and yeah. you need to treat them with respect or fuck off. That's uh, shit Ron Mars would say all the fucking yeah, time. Yeah, and where, is the, where yeah, the fuck Ron is he? Is Ron Mars he, is a yeah, bellend, still sucking on the fucking tea to the big two. In the meantime, you have Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan who have broken off and they're doing better. They have never been happier. They've never been happier. They're free. They're their own bosses and they can write whatever the fuck they want. And guess that they're still getting work. Uh, Chuck Dixon gets to write a Conan book. How fucking awesome is that? That is awesome. Fucking awesome. Boom. Get it at www.chuck. Dixon.net. Got it. Drill me. Uh, thank you, Horror Amarada, for sending this to me, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but this was Chris. Good on him. Uh, good answer. Hey, okay. okay. hey, Chris Pratt. Pratt. With Henry Cavill and Chris Pratt, please. <laughs> I want that movie I would so love bad. That. Like, be so good. Hell yeah. Well said. And it's going to make a lot of money, for sure. I just yeah. don't think it's going to make hey, He's it looking money. a bit terminal list, too, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Odin. This is looking. I think there's more and more hype coming for that. Uh, Get ready. I'm leaning towards a billion. Again, it's doing what? Again, I've never doubted that's going to do well. I just don't think it's going to make a billion. I'm starting to think it might. Hmm. Could you imagine? I can't think of the last animated film. I can't think of the last animated film. The best part is is we win. Set we win. Up and then we Somebody's a, eating a pineapple bubble. pizza that doesn't like pineapple pizza, and I'm yeah. g- I'll eat it with them, but I'll be enjoying it. I know you will. <laughs> uh, I am interested to see. Uh, Superfly one two three four for fifty two dollars. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't wait until Disney remakes Song of the South. <laughs> also, <laughs> pineapple really good movie. Pineapple is great on pizza. People who don't want to try it are the kids in school who ate plain cheese and now eat original flavored chips. Yep. And have no, Velcro no. shoes. I, I ate no. Vegemite and cheese. Remember that. I, I admire your that fortitude. Says that says everything. It does. I know, I know it does. This. I know it does. Three Beer Thunder for forty nine ninety nine. Star Wars needs a rated R, even with Keanu Reeves before Kotor. Kotor, am I saying that right? Kotor. 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 Okay. Uh, Kotor. During the Mando Wars, led by Hugo Weaving, behind the mask, directed by Mel Gibson, written by Quentin Tarantino. I'd watch that. Damn. That Never happened. Awesome. We we almost had a Quentin Tarantino Star Trek movie. Yeah. Wow. We, yeah. I would have just watched that for morbid curiosity. Uh, no kidding. It would have been morbid, all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what I, what I have heard is he was approaching it very much like Star Trek, though. It wasn't going to be all, you know, pull your fucking phasers and get in the fucking transporter <laughs> and fucking fuck. No, uh, it's it was going to be very OG Star Trek, and uh, that might have been fun, but uh, it's a dead franchise. Do you guys yep. like Wes Anderson? There's a new Wes Anderson movie. I too. saw the trailer, and I usually it's the most Wes Anderson. Wes. Anderson I was gonna say, is seen. it just like every other Wes Anderson film? It no, is. It's no, it's more. It's sci-fi. It's more. Oh, like it's Wes more sci-fi Ali- okay. with aliens. What's it called? It's got aliens and stuff. It's called, I think it's called Asteroid. What's it called? No, Asteroid me- City? Meteor City. Oh, Asteroid, City. Meteor, Asteroid City or Meteor City. One of the two. I saw the first Asteroid. comment on the trailer on YouTube was, "When you think 
there's enough Wes Anderson, it gets more Wes Anderson. <laughs> the cast is so stacked. Tom Hanks, Margot yeah. Robbie. His movies usually are. <clears throat> I really Cranston. like Wes Anderson. And the I do, too, for the most part. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, me too. Ooh. Um, Plus, quarter, he's a Texas boy. Quarter Black, speaking of Meteor City, uh, how are you getting to Vegas? I'm going to drive. You're going right. to drive. So yeah. we have to meet at some point. I mean, I'm not going to. That whole driving back to Dallas, to Dallas first, I can't yeah, do. A little rough. Uh, but, like, we have to go to Meteor Crater on the way out or on the way back. One of the two. Yeah. We have to go to Meteor Crater. Hell it's freaking yeah. awesome. It's awesome. What's that? A, a Meteor Crater. A Meteor Crater. <laughs> <laughs> For a giant rock is hit it, the ground, it, it just it made a big meteor hole. Crater? It's called meteor crater. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> now this wow. shocks me. I am shocked. What's in the Grand Canyon? Uh, a, a canyon that's pretty grand. Really big. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty big grand. canyon. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty big that canyon. Grand, no, there's a, there's, there's a river. Okay, there's a river. <laughs> dude, yeah. the Thank Grand Canyon much. as would blow your mind. It is so weird looking. <laughs> Everything. It is bizarre. I bet. Yeah. Don't a lot of people like die because they're trying to take twelve people a year. Pictures, yeah. Uh, the so <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that's really like really Yosemite, like uh, the rock huge. climbers that go up um, either El Capitan or Half Dome. The the other, there's two ways to go up Half Dome. The smart way, as long as there isn't a lightning storm, unless they got rid of it, because there used to be a, a wire, like a hard wire, uh, like <laughs> that you had to pull up, which I've gone up. Uh, but then if you go up the flat way, they they're always finding dead climbers. Oh, once a week during the summer. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, WG for $100. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh rather ski I would rather ski with Gwyneth Paltrow than go to watch Star Wars. <laughs> 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 found innocent uh aaron pipes for fifty dollars it's an interesting last name aaron the rise of skywalker i kept telling myself it, it cannot get any worse and it did uh the coup de gras was the cavalry charge across the deck of a star i knew fucking horses on space horses across the De star destroyer but the last jedi still remains the worst Totally destroyed Luke Skywalker's character. Can't I couldn't agree more. One hundred percent. Yep. It's hard to choose. They're all really shitty. No, last yeah. Last Jedi. Last Jedi is worse. Dude, I walked out of that film with a fucking migraine. Like the movie gave me a migraine. I was like, good God. My mindset is always that I think The Rise of Skywalker is objectively the worst film, but Last Jedi had the worst impact on the franchise. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Agree yeah. With that. Well, there you go. Like with, with Star Trek that. Discovery. Star Trek Discovery is the worst shit ever written. Uh, yeah. For science fiction of all time, but Picard season one and two had more impact on the franchise as far as yeah. negatively. I concerned. agree. Yeah. Um, hail to the fellowship. Thanks for the fun and info, says Dragon's Blade 79 for $50. You're welcome. <laughs> Our pleasure. Salute. Uh, Gary, when you get, uh, when you could start ordering. Our back issue comics for oh wait, Gary, when can you start ordering our back issue comics for our new store? San Diego to San Antonio via San Francisco Iron Age Comics says Robert McDonald uh, McDonald for fifty dollars. Oh, oh. oh, hey, hey, hey. you, you want me to start ordering stuff for you? You want me to go shopping? Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just start going to flea markets and uh, you know, like uh, little cons, not big cons. You don't get good prices at big cons, but if you go to like the little. Like the one in Lubbock or the one in some like medium sized town at a Scottish <clears throat> Rite Center or something like that, you can get some mm-hmm. legit good deals if you're very patient and have a good list. Do you know the biggest con? Uh, Marvel DC. Yeah. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Hayden 75 for $100. Hey. I do what I want with my time and money too. See you all in Vegas. Hail FNT, hail the fellowship. Yep. <gasps> We are not here to tell you what to do. We're just telling you what we think. That's all. And you, you know what? To suggest that our opinions are saving anything is to suggest that the audience that I am a member of, I am a fellow, I am a humble paying customer like you guys, a humble, humble member of the audience. That it's to suggest we're a bunch of lemmings, which is exactly what our detractors say. 
Just mm. pointing that out. Consistency is kind of important. Uh, Sheep City in on the Streamlabs side. Two parts for $100. <laughs> Hail Fellowship. It's Aragorn. Hey, what's up, Aragorn? By the way, had a great time <laughs> hanging out with Aragorn uh, on a stream uh, talking about A Clockwork Orange. I had not seen that movie in 10 years. <clears throat> and uh, it is more relevant today than ever. Oh, I so bet. Never seen it. Yeah. Watch it. It's, it, is, uh, it is my favorite Stanley Kubrick film by far. Uh, and I found out that it's the only one he's actually ri written. So it's kind of like, because Spielberg, the only one he wrote was Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And with uh, Clockwork Orange, it's the only one he wrote based on a book. Pretty close to the book. Book's good, too. But man, it, it, it talks about authoritarianism from both sides, right? Mm -hmm. From absolutely both yeah. sides. And one mirrors the other. And it, it, it doesn't answer any questions. It doesn't tell you what to think at the end. It just shows you that it comes in many, many forms. Many forms. Uh, sheep, uh, I've been art, I've been angering orcs in Helm's uh, Twitter because it's funny. Uh, good. <laughs> I also put together an anniversary pick for the midweek hump. Uh, congratulations on your anniversary, by the way. Uh, sorry I couldn't make it. Uh, it's done now, so it's back to the manga for me, and I might have a prologue to share in Vegas. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to oh, see nice. you in Vegas, brother. <laughs> One more. If there's one franchise I'm more passionate about than Pokemon, it's d and I have an archive of every change the Wizards made to the original lore, and it's bad. That's fine. It's fuel for my fire to building my own TTRPG. Hail to the Iron Age. That's what you do. Do it, sheep. Do it. Yes. If you have the ability... By all means, do it and, uh, you know, approach it just like when I say pick up a microphone and do the YouTube thing. Approach it like a hobby. You know, that's that's the funnest. Like, it, you need to be creative and it's good for the soul. It really is good for the soul. It keep, it, it, uh, being creative, it's 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 tantamount to being spiritual. Like, you're you're it, it's passion. It's it's something you love to do. And as I saw Doug Tenaple say this on Twitter the other day, and all, all writers say this, uh, write or play uh, like for an instrument like no one's watching. That, that's, that's how you have to approach it. That's how I did. That's how I started YouTube because no one was watching. Or if you do a CW <laughs> show, make it because no one will, will watch. watch. <laughs> oh. Doesn't always work. Brit. Cormier for $50. Thank you, Brits. Chad. I cannot agree more. Forgotten Realms is one of the greatest D&D &D realms ever. It is vast, and it has the best characters. Who does not love Drizzy? Drizzed. Oh, sorry. Drizzed. 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 A dark elf, one of the most evil races ever created, being a hero. Oh, that sounds fun. Ooh. Yeah, I um, Drizzed Erden. I... I, I so these are the books I think by R. A. Silverton. Salvatore. R. A. Salvatore. Um, yeah, I good reputation. He's a prominent character in the Forgotten Realms universe, and so when you like play Dungeons and Dragons, you actually run into him and uh, Drizzt and stuff. It's a fun setting. It's a fun setting, and they actually did a a, a good enough job adapting the world in the film. It's, so it was a very very. That's good, good to hear. I had one friend tell me they don't like it, and I've had one friend tell me they do. So mm -hmm. we'll see. People will get different mileage out of it. Yep. Um, the humor, it'll, uh, you know, people react differently to it. I loved it. There you go. I trust Shad's opinion. I do. Uh, Exude Agu's Lovely Feet for $50. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, those are some generous yeah. feet. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Hey, pardon? <laughs> Dude, what? What? <laughs> what? He's working with Legos. <laughs> uh, it just says, "Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Howdy. Wow. Howdy. <laughs> I didn't know your feet were Texan. I know. They're already <laughs> trying to get out of here. Yep. <laughs> Are you really going to try to get out of Canada? Uh, maybe one day. We have to figure out uh, 
I take it one, you know, year at a time. I well, before it full plan. goes full communist and won't let you leave. Yeah. Well, we have guns. We'll get out of here somehow, I uh, guess. <laughs> Canadian government. We'll tell the government that. That's why we like X-Ray Girl. She don't fuck around. Fuck around and find out. Shoot you with her feet. Step on you. Uh, Ronan, <laughs> Ronan the Crusader on the Streamlab side circumventing YouTube for $50. Hey! Hey, yo, Friday Night Tights. Apologies for the lack of donos. Never apologize for that. It's okay. Oh. But I've been lurking in the chat. Gary... I get the Moon Girl is just for kids, but even the kids deserve quality content, too. Hell yeah. Yes, you're That's right. True. Uh, just like Ripa would say, let Hollywood burn and long live the Iron Age. They are doing it to themselves. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hear Pretty much. you're going to hear shows being announced again. A lot of shows before they're announced, they're already in the works. It could be months, it's years in some cases. The Star Trek Academy show is literally, they, they've been trying to pitch that for decades. Decades. Since like the that. 80s. Yeah. So, um, and it's going to be fucking terrible. It will be fucking terrible. It's in the Discovery timeline, uh, and it will be awful. Set in the 30s. Is this seconds. live action or like a cartoon? It's live action. Oh, live action. Okay. Live action. And, and it, the, the showrunner comes from another shitty Star Trek show, I think like Prodigy <sighs> or something like that. Yeah. You'll figure. Yeah. So you mentioned um, a spin off to season three, Picard. Like, they that, want one. It's, it's. I'll... Who, though? Not. Well, okay. You got to see the. You got to wait till the end. I can't. Yeah. Spoil yeah, it for yeah, you. yeah. There is a. It, it does set up a spin off. That would probably be good if Terry Metalis run it with no Alex Kurtzman involvement at all, just like with Picard season three, see, which is highly unlikely. Yeah, that's pity because yeah. I'd be on board that's with that. Point. I've, I've, it's just be. I've been. I watched um last, the most recent episode just last night. It's great. I, you know, yeah, I, I like watch a new Star Trek enjoying... show with that with that captain. Yeah, like that was Shaw. An interesting show. I like I like Shaw. Shaw, Shaw or, or, rule captain. or I don't know what happens. I haven't seen the rest of the season, but you know, um, ah, uh, sorry, my brain just went dead. Um, the the doctor's son. Like I would watch Crusher, a, Jack Star Crusher. Trek. Yeah, yeah Jack, no, he's he, he's very good. He is very. I'd watch. I'd watch a Star Trek series with him. I don't know. Get him into a Starfleet Academy a couple of years in the future, where he's now a captain or something. That would be awesome. Uh, I'd be on board with that. And Sydney's great. I mean, all the. I mean, a lot of the yeah, characters are ver done very yeah, well. Yeah, Sydney's good. I like Sydney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I, I I suggested in my review yesterday because that there's a scene where like one of the um, changelings just ha like has her dead to rights, has a gun pointing at her <laughs> head, and she's just running down the hall and she just doesn't shoot. I guess that's better yeah. than her kicking the shit out of him, maybe. But it's like just I don't know. It's like both Beverly and Picard missed a fucking changeling. At point blank range. Well, no, they hit the they hit the changeling. That's yeah. that's the inconsistent part. Is it's it in that episode. It took more than one shot to kill a changeling, but yeah, then yeah. there's the there's yeah. the setting that just vaporizes them. So I'm super confused about that. It might be the weaponry, mm -hmm. whatever. But these are like my like it wasn't like I said it wasn't Sydney LaForge karate chopping ten uh, giant changelings <laughs> who were like a foot taller than her uh, uh, saving Jack. Okay, it was it was it was Jack saving her. Yeah. It wasn't you know, Gotham Knights then. That was well done too. I yeah, if it was it. Michael Burnham or someone. But you know I, they it, dude, in that everybody. one, I'd have killed her. I would have killed her. I would have had the the changeling killer. I think that would have had massive impact on on the story. I know I'm dark, but uh, it don't. It, there is something you're coming up. There is something would. coming up that's so fucking cool. Yeah, and yeah, and if anybody if people complain about it whatever uh i i think there there should always be a little space in my tiny black little heart for some joy that's all oh yeah yeah something <laughs> yeah i know something something juicy something coming. wonderful yeah. happens um yeah. a couple wonderful things actually and one of them is retconning the fucking retardation in uh, season 1 and 2 well two of them is there's two things that just completely go season one and two go fuck yourself <laughs> well I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a thing with um a thing yes they are so how do you like okay as it stands right now we have the changelings mm -hmm. uh posing as starfleet officers 
and corrupting Starfleet. How do you like my analogy that that is a that is a, it's an analogy for Kurtzman Trek? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's them infiltrating Star Trek and yeah, yes, I 100% highly it. doubt Terry did that on purpose. Mm, mm. Uh, and no. there's another one, and I don't think he did this one on purpose. But uh, when when the series over, we'll go over the other analogy for uh, that I think is hilarious if you think about it. Uh, James Bercy for fifty dollars. <laughs> Gary, I got the frames for your face of 1911s. Better get those rights before I have to give them to Mrs. Nerdrotic. By the way, hell of a shot, that woman. Yeah, yeah I saw the, saw the pics, man. Yeah. yeah she's she, good. Yeah, she's, she's going good. She's going to Same gun. girl. Yeah. There's a, she's going to a gun club, a local gun club, and t- taking training. I'm like, yeah. Oh, Assimilating awesome. Assimilating into that's, Texas. That's yeah. fantastic. That's my girl. What was she using? Uh, I have I do. So HK, I think she said. She, she said was. HK like something, not forty-seven. Uh, uh, it was a pistol. So it was Hellcat handgun. Handgun. It was a, a, a pew pew nine seven. Is that what it was? It was a pew pew nine seven. Yeah. yeah. Pew pew nine seven. She said pew it was a little lighter, one. like like a Glock. Um, QBG, do you want your TTI Pit Viper exactly like the one in JW four, John Wick four? Or with three quarters white finish. <laughs> what is that, Ray? <laughs> it's a gun. They're making. He's making you guns. I mean, like I no, I'm I getting mean, my rights back. John I want Wick that 1911, like baby. Oh, I want a 1911 so bad. I also want a Beretta, just a classic blacked out Beretta. You know, like Max Payne, or uh, wow, that's old Martin school. Riggs. Classic. Uh, I have a really nice. Shad is like 1911. 1911. I also don't have. Damn it! I'm in freaking yeah. this. Penal colony that won't let me have guns. Yeah, sorry, they, you got swords. Six hour attack ops 1911. Is oh, HK badass. VP9 is a nine millimeter, says Eric K in the chat. Okay, sweet. I want a pink gun. You want a you pink can have gun? That. They, they sell you can get a Glock, Glock or 1911s. They're like the them. most They're customizable magenta, guns. Hot pink. They do all kinds they of stuff. They sell pink AR-15s. Yes. I can't own that they in do. Canada. You can't. What kind of car you do you have? Come to I America. have a pink. <laughs> it doesn't pink, matter. It's yeah. pink. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap. I'm not a gun girl. <laughs> we, we'll make you one when you get to Texas. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna buy a 50 cam. I'm just gonna straight to the top. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Gonna sure, hold sure it in one are. hand as well. Dude, that Reacher gun. I want that that freaking Reacher gun at the at the end. It's, that was fucking awesome. Like you could get that in New Zealand. Come on. I know. But. He could live in a hobbit hole. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I'd rather have my gun rights. <laughs> <laughs> right. What if that hobbit hole gets busted into? Uh, that's, that's what, what she said. Out. Or he's. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna end it there. Uh, thank you, They're everyone. They're gay. They're hobbits. Okay. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to end it. It's been a great show. Thanks for Mahler to come in. It was just good to nerd out. Really yeah. good to nerd out. Uh, it was a good, that, that three hours. That three flew hours by. Flew by. Flew by. A lot I of see. fun. And just because I got to say one last thing. Hugh Grant was an absolute blast in. Oh, was he? Good. Oh, he hit it He's out of pretty much everything heart. nowadays, I feel. I'm starting uh, to like Hugh a lot more. Article. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this article. Like, he was complaining that, like, oh, people don't hook up anymore like they used to. Everyone used to fall in love on movie sets. Now we just go home and look at Twitter. I'm like, Hugh, you're also <laughs> old now, and no one's trying to. Fuck yeah, you yeah. Like, don't and don't get a prostitute to suck you off in a car, mate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have stuck with it, Elizabeth Hurley, great in it. who's still oh, a fucking ten. Uh, yeah. So yeah, dumbass. Yeah, but. He was charming. He had a lot of fun with the role, and it was a highlight in the film. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, you've talked. Dude, now I'm going to see it Sunday. It's all your fault. My pleasure. I should be doing my Mandalorian review, which I will do still. Garrett, welcome back from vacation. You are now going to hell uh, for a little while. but um, Going to the Mandalorian hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the way. Uh, thank you, know, everyone who left Super Chat donation. 
I will get to a, uh, 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 a Super Chat Square Up this week. Um, so let's go around the horn and uh, say goodbye. We'll start with Odin. What's up? You can find me over at OMB Reviews on YouTube, Odyssey, Rumble, Locals, Twitter. Uh, I should be live tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And, uh, yeah, blessed uh, this Sunday, Palm Sunday. So blessed uh, Palm Sunday, blessed Holy Week to everyone out there. And uh, it's always great to be here. And much love to everyone here and also in the chat. Should I water my palm tree in my backyard? Is that a euphemism? Is it like a high five? <laughs> <laughs> it might be, as. It's sterile and it likes the taste. Odin, I have a joke for you. <laughs> oh! Odin, I have a I'm, joke for I'm, you. I'm worried, Chrissy, but yes. I don't be you. worried. If mothers have Mother's Day and fathers have Father's Day, what do single guys have? What? Palm Sunday. Oh! <laughs> I like that one. He was right. Just seen that one. That's family friendly. <laughs> Is it though? Uh, family friendly. You're high fiving other single guys. Wash your hands before you high five. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. Right. Don't That's why the, ma the mass I go to, we don't shake hands with anybody. So Ooh. there you go. Oh, Good. Well, don't trust nobody. I got a uh, real quick story. First time I went to, because I was raised Lutheran, but uh, I was uh, being Excellent. when I was a little kid. Uh, my my uh, my my friend's parents took me to Catholic church, and when they were spraying, they're doing the holy water thing. I'm, I like I said, I apparently I said this out loud. I'm like, who spit on me? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom oh, the asperges. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Catholics. My apologies. I'm a, I'm a stupid Lutheran. Uh, I, uh, or, or I actually, a true story. I did go to communion just to get a, a little bit of wine. Yeah, well, that, yeah, I did the whole oh, communion thing. Grape juice in Texas. They need to give us wine. It's not in the UK. We got proper wine. Ooh. Is it Church of England or Sounds Catholic? Good. What are you? Uh, it was Church of England, C of E. Yeah. C of E. See, that's mm -hmm. in, in the Clockwork Orange. He's all C of E. He's all, is that the Church of England? <laughs> <laughs> Anglican. Uh, comics division. Well, uh, my strike should be lifted by Monday. Uh, so that means I'll finally get a chance to release my video I talked about last week. Uh, how to become a successful Disney Plus writer in 10 easy steps. Oh, that'll um, be fun. Can't uh, wait. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, and then you'll get yeah. another strike when you start talking yeah, about it. Then I'll get another yeah. strike. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get one between now and then, and I'll have to wait another two weeks. Yep. Um, but yeah, look, look forward to that. It was great hanging out with you guys, as always. Um, definitely looking forward to Vegas. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. And just so you know, Comics Division doesn't give a fuck on his channel. He will get into all the stuff. So check it out. <laughs> well, we got we to gotta be careful, um, you know, because... You're not yeah. that careful. I watch your live streams. So. Yeah, I know. We're not that careful at times. But um, just, just don't play yeah, the AI of Joe Biden talking about the T-Squad. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that'll I gotta, yeah. I got to strike for that. <laughs> We're, we're saving our more spicier stuff for when we switch over to Rumble. Uh, so typically we go for like an hour or two uh, on YouTube and then cut over to Rumble and Odyssey. So we can talk about the more um, not YouTube-friendly stuff. Spicy. We had yeah, our best content. Rumble episode Spicy. like ever last week. 372,000 views. Nice. Wow. Ooh. How many likes? Thousand. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wait a minute. Hold, Hold up. up. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. So many so many right. I, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. But uh, if you like yeah, the Rumble, thank you for watching. We had 4,000 people watching us yeah. on Rumble today. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's see. X-Ray Girl. Ooh, um, you can find me on YouTube, Locals Rumble, where I play Conan Exiles. But this Sunday. Yeah, there's Not only do we have game. Sunday Fun Day, but I'm getting into what they call, I guess, plastic crack. Oh, Warhammer. Oh, Warhammer. oh yes. I, uh, yes. I saw the bought post. a set of Space Marines, and I'm actually going to be building it and painting it with MVP. He's going to hopefully help guide me. Nice. What, what faction nice. did you get? Space Marines. Space Marines. Well, 
faction of space marines. She got space. Uh, she got the space uh, marine uh, faction. Space marine. <laughs> space marines. Uh, okay. Yeah. Based on a, there's a cool uh, shop in Barry uh, that does 40k uh, tournaments every week. Ooh. So I thought it was kind of cool. It was a really cool store. I think we actually have a Games Workshop store here in town. Oh. Yes. Don't know if they're still open, but I think they are. The Maybe one, one day when I visit, down. I'll come. Yeah. Dude, we, this, San Antonio has a lot of comic shops. Yeah. Yeah. We used it, to have a lot more. Dude, the, there's more them, here yeah. now than there is in San Diego. Yeah. How many were in San Diego? Hmm. There is, a, I think, seven left. In downtown, in San Francisco, I think there's only seven left. And there used to be, like... 30 35 there's a lot here dude yeah that's because that's because dc and marvel f- uh industry. yeah yeah oh yep. uh what's the one you showed me that's the one i still the one uh, I, here's the fantasies uh, they're yeah. actually they're moving are they where are they um, moving they, to yeah they're are opening they a really or? big lo- no no they're, they're actually nice. opening a very big location that's good uh but oh. unfortunately it's it's further away from both of us oh shit oh well i'll still go there i wonder if they're yeah. willing to sell their silver surfer yet not at the I don't know, but the, yeah, like I said, they're they're getting like a giant warehouse. I got so that my really my, my Spider Man, I I got from them. I thought, yeah. yeah, so they're a good store. They're yeah, a good they're store. Co- no, yeah, they, they watch. I regretfully, oh. I closed my sub uh, because I just don't like modern comics. No, so. the, I bought a mo- I bought a modern comic. I got the Ambassadors by Mark Millar. I bought a I bought a modern modern comic. It was uh, Batman and Spawn. I, New one came out. Oh. I bought it. I heard I the story the sucked. Oh, you did? No. It was pretty good. No, it was pretty good. I read it. Uh, I got Nemesis. I just got Bat- the first three issues with Nemesis Reloaded. I like Nemesis. Batman, Nemesis, like, yeah, Nemesis Reloaded and Mark, Mo- like, all the Mark Millar shit's still good. Um, So the Ambassadors just came out, and I heard it's really good. Zach did a good Yeah, I've heard that's good. Um, yeah. But in Batman and Joker, uh, the Deadly Duo is actually, by Sylvester, is actually really fucking good. It's really good. Yeah. I did not uh, buy it from DC though. I bought it off eBay from a person. Oh, smart! As fuck uh, DC. Uh, and I just wanted to share this one more time. Joe yes. Frankenstein, and Graham too. Nolan. Get it. Show Frankenstein. We're at ninety-two thousand. Can we get it to a hundred thousand by the end of the night? Eight hours see. left, or hours let me refresh. Left. I'll see if seven I, hours left. <laughs> maybe there's a level I haven't bought yet. I'll, I'll get one more. Mm-hmm. And if we get I it, I think I've got everything. I think but I do too. Signed. But I, we're going to be raffling off stuff at the meetup, so we're going to have like mm-hmm. lots of cool stuff. Uh, I've got a one six. One of these is going to as, by the way. But I got a one six scale uh, fourth doctor. I've got a mm. uh, Bilbo, Ian Holm Bilbo, uh, to, to oh. raffle off. I thought you were going to say Marvel's Katie. I was going to get excited. Marvel's Katie. <laughs> I did buy a Marvel's Katie. It's around here somewhere, but I was like, gonna give it to X Ray Girl. Um, <gasps> I did. A doll of me. Oh my god. I oh my I god. I see myself represented. Marvel's X Ray Girl. Uh, 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 do you, oh, I will check out Jupiter too. All right, we got to continue on with Quarter Black Garrett. Hey, uh, Quarter Black Garrett on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, basically everywhere. Uh, and I will be, unfortunately, delving into Mandalorian <laughs> for yeah. Gary's review. So yeah. I'm sorry, me luck, Pray for me. I'm going to need it. Will do. And uh, it was a good show. It was a good show. With Mahler. It's always good to have Mahler on. Yeah. Love Mahler. Good news and, is uh, it's going to get go pushed off. John Wick again. Yep. Yeah. Good news is it's going to get pushed off a day because I'm, I think I'm doing something tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. Mm. One more day. You got one more day of freedom. One more day of freedom. So I'll go watch Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow. There you go. I'll see if it's good. There you go. Nice. <laughs> uh, Christy Mayer. Woo! Thanks for having me, guys. Super fun show. Uh, very excited for Vegas. There are still tickets available. Uh, if you go to ChrissyMayer.com or uh, maybe uh, someone is dropping a link in the chat. Um, tickets are still available for Vegas on the 27th. Uh, I'm very excited for the meetup. Other dates and shows, you can go to chrissymayer.com. Uh, we got Simpcast on Sunday with, I think, Keanu Thompson. Who else? Lila Hart, Zia Anderson. So that should be a hoot. 
And then, of course, Wet Spot on Mondays, uh, 7 p.m. at Compound Media. And, yeah, that's all. This was fun. Thanks, Chrissy. And, I, yeah, I can't wait for Vegas. Vegas is going to be fun. It's going to be so fun. Man. Be good. I have to buy some hoe clothes. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Some hoe clothes. Ho clothes. I still yeah. need to buy my ticket to your show. Tube dresses. Yeah, maybe X-ray oh. girl won't be sick. Yeah, yeah. hopefully <laughs> not. Yeah. Guys, don't get me sick. Yep. The only uh, person I got sick was Mark. I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's understandable. <clears throat> uh, oh. Zach <laughs> Hammond for forty nine ninety nine. Because I mentioned this in the comments section of Gary's uh, Picard Seventh review. Yes, you did. One of the hardest things for me to believe is Beverly Crusher having a kid in her late 50s. I get it was the 24th century, but really same for Deanna from season one. Yeah, with that, I, I think, I mean, it's pushing the limits, but I think by the 24th century, 50-year-old women will be able to have kids. I, I believe it. Now. I, think, I, 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 think it's, I think it's They, they live to, it. what, 100 and something in, in that. In Star Trek, in yes. Time. They they live yeah. be, well beyond 100 regularly now. So in, I, in the next generation, even though, rough, though Patrick Stewart was 47 when he started that, uh, Picard is meant to be like 63. 63, yeah. In, in the yeah. next generation. That's how old he is. Yeah, so, so like now, people live longer, 50? you know. I mean, like. Uh, the Expanse does this thing. Sorry to spoil the, a little bit of the last book, but uh, they do this fucking thirty-year time jump, which just didn't make any sense. I, I, I kind of get why they did it because they had to build an empire, but whatever. <laughs> and they just said, "Oh, aging pills. You take aging <laughs> pills. Pop them. You know. <laughs> That's all you need the, to do. The future technologies. This is the thing. Yeah, I just think the good. food would be better, and there would be uh, nanotechnology, all kinds of technology that to keep you." Alive longer. Well, they that's that's just, already uh, happening. Reconstruct your molecules and what, reconstruct. What was the average life surface. of a person a hundred years ago? Well, the thing is, like with the advanced technology, there will come a point eventually. You you would expect where uh, there'll be pretty easy solutions for weight loss and other things. And so, in one of my sci-fi settings, as a result, everyone's fit because there's the technology to just basically. Give you the you know the mm -hmm. appearance that you want. That yeah. bad. I bad. In my cyberpunk game, they have the same thing, like longevity treatments. That's the tragedy of all this. Like this is what they should have done in the first place. They waited way too fucking long because Paramount, even prior to Jar Jar showing up and fucking everything up, and then Alex Kurtzman fucking it, was stupid with Star Trek. They were fucking dumb, uh, and they waited you know too long, and that's why. I mean, in all reality. I don't know how many people are watching this. I, d I don't think it's a lot of people. I think it's hardcore Star Trek fans, sci-fi geeks watching it, but normies. <clears throat> I don't think they're, I don't think they're watching it very much. Yeah, probably not. If they, they were, really there'd be a spinoff already. Of our sphere. Yeah, hmm. yeah. I just think mm -hmm. it's too little, too late. Just like I think Doctor Who's yep. going to be. The same conversation is coming up for Doctor Who in a few short months. So we'll, we'll be having this well, one again. Well, are, are they trying to improve it? Because I thought it was going to be just as woke. Well, well, they just had that stupid retarded woman mm -hmm. to, that, do the, to do the, the doomsday, whatever she's called herself. I'm Suze. Any fucking woman who calls themselves Suze needs fucking hanging for a start. Yeah. I'm Suze. And if you're following me now on Twitter, it's probably because you watched the Doctor Who trailer that I was in. I really like talking politics. And trans rights. Oh god. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good. I I don't know if RTD had anything to do with that. I would assume he does because he has control of Doctor Who right now. So, uh, but like, if he does something good, this conversation will start up again. We'll just see. I did, I, did the I thing doubt come it. out with David Tennant's return already? Like, like no, that comes out. In, uh, there's going to be three specials, as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Chat in November. Which is dumb. November. They should be like dropping a special next month, and then one in the <laughs> middle of summer, and then the last one in. But they in, should be dropping one now. Because right, it's fucking Easter, now. Yeah, because mm. it's Easter time, so that that should yeah. be. It should be but... out already. So I don't know why they're yeah. grouping them all. Uh, and like Ma apparently Matt Smith is coming back for a little bit or something. I'm not really? sure. Really? Wow, that they're desperate, and it's just a sign where they they know what good Doctor Who was, and they're just trying to latch on to, oh. you know, you like this, right? Remember, the, you liked and it. Then right after Chad, that, the man, biggest man, indictment man, was man, bringing man. RTD and Tenet back, which is the minute 
as and I were done watching fucking Timeless Children. That's what we said. The only way you ever save this thing, you ha- even have a prayer, is if you bring mm. them back. And and it's still oh. not going to bring everybody back. Uh, oh, unless, thank uh, you, Chrissy. Right, come the Timeless Children. That this is Shad, what do you got coming up? Oh, the same same stuff as, as always. We get a, is Mario coming out this week? I think it's Mario. Yes, now. it is. I think this week. Wednesday. Yep, we'll, we'll definitely be reviewing that. Uh, that's one of the advantages of living in upside down world. We were able to jump on it pretty <laughs> soon. We get it a day early. And so, uh, oh, look, the D&D review is there. Uh, also the follow-up video. And then we'll be looking at Mario, of course. That'll be heaps of fun. Shadowversity is making some of the best content I think we've ever made before. Just loads of fun. There's going to be a video out on Shadowversity tonight. There's the Second Chance campaign for the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel on Kickstarter, which is still available. So lots of stuff happening. Lots of stuff. Uh, love you, man. Can't wait for the video on Shadowversity. Uh, Night's Watch stuff is just killing it, dude. It's so good. So, thanks, man. Uh, and your book. I love everything you're doing, man. Thank you. Uh, you. And thanks for being here and part of Friday Night Tights. Uh, also, as. As. My buddy. Yeah, no, 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 got a lot going on, actually. No. Icor. Icor. I call. 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 Iron. 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 I need to get that iron ore. Iron. Iron ore. Nike. Iron Age. Nike. I got a real BBC Tuesday on Nerd Rodic's channel. Sunday fun day, which starts. Anytime somebody logs on on Sunday now, by the looks of it. Yep. Particularly <laughs> uh, with Conan Exiles going on, because everyone just can't <clears throat> stop playing. I'll be playing uh, maybe a video game or two, bit of Conan Exiles here or there. I'll be doing a video, maybe, probably not, because uh, I'll be streaming Conan Exiles. <laughs> Something or nothing. And um, it's April Fool's Day tomorrow. Be safe, yeah, people. It is. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Trans Day of Visibility. Tomorrow is the 20th anniversary of me taking over the comic shop. Ooh. April 1st, 2003. You owned a comic shop? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's that crazy. Was uh, crazy. Uh, as, thank you. Looking forward to it. Real BBC coming Real up. BBC. Real BBC. You, you, BBC. Take, you take all the people who work for me to play your fucking games. Uh... It's fine. It's fine. It's a fun game. You should join. It's a good game. Oh, That's God. I'm going to yeah. review the Mandalorian. Come on, Gary. Gary, you, 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 you got to learn the difference between employees and slaves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm American. <laughs> no. Uh, you mean I God, don't get a don't menstruation wanna... leave? <laughs> no. Hey, if she gets one, I get one. Yeah. I identify as a woman. I identify as a <laughs> yeah. Gear gets yeah. menstruation. I want to. I don't want you guys to take a piss break. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things happen, man. Bad things Bad happen. Things. <laughs> traumatized. A little traumatized. I don't want to do a Mandalorian interview, but it's so dumb. I have to. I was laughing no. at the retardation in that show. So I'm like, if I'm laughing this much, I've got to do a video. This is the way. This is the, this way, is the way. Or way. as Mahler said, this is the gay. This is uh, good. This is a very good. Can't think of what else. I'm just gonna do a season summary, and that's it. It's not really worth making a video per episode. Uh, I'm just I doing a halfway, the and then already. like I don't even know if I'll even finish it. I'm just doing a halfway. Like this is fucking dumb, and I don't know what this show's about. And it's six episodes in. Yep. Um, but <laughs> I think uh, Forbidden for Tears I just gave up. comes back Sunday, 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 Sunday. Uh, we got we got an announcement. When it comes to Asheville, North Carolina, big deal on that. Big, 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 big deal. Things are cooking. Bro. Things are cooking in the paranormal world for us. Uh, we're also going to be a contact in the desert, so it's going to be a very busy June for us. Very busy June. Uh, desert June. Yeah, <laughs> we're do I said desert. June, not Dune. Be a very but Dune comes June out later this year, and I can't wait. I can't wait for when does Dune come out? October? Uh, October? Uh, yeah, later this year. This year. Oh, hell yeah. It's at the end of this year, like November-ish, I think. Yeah, I can't wait for Dune to come out. Uh, yeah. So support uh, Graham Nolan's comic if you can. Uh, are we doing Dallas in June? 
Yes. Uh, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a very busy. J- I think I have something yeah. going on every fucking weekend. Yeah. Wow. Which is not good. I will be but... there for sure. Yeah. I'll be there. I know I'll be there. People are already buying tickets. So I just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Yeah. Um... I absolutely will be there. Okay. Wouldn't miss it. Cool. No. So a, like a Contact one. in the Desert is first week in June. I'm, Dallas is second week in June. And I believe. Asheville's third or fourth week in June. I can't remember. I might be able to do Asheville since it's not too far away. You got to come out to Asheville. It's cool. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Uh, lots of stuff going on in June. Juneteenth is in June. It is. <laughs> it is. I'll be. I'll have my Juneteenth. Yeah. I'm gonna have a Juneteenth tree. Uh, I'm gonna wow. decorate it. Yeah. Give away my Juneteenth claws is gonna come in. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have to that's leave that's that like a bad joke. He's black. He's black. He's black. for some Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> How many white people steal your guns? Be black on that day. Uh, well, n- not until the reparations come around. Then a lot of white people are going to start identifying. Yeah, for Juneteenth, lots of Rachel uh, Dolezal. Claus alls. doesn't give you gifts. You have to put gifts out. <laughs> <laughs> reparations. <laughs> just leave the door open to your claws. store. Yeah. 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 Just leave it open. <laughs> they just smash your window. Come in. Leave grab the car doors yeah. open. He doesn't care if it's open. Leave the keys and it, there. And all you do, you show all the things that were taken from you mm-hmm. versus the things that you received. <laughs> <laughs> Geek grind coffee. Oh, coffee. was I supposed to? I don't think I was. Supposed, we're we're going to do it on. Uh, we got another flavor coming out. Another flavor. 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 Coming out. For Forbidden Frontier, like a special Ooh, Forbidden Frontier a forbidden blend. Yes, oh. a Forbidden Blend. It's got to be dark. It's gotta be. Oh. You're looking for something darker. Even darker than the last Even dark. darker? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to walk in the morning. Oh, that was no oh, donkey. No. Donkey. No. <laughs> Thanks to Meta PCs. Thanks to Meta PCs, I have like an, um, this amazing new light-up box in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even call it a computer. It adds it's to the atmosphere. <laughs> it's, it's my new light. 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 <laughs> light light. I put my feet yeah. up on it when I get tired. Yeah. <laughs> I got this foot rest from. Now, I'll, I'll have video for you guys and everything, but links in the description for both. Thanks for supporting us. Do you need us. help setting that thing up? Unwavering <laughs> support. No, I, I need help setting up my lighting, which is, it's like Tetris in this. Have you seen this office? Yes, it is, I have. It, you <laughs> move one thing. You got to move fifty things, so it takes thought and planning. Because I probably yeah, should have hooked. Up, goes, oh. I should have hooked up all the electronics <laughs> Here, and computer stuff before putting the toys on the shelf, but I didn't. I put the toys first, which means yep. that was really Priority. fucking dumb. But Priorities, I did it. man. Get yep. it. Yep, 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 yep. My ships are up though, so I'm, I got my my ceiling hooks for all my ships. So my <laughs> ships. Oh yeah, I saw that viper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a few. Same bird of here. prey on hot toys. Uh, yeah, I got was I got one. You got yours sent to you. I <clears> bought mine. I said, "Fuck it, I'm pulling the trigger on that." What do you mean? I got my sent? No, no. I, I. Well, Marti- Technically, Martino sent us the money to get to get it. Okay. So he said, "Here's this. This is your Christmas present. Go get this." So the same people. Uh, Playmobil's bills based in the UK, so it's easier for me to just. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. HMS oh, Bounty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, thanks to everyone who left Super Chat and Donation. You help keep the lights on around here. Mod Rodics, we love you. Thank you uh, for what you do. Uh, we'll be back next week. I believe we have Drew, and we're going to be review. Drew. Drew's going to review Super Mario. <laughs> which, yeah. uh, and I'm going to watch Super Mario. Excited about it. I'm going to go see it. So uh, we'll be talking about it. Until next time, ciao, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.
geometry. We well, since that made it to the, uh, we, they, we had to reschedule trigonometry. That's it. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come.